<laughs> Yay! Good morning, Jory Michael! <laughs> Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da yes, Michael, da -da, he's been missing it. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Don't worry, Carl, you can stand still. Pow! Well, I can actually tell, Michael, I think you may have been missing that for the last week. Do you feel, do you feel good now? <laughs> He's ready for the day. Are you ready for the day today? Ah, I'm Caroline with you for the next five hours. This is Monica. There she is. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Your necklace is amazing, by the way. It was it was for a show, probably a couple of years ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, she looks amazing. One of the one of the perks of my job, I get to wear the jewelry after. That's it. <laughs> get to wear all the jewelry afterwards. I love it. Oh, so we've got lovely Monica with us today. We've got Callan on cameras. Hello, good morning. There he is. We've got uh, Michael, who's just lurking in the background. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, he's just lurking and supervising. Uh, we have got Kinga on floor. Yay! <laughs> she's back. Yes, yeah, she's back. Yes, yeah, she did. There she is. After a lovely Easter break, there we go. We've got producer Neri Neri Nunu, who's going to be producing the show today. Good morning, Neri. How are you? What are you holding in your hand? What's that? Oh, just some glasses. There we go. I uh, didn't know what that was. And we've got um, and we've got production manager Ali. He's going to be directing the show. Hello, Ollie. Do you live here? Yes, he does. There we go. Right. <laughs> so it's going to be an amazing show today. We've got loads and loads and loads to get through. Um, well, where do we start? Do you want to see the deal of the day today? If I show you this gorgeous necklace, which are in-house... Oh, gosh, sorry. It's all... There's lots of things in the way there. There you go. Yes, I saw this last night on Instagram as well. Our JM in-house designer page. Love it! Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous necklace, which has been made with our deal, our deals of the day today. Um, because we've got beautiful Hessenite garnet, micro fasted rounds, neon appetite, micro fasted rounds, um, spinel micro fasted rounds, um, Hessenite garnet, micro faceted rounds, gorgeous ruby and sapphire as well. Ooh la la! I know, that's all coming up at 10 a.m. Also coming up at the 10 o'clock hour, loads of pearls. Loads of all the pearls and clasps and spacer beads and things like that. So that's going to be very exciting. What is that? What is this? What is this? Well, coming up in the 11... Shall I pick it up? Shall I pick it up? Coming up in the 11 o'clock hour, we've got Toby Cavill joining us between t um, 11 and 12. And he's got with him today gorgeous Oregon sunstone. If I just pick this up, the very first strand... We have ever done. Oh, Ollie. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous Oregon sunshine. Very first strand we have ever done. That's a gorgeous strand. This is going to be coming your way uh, in the 11 o'clock hour. Nine o'clock, Monica. We've got. Uh, we've got beaded Kumihimo kits, but you've also made the most beautiful pearl mala, which is gorgeous. Yes, because we've got them, got really amazing kits because you can use them for Kumihimo, uh, but there's so many other things you can do with it as well. So obviously I couldn't help to do a little bit of pearl knotting. Absolutely. <laughs> I totally agree. Four kits coming up in the uh, in the nine. We've got gorgeous um, shell pearl. Love, love, love this kit. That's spinel and that's jet coming up in that kit with gorgeous gold seed beads as well. They're really, really, really gorgeous kits. 12 o'clock kits. Now, a lot of people are very excited about this. We're very excited as well because uh, Monica. <gasps> cross stitch boxes these are gorgeous oh it's so it's do you know what it's so obvious when a guest designer loves working with kits because they just go absolutely uh, to town and you've gone over and I mean, above with these i kits. love how these turned out i mean originally yeah. obviously it was just meant to be the lid that's beaded but then i thought it would look really nice if i added a bit extra at the bottom as well beautiful i think it kind of brings it together nicely it, do you know what you're absolutely right yeah. it really does we've got gorgeous yeah. seed bead um uh, cross stitch boxes coming up with tags as well yeah. um they're really really lovely kits they're all coming up in the 12 o'clock hour shall we get going <laughs> shall we let's do it right we're going to start off with a strand of so light this morning send in your messages we'd love to hear from you today um here's our 
Here's our, um, uh, what's it called? It's a text number, 7807. I've got a really itchy hand. Maybe that means that amazing things are about to happen. I don't know. Do you Is know, it about giving money and receiving money? Do you money? know, when I was on a show with you last, I remember you were really itchy. Maybe you're allergic to maybe, me. Maybe I'm allergic <laughs> to Monica. I, I had an itchy scalp, didn't I? And, uh, <laughs> she, and she just kind of kept moving away from me. I think she thought I had fleas or maybe nits. <laughs> I don't know, Monica. Maybe we shouldn't work together. <laughs> ah! So, so delight. <laughs> Faceted rounds. Here we go. Get your baskets open with these bad boys today. Your gorgeous, so delight. Uh, seven and a half to eight mil rounds. Here we go. 755. Oh, my word. That's amazing. Give us a call on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 Or you can get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can download our app and watch us on the go. However you want to get involved, that's a, uh, you know, w w whichever way is going to be uh, easiest for you, just go for it. 7.55. Now, we are the UK's only dedicated jewellery making channel. We also specialise in genuine gemstones. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee with everything you get from Jewellery Maker. Plus, you're only paying 3.95 P&P per order as well, which lasts for the whole day that you're shopping with us. Caroline, well done to you, my lovely. We've got bidders coming through. We've got um, uh, makers in Kent. That's great to see. Well done. 7.55. You're gorgeous. So delight. Faceted rounds. They're beautiful quality, aren't they? Great for summer jewellery, actually. And um, this kind of stonewashed denim look. Um, gives you a really, really gorgeous kind of indigo colour with those beautiful white streaks going through it. Gabrielle, Annie, well done to you as well. Lots of people checking out this morning. It's great to have you with us. Well done. So I've had a week off. I'm feeling rested and recuperated. And I think I'm about 80% pan con alioli. Yeah. Basically bread and garlic mayonnaise. Just, yeah, that's just, it's bad. It's so bad, but it's so good. It's all gorgeous. Here we go. Multicolor Magog Burmese Spinel. Here we go. Gorgeous qualities. You are getting... The most gorgeous colours in there. You're going to be getting those beautiful mauves. You're going to be getting the gorgeous silvery greys in there, which, of course, is Jake Thompson's tip of the trip. Oh, yes. All the way down today. Here we go. 0800 655. Well done. Bit is already coming through. That's great to see. Well done. 9.99. That's amazing. This, is a, this has become one of my absolute favourite gemstones of the last couple of years um, uh, here on Jewelry Maker. It's absolutely wonderful. It's come on such a, um, uh, a journey. And the fact that we've got it here is, is just literally only because we uh, visited uh, Burma back in 2017. We were invited to go there. I reckon this is going to go really well with the um, Oregon Sunstone. Why? What are you doing? What? How? Oh. <laughs> Um, four ninety nine. That's ridiculous for genuine Magog Valley spinel. That's absolutely amazing, Debbie. Well done to Wendy and Margaret, and well done to you, Beverly and Gabrielle. Maker in London's got two there. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Well done to Lorna and Jana. Well done to Karen and Paula. Loads of people joining us today. Get involved, everybody. Loving these gorgeous colours. It, it, it's amazing. If somebody said to me, I'm going to make you a piece of jewellery and it's going to have pinks and purples and greys and oranges in it, I think, gosh, that sounds like a bit of a mishmash. But because, of course, it's all natural, it's all genuine gemstones, it, of course, it's going to work so well. It's all so tonal. Lorna's got two, Maker in Surrey, Susan, Elaine, Paula, well done to you as well. Four ninety nine dollars for the last three chances in the building. Go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Two chances remaining. Well done, everyone. Arizona Peridot. Oh, these are big Peridots. So much bigger than uh, Peridots that we see. I don't think I've seen a strand like this before. Really well cut, aren't they? That diamond-like quality. Isn't that stunning? These are round about three and a half to two mil to five by three mil. They are really nice and big. Do you know what? They're going to go with all of the deals of the days, aren't they? They're going to go so well with the deals of our days. <whistles> Get involved, everyone. 0800 644 655. Go, go, go. Well done. Here we go. 14.99 for your Arizona Polo. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. It's beautiful. And, it, and, and like I say, any kind of peridot, even your cashmere peridot, doesn't tend to come in these kind of big, big sizes. But this is absolutely wonderful. Well done, Marley in Arizona coming through to get this. Oh, that does not look like a 14 dollars 9 
What's he doing? Maker in Greater London. Susan, you've got two there. Well done to you. Do you know what? These are big, beautiful pieces. And of course, it's August birthstone as well. So if you want to get um, your birthstones, that is absolutely gorgeous. Well done, Paula. Maker's coming through. That's great. Well done. Check out your baskets, everyone, at just $9.99. Well done. It is so fresh and invigorating. Is it? Look at the recording as well. So invigorating. Do we think spring and summer are here to stay? What do we think? Or do we reckon it's all going to get... It's going to snow next week. Really? That's what people are saying. Oh, really? Mind you, they weren't wrong last time, were they? No. We had all that hail. It was, yeah. it was awful. But the weather here has been lovely, hasn't it? Rhodochrosite. <whistles> love this gem. I love the layers, the physical layer. Oh, look at this. The physical layers inside the gem. Such a cool gemstone in the fact that you've got these kind of stalactites and stalagmites, stalactites and stalagmite kind of shaped deposits. So what you do is you cut those stalactites down and you basically cut kind of cross sections off. A bit like you'd slice a loaf of bread uh, and you get all of the gorgeous layers inside the gemstone presenting themselves. To you. They're wonderful, aren't they? Um, a really gorgeous one um, uh, kind of wonderful array of colours you've got there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? 125 carats of your genuine rhodochrosite, gorgeous qualities. And these are six mil rounds you're gonna be getting here. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I love, do you know what? I love that range of color. There's very few of the gemstones with these kind of tones in there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, um, it's a happy color, I think. I think you're right. It's, it's, it's not a, it's not a bright in your face kind of no kind of happy it's, yes it's pretty I think yeah. and do you know what I'd, as well I think is a lovely thing is you get the moments of kind of being completely opaque and then you get moments of translucency yeah. as well so it's like you it's not just the color that is is varied it's the translucency it's the kind of clarity of the gemstone as well that also shifts as well 1999 well done get involved 0800 644 655 excuse me <coughs> well done everyone Go, go, go. Literally the last four chances available in the building. Well done, Maker's got two there. Well done to you, my lovely gorgeous. Check it out. Check it out. Fancy Jasper. Fancy, fancy Jasper. So did you have a nice Easter? Did the Easter Bunny visit you? The Easter Bunny doesn't visit you. Did, didn't visit you, Neary. Oh. Near has clearly been too naughty. Fancy Jasper rounds, gorgeous. Four to five mil in size. Here we go, 50 carats of Fancy Jasper. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that range of color you've got there. Range of color, absolutely beautiful. 3.99, oh yeah, that's stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous quality. Um, and everything from those beautiful greens to the blues and teals. It's those teal colours that really get me. They're gorgeous. And then you get these beautiful russet colours as well. Tom's still talking about his lack of Easter eggage. <laughs> Livid. Livid. Do you know when he wished you'd never asked? <laughs> Gee, where is he? He's still talking about it. Still talking about it. Still talking about it. <laughs> So we've got a load of them at home at the minute because we're away for Easter. So my kids are literally just, oh, there's chocolate everywhere. Okay, black tourmaline smooth rounds. These are beautiful, five and a half to six and a half mil round. Gorgeous. 8 99 for you today. Beautiful jet, jet black. These are going to go really well with the gorgeous kits uh, in the nine o'clock hour, wouldn't they? Absolutely beautiful. 0800 644 for your black tourmaline smooth rounds. Gosh, that is such a gorgeous jet black quality, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Do you know what? We've got these beautiful, I don't know when these are coming up, but we've got these lovely spacer beads coming up. Look, I'd shove them with these. Shove them. There we go. <laughs> Look. <whistles> and all of the deals of our days. Deals of our days. Yes. Black tourmaline smooth. He doesn't that look great. That looks expensive. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. They're about to sell out. Shall we do these beautiful beads now? Oh, dear me. I do have a silver version of these as well. 
These, do you know when you look at something and you just think, gosh, that's so impressive. I'm so impressed with these. They've got the most wonderful texture, the most wonderful texture to them. They've got these beautiful kind of bobbles on the outside of the bead. Look at the luster which that gives you. They're super cool, aren't they? You've got these three larger 11 mil um, rose gold plated sterling silver beads. They're dazzle cut. And then you get uh, 10, I believe, yes, of the four mil. Now, at the price point these are at, because I remember launching these, at the price point these are at, I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely thought we've made a mistake and that they're actually rose gold plated base metal. This is no mistake, by the way. This is unbelievable. I'll pop, pop these behind here so Callum can see them all. Um, we're going to take that price point down. Now, bear in mind, these are all rose gold plated silver. This is ridiculous. $24.99 and they are all precious metal. The different, look, just literally my hand over the top of them. Look at the luster that, that, that is achieved. It's, it's just, it's so cool. Maker in London, well done, Elizabeth, Nancy, Lane, Tracy, Elaine. Well done, everyone. Isn't that good? Look at that. Beautiful. Well done, everyone. Caro, well done to you, my lovely. <laughs> Have you missed my random noises, Neary? No, but it makes sense. Look, if you look at the beads again, and then look. You ready? There's no other word for that. It, that. Yeah, you imagine if that was a light. Yes, there you go. Jane, Mavis, Amanda, Caro, hello, lovely. Well done, everyone. Tw oh, one chance left. Gorgeous, well done. Whoever's going to get it. Who's going to get it? Well done to you. Amazing, well done. <laughs> yeah, these are silver ones and they're solid sterling silver. Oh, look at these, I love this. Neri, I, I don't know the answer to that. Neri's questioning his own, oh, he's talking about something else. Questioning his own craziness. Look at the, ah. Oh. These would be lovely, maybe as a guru bead in the bottom, maybe of a, of a, um, of a Marla necklace, of a Marla necklace. Um, as a spacer bead as well, very, very useful because the drill hole's quite large in these. So if you wanted to maybe tie a knot in an elastic bracelet and you wanted to hide the knot, it's probably gonna go inside even the smallest one here. Yeah, I think so. So not yeah. just decorative, but really functional as yeah. well. Okay, already people coming through to get this 925 sterling silver diamond cut dazzle space of it. I love these. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I really do. I believe the gold plated silver, I don't know if the gold plated ones have um, sold out, but these are 925 sterling silver, solid sterling silver, 24.99 for you today. Aren't they just gorgeous? Sterling silver is the world's most reflective precious metal and you get that wonderful bright white quality uh, from these, which is exactly um, uh, why sterling silver is so popular. People absolutely love the quality that you get with sterling silver. It's just got such a, a bright, fresh, kind of clean um, uh, colour to it. It's really refreshing, isn't it? And it seems to suit everyone as well. Good morning, Carol, and all at, your, at, at uh, JM. So missed your random noises. Thanks, Ricky. <laughs> there we go. Gonna give my children a rest from my random uh, parenting noises today. Yes, I know. There we go. Uh, well done, 24 99 uh, Big, big, big uh, gram weight on these as well. I mean, you can just see it, can't you? You've got really lovely big gram weight on these. Beautiful quality, well done. So impressed with the way that these are made. They're just wonderful, aren't they? Well done. And don't forget your 30-day money-back guarantee as well, which is just gorgeous. You know, being able to get these home, try them up against maybe your uh, uh, neckline, your bracelet, um, your entire... <laughs> I've got Neary making random noises. It's really off-putting. <laughs> what was the noise like? Yeah, that's a, yeah, it's a pigeon. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've got a pigeon that sits on my chimney and literally it echoes through the living room. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've also got two pigeons uh, that love sitting, a pair of pigeons that uh, love sitting on my uh, kid's swing set. Oh. And uh, courting, I think, is probably the word for it. <laughs> Every single night. It's, uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway, right. Let's leave them alone. Let's leave those pigeons alone. Right, OK, early bird special time for your incredible Blue Terra Jasper. This one is going to sell out. It's an epic strand.
Still think that's a bit classy for jewellery maker. We need something a bit jazzy. I don't know. Right. Oh, Gail, very funny joke that Gail's just said, and I can't repeat it. Very funny, Gail. I was talking about the two pigeons that sit on top of my daughter's swing set and they're courting. It's a good joke, Gail. Well done. But I can't Now, this is uh, dyed light blue and lapis blue terra jasper. I don't know about you, but I think this is an absolutely gorgeous strand. This is a kind of, this is your, this is your summer holiday strand. This is your, when you go and find, a, a, I don't know, a, a new place to go, a new place to visit. If you, you know, if you've, if you've gone to get some, uh, if you've gone to find maybe some sunshine, it's the color of mosaic tiles. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's the color of the sea. You've got those beautiful stony tones in there as well. No, it does make me think, I look at this and think, right, what would I put this with? Have a little look at this. Because I love the, I, I love the combination of the terra jasper and the gorgeous opal strand that we've got coming up. What do you think, Monica? I, I think this works seriously well it really does because you've got sort of the same effect as the opal in the terra jasper yeah and that's that's a really clever idea i wouldn't have thought of that to be honest with you but look how lovely it looks well th these kind of yeah. blues that you're getting in your terra jasper here are those kind of opalescent yeah blues aren't they i just think they work really well together the opal makes the terra jasper pop and the terra jasper gives that opal, a sense of real kind of a, a kind of a cleansing feel almost. Um, I love it. I'm just going to pop it. I'm just going to pop it up to my neckline, if that's all right, just so you can see it together. See what you think. We've got the opal coming up in this hour as well. Oh, yes. Look at that. See, I love that. Don't you? Doesn't that look lovely? That's really a wearable necklace, isn't it? You can isn't it just? Yeah. And I don't think it's necessarily a color, a color palette that... Um, you know, just for ladies, I think guys absolutely, definitely could go for something like this. Look at the way that opal glows. Isn't that gorgeous? And of course, it's really, um, uh, um, you know, about the mixture of those two stones. Morning, Mrs. Bonkers. Missed your sunny, funny presence. <laughs> there you go. Mrs. Bonkers. I like, I, like, I like that name. That's a good one. There you go. Look, look on the, as a bracelet, as a b -b -b bracelet. I love that. They look like worlds, don't they, these Terra Jaspers? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. Lane, well done to you. Maker in Greater London's got two. Well done to you. Maker in Cardiff, another maker. Angela in Surrey. Well done to you. We're under 20 pounds. It's not your deal. It's not your deal today. We've had a very funny message through, which I'm going to have to share with you in a minute. Someone's messaging about the bread maker next to me. Don't worry, it's not a bread maker. All will be revealed. But actually, it goes with the jewellery maker taste of it. Yeah. Just like a... Yes, oh my gosh, yes. It does look a bit like a bread bin. I, I, I agree with you, or a bread maker. It is not. Don't worry, all will be revealed. Get out of the way! Okay, so... Beautiful uh, lapis and light turquoise blue dyed terra jasper. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay, Maker in Cardiff, well done to you as well. Sandra in Surrey, well done everybody. Lots and lots of people coming through to get this. Janice and Angus, well done to you as well. More people coming through. You get your 30-day money-back guarantee, whether it's going to be stretchy bracelets, rosary linking, putting it with the gorgeous opal we've got coming up in this hour, making big oversized beady beads, one on a piece of flex right as a gorgeous pendant, um, one in the middle of a wish-style bracelet. Maureen's got two. Well done, sweetie. 9 for your gorgeous strand of Terra Jasper. 
I think one of the things I find so um, exciting about bringing you a strand like this is the fact that it just goes so well with that opal. It's such a lovely combination. Not a combination I would have ever thought about making, but it looks really beautiful, doesn't it? Karen's got two. Mavis, well done to you. Sandra's now got two. Angela's now got three. London, you've got two. Well done to you. Jacqueline, a tiny and Weir, you've come through. Well done to you. Cardiff, Cumbria, well done to you. Kamath and Cheer, well done to you as well. Angela, well done to you. You've got five now. That's great. Gabrielle, well done. Superb. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. I just love it. And guess what? It's not your price. Now, this, this should not be happening. To, I'm going to pop you there, my little lovely. This should not be happening today. We should not be taking this any lower than 9.99. But come on, come on. We've got, we've got a decent quantity of this tram. We want them all to go today. Well done. Carol's got two. Well done to you. Karen in West Yorkshire's now got two. Well done. Jacqueline's now got two. Virginia, well done to you. Lynn in Greater London. Well done. Maker in Surrey. Okay, 27 seconds and then the price point's going to come in. Where, do, where would you like us to go? 8.99. 799 699 Ah Joni well unto you my lovely you've got two Virginia Beverly well unto you absolutely flying out the door already oh you're going to love this prize it's so good maker in five well unto you oh yeah it's four pounds and 99 pence. I love it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Each one of these looks like a beautiful little world. So if you did want to use um, these as individuals in, in your wish style bracelets, you absolutely could do. If you want to do your rosary linking, you absolutely can do. If you want to make just stretchy bracelets, you absolutely can do. If you want to mix it with the opal, you can do that. Well done, Janet. Well done, Virginia. You've now got two. Beverly's got two. Maker and Kamath and she's got four. Surrey, well done to you as well. Four pounds and and 99 pence. Well done, everyone. Sally Ann, well done to you. Pauline, well done to Anne Marie. Gorgeous. <laughs> well done, Wendy's got three. Well done. It is a true multicolour strand, isn't it? Of your uh, light and kind of lapis blues. Caroline Hazel, Glenis, Shaulene, well done to you. Sheila's got two. Well done. It's absolutely flying. There you go, everyone. 0800 644 I'll just show you that necklace once more with the opal and the terror. Oh, they look so good. <whistles> Beautiful. Well done, everyone. Patricia's now got two. Charlene, Caroline's got three. haley has got two. Sheila's got two. Gee whiz, there's so many multi-bidders coming through to get these. Design-wise, what, 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 what would you do with these, um, Monica? Well... It's quite versatile because you've got lots of colours in there. So you can mm. put it with any of the colours that you find in there. You could, uh, it, because you can go lighter with it, like they've done with the opal. Or you could take it darker and put it with something like uh, lapis, for example. Absolutely. Um, or you can go sort of more earthy tones and put it with um, something like uh, a jasper or something. Well, like, yeah, like a picture jasper, because you're yeah. going to be getting those kind of um, uh, sandy kind of earthy exactly. tones in there, aren't exactly, you? Exactly, yeah. So I think Monica's right. Just pick out your favourite colour in there. But it's great, isn't it? Marley, you've got two. Well done to you. Glennis has got three. Elaine's got two. Christine's got two. Right, we're going to go to the Wall of Fame. And we're going to look at some of your incredible pieces. There's still chances left for this. So if you want to come, keep coming through for it. We're going to leave the graphics live. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Wall of Fame. So the Wall of Fame is a chance for you to showcase your incredible pieces of jewellery that you make using Jewellery Maker items. Simply take a photograph of them and email it to studio at jewellerymaker.com. And every Wednesday, we pick a winner and a runner-up who will win £100 or £50 credited to their account. Uh, Michael Knight. <laughs> Amazing. Michael Knight, what a name. 389. All I get in my head is the uh, Airwolf theme. Ding, ding, ding. ding. It wasn't. Night, yeah, I know Michael. it's Knight Rider, but I always get the Airwolf uh, theme in my head. I don't know why. Michael Knight, hello there, my lovely. Hi. Uh, my entry for this week's Wall of Fame is made with carnelian hearts, selenite rounds, rhodochrosite, and garnet faceted rounds, all from Jewelry Maker. 
I love this combination, uh, which is perfect for the summer. Good luck, everyone. That's from Michael. That's a really, really lovely photograph you've done there. Beautiful jewellery. Well done, lovely. Kim Hopkins, you're number 390. Hello, my lovely. Kim says, hi, please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. I've gone stretchy mad on top uh, on a top up for craft fairs this weekend. Oh, good luck, Kim. Uh, this includes Labradorite and Jadeite with hematite Buddhas, all from JM. Good luck to everyone entering and great shows this week. Stay safe, Kim. Thank you, lovely Kim. Gosh, you have gone crazy with those, haven't you? But they look great. Alan Hopkins. Hello, my lovely. Number 391. Oh, that's... Oh, I like that. Please find attached entry to the Wall of Fame. I bought these bolted canvas from you uh, and I've drilled them. Oh, well done. And I've turned them into earrings in 925 Sterling Silver. All components are from Jewelry Maker. And I think they work well. Good luck to everyone for their inspiration this week. Um, sorry, thank you everyone for their inspiration this week. Along with some great deals. Stay safe. That's from Alan. Thank you, Alan. That's really lovely. Very um, uh, innovative earrings you've made there. Linda Walker, your number 392. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. Beautiful amber agate, uh, beautiful amber agate bracelet with carved flower centerpiece. Such vibrant colours. Hope you're keeping well. I'm loving your shows and products. What bargains? Love, Linda. That's really pretty. Gorgeous kind of uh, hot colours there. <gasps> oh, Monica. I recognise that one. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this is from Kay Bull, your number 393. Oh, it's only a matter of time. They're slowly started to filter through, which, which yeah. I love, these pieces. My intro for the Wall of um, Fame this week is another piece inspired by Monica. I love her designs and can't wait for my delivery. Thank you, Monica, and all the JM team from Kay in Hertfordshire. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's gorgeous, yeah. Oh, well done. You're going to love, um, you're going to love the kits today as well, Kay. Norma Cowie, hello, darling. You're number 394. Um, I know there was none at Tucson, <laughs> but because I shop with JM, I have Jet. That was so funny. We've got some Jet coming up today in our nine o'clock kits, just to let you know. This week, I've made a classic knotted Jet and Jadeite necklace and bracelet set using eight mil Jet and Jadeite rounds. The focal bead is a faceted Jadeite oval finished with sterling silver magnetic clasp and three mil spacer beads. Good luck to all in the draw. Thank you to all at JM. That's from lovely Norma. Thank you, Norma. Hope you're ready for the jet we've got coming up <gasps> in our gorgeous kits. I know. Sue Beck, your number 395. Hello. Uh, hello, jewelry maker. Please find my latest creation uh, for the Wall of Fame. I love this turquoise smooth leaf clover strand so much. I also use a snowflake findings pack. The button pearl I had in my stash from Joy Maker years ago. I uh, hope you like the collection. Kind disregards, Sue. That's gorgeous, Sue. Beautiful colours you've gone for there. Really, really lovely. I've got Alison Davies. Ooh, lovely rings. You're number 396. Hi, all at JM. Hope you're all well. The three rings, these three rings, uh, were all made in the same way with copper wire, but they all have different centres. Cream pearl, dark pearl, and assorted two mil rubies, emeralds, and sapphires. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. They all sound so expensive. All components are from JM and the rings look great as a stacker ring. Good luck to everyone, although a tiny win would be very graciously received from Alison Davies in Somerset. I have no control over it, it is random. You love your rubies and sapphire. Yeah, here you are, Alison. Ah, oh, and everyone else. Your deals of the days. That's just one of the strands, by the way. Micro faceted natural sapphire and ruby rounds. Really excited. <laughs> okay, you've had your Jasper. Now you need to get this amazing strand of opal. Do you know, oh, I've got to put this necklace back on the thing, haven't I? Sorry. Sorry, gang. Back on the thing. So please do go to our jewellery maker, in-house designers uh, Instagram page, because they're brilliant. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, go to Instagram and type in JM underscore in-house, I think underscore designers, um, and uh, you'll find their um, Instagram page on which uh, they uploaded a photograph yesterday of this gorgeous necklace, which is uh, our, our deal of the day, which is absolutely gorgeous, using the neon appetite, the sapphire, the ruby, and the hessonite garnet. Don't you love those colours together? They look so poppy and bright and vibrant, don't they? But they also made this necklace here, 
But the beautiful terra jasper we've just had, I believe there may be about 10 strands of the terra jasper left, which is, you know, there were over, over 140 in stock. So I think we've got about 10 of those left. But if you, oh, there we go. Thank you, JM underscore in-house underscore designers. There we go. There's Ann and Sue. Ann and Sue. There you go. And uh, yeah, so they've made this gorgeous necklace uh, using the beautiful terra jasper and opal. I have to say, <laughs> this strand of opal is pretty amazing. Gorgeous recording there. Thank you, Ollie. These are graduated, graduated rounds of genuine Ethiopian, <whistles> Ethiopian opal. The most beautiful gemstone. I think one of the most beautiful gemstones that um, Ethiopia produces. You know, they've got some amazing world-class um, uh, emerald. This is the most beautiful quality gemstone. You're literally looking at uh, light bending over the silica balls inside the gemstone. It gives you that, what, look at that gorgeous, those gorgeous colors. You're getting pin fire, harlequin fire. Yeah, amazing quality. These are graduated from two to five mil in size. Oh, wow. Now have a look at this, have a look at this. This is your first price, okay, all the way down. Enjoy, 0800 644 Okay. 99.99, already absolutely superb, incredible, okay. You've got the wonderful quality here. Look at these gorgeous reds that you get there as Toby Cavill, who's with us at 11 o'clock today, would describe these, the money reds. These are the gorgeous, gorgeous colors you can expect to see with your Ethiopian open. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful tone, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, some wonderful colors in there, some beautiful tones, gorgeous kind of overview, kind of base tone as well. Got that wonderful kind of nude quality, which Ethiopian Opal uh, just does so well. It really genuinely does, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. We're at 99.99, nowhere near your star buy price today. This has been on air, this has been on air already. We have the last few chances ready for you today. Already people coming through. This is great to see. Well done. We're at 99.99. Down even lower for you today. How low would you like to see this go? Yeah, with the Terra Jasper going down to the most amazing price point with those gorgeous turquoise blues, with those lapis blues. Look at them together. They're absolutely sensational together in their gorgeous necklace, which we've been showing you as well. They just, they are made for each other, aren't they? Gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Well done. Here we go. 29.99 for your absolutely, I mean, this is an extraordinarily good strand of Ethiopian opal, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Stunning quality. Okay. Now we have bought you uh, hmm, various different strands of ruby over the last 12 months or so, sorry, of opal over the last 12 months, which have been around about this kind of a price point, round about this kind of a deal, okay? What we're gonna be doing for you today is ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. We've got Angela with six in her basket there, Tracy in Manchester Street, this is great to see, well done. 29.99, not your deal. Today, what I would say, and the only bit of advice I would ever give you with gemstones like opal is if you can multi buy, do. The reason for that is each strand is going to look ever so slightly different. You may have a strand which has got more greens in it, more reds in it, more of that kind of um, pin fire in it, or indeed more of that kind of patchwork quilt, kind of harlequin fire. And it's all to do with the displacement of light over the top uh, of those silica balls and the quality that they give you really will result in a different level of, of, of light being emitted. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Joni, well done to you. Sandra, well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic quality. Tracy, Maureen, oh, Tracy's coming through for another one. Maureen, well done to you as well. Loads and loads and loads of people there today. This is so wonderful. Get those messages sent through. Andrew's now got seven in her basket. 
Joni's got two in her basket. Gabby in Hampshire. Well done to you, Beatrice now. All the way down. This is this is way, 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 way too low. 19.99 for this quality of Ethiopian opal. Absolutely incredible. Metla, well done to you as well. Maureen's now got two. Beatrice, Gabby, well done to you as well. And gemstone, uh, ge gemstones like this do, do, do not come along every single day of the week. These are kind of once in a blue moon kind of gemstones. Whether it's going to be your bubble star bracelets, whether it's going to be your kind of chandelier kind of um, earrings where you hang the gemstones a bit al almost like a bunch of grapes, like a chandelier, like waterfalls almost, um, would look absolutely superb. Shaleen, well done to you. London, well done to you as well. Gabrielle, well done to you as well. Such an incredible gemstone. And not a, and, and not a big deposit of uh, gemstone quality and opal either. You've got here a gemstone deposit, which is about, it's about four foot high and goes into the rock face about five to six foot. That is about it. Um, and it is, it is one of those gemstones which is getting rarer and rarer and rarer. This quality especially. Amazing. Beatrice has got two. Well done to you. More people there. That's was so good to see. Amanda's now taken two to Essex. Well done to you, my lovelies. Gorgeous. 0800 six triple four six double five well done and you're all going to be getting a 30-day money-back guarantee as well not that you're going to need it with something of this kind of caliber there's more people with these in their baskets do check out as soon as you can hazel in nottinghamshire karen well done to you in east sussex as well what a treat for you today the most gorgeous opalescence the most beautiful tones there gorgeous superb well done literally only a few chances remaining yeah, we've got the water bottles to do now. We've got a load of other strands to bring you as well. And hopefully there's going to be time for the jewelry maker, bread maker. <laughs> yes, there it is. We love it. <laughs> That's going to be coming your way um, in this hour. Right, are we going to do the water bottles now? Yes, okay. Should we start with the cit Should we start with the citrine? Yeah. So these, I love these. I love the look of them. I love the packaging for these. I just, I think these are absolutely wonderful. Your packaging uh, looks like this. Really, really simple, really gorgeous and sleek. Water bottle with citrine infuser. Now, this is kind of, uh, this is uh, quite a new thing when it comes to uh, working with uh, crystals. I've got a bit of, I've got a bit of information for you about citrine and why you might want to use citrine um, uh, in a water bottle um, uh, situation. So citrine promotes motivation, activates creativity and encourages self-expression, enhances concentration and revitalizes the mind. It releases negative traits, depression, fears, and phobias. Now, we're talking about using a crystal in a water bottle. Why would you want to do that? Okay, so there's a bit of information here as well about why you would want to use a crystal in, in a water bottle uh, situation. Um, and there's been lots and lots of studies done which, uh, which, um, which suggest... Um, that water, water molecules um, have a memory and that they can keep hold of certain trace elements and certain energies within their molecular structure. A lot of people believe in it. A lot of people don't believe in it. Do you know what, though? I think this is a really, really lovely thing to own because look at this. You've got this gorgeous kind of almost like a, a thermal protector to keep the water nice and cool for you. I wouldn't use this with hot drinks. Um, I would only use it with um, uh, cold drinks and it'll become obvious why in a second. So the lid comes off like this. Really lovely. You've got that kind of rubber quality inside uh, the lift. Uh, sorry, inside the lid there. Really, really nice and easy to open and close. You've got that little rubber seal in there. You wait till you see the bottle, it's so cool. I'm just gonna take it out of its sleeve. Look at this! I absolutely love this. There is your citrine crystal. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, you can, get, you can get things like this elsewhere, so you literally just fill your water bottle up full of water um, and you're good to go. The, the the gifting market for things like this has gone absolutely wild over the last couple of years. As crystal healing really, really starts to kind of gather up speed, a lot of people interested in uh, doing crystal healing and investing time and, en and, and their energies into crystals. Being able to give something like this is so, so special. When you've got a gemstone which is connected with self-motivation and happiness, anything that you can do 
to kind of infuse your water potentially with those kind of positive ions. Surely, I mean, it, 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 there may be something in it, there may be nothing in it. What a lovely gift to be able to give to somebody though. Now I do have um, a, a bit of a price comparison for you. This is, uh, we're at 78 pounds and 99 pence. What a gift to be able to give to somebody. We've got a gemstone infusion citrine water bottle here, 39.95. I mean, that's a brilliant price, a brilliant price. Absolutely fantastic, okay. Now, we're at 39.95. Brilliant, fantastic, okay. We've matched that price point. That's absolutely fantastic. Obviously, this is all Jewelry Maker branded as well, which makes it really lovely. It comes to that kind of Jewelry Maker sense of, yes, it's from Jewelry Maker. You know what I mean? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous gift, whether it's for Mother's Day, whether it's for Father's Day, whether it's going to be maybe as a birthday present. You've got um, uh, the birthstone of uh, November in here as well. And yet, if you want to kind of, if you want to promote all of the good stuff that citrine supposedly has, so the fact that it's a positive gemstone, a gemstone of motivation, a gemstone to de-stress and kind of cleanse you. Um, Absolutely fantastic. Yes, known as the merchant stone. Absolutely. So if you do sell your jewellery, if you do, uh, if you are thinking of doing uh, gemstone, uh, sorry, jewellery craft fairs or any kind of craft fair indeed, you know, what a wonderful thing to be able to have. Keep yourself hydrated as well, which we can all do with. We all need to drink more water. We're at 39.95. Not your price point today. I love this. I love the quality that you're going to be getting here. Um, so do make sure that you just hand wash this only. Um, and that you only put your um, uh, cool, uh, cool drinks in here, okay? All the no, 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 no. Thirty nine ninety five. Not your price point today. We've got the thirty second clock. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and I think you do well to get any water bottle at the price point we're about to take this down to. Let alone the fact that it's got a great big citrine in there as well. It's just incredible, isn't it? Yeah, big hundred carat weight citrine in there. I don't know if you can if I can show it to you any. Yeah, the bottle is really. It's it, 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 it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Oh, look, the, there we go. Gorgeous. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely fantastic. I love the quality that you're going to be getting here today. 14 99 That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, look, the bottom comes out. Oh, I see. There we go. And you should be able to take the um, you should be able to take the bottom of this out as well, so you can kind of keep the gem zone to one side when you're cleaning it. Uh, so you will be able to give it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So you will be able to give it a really good um, a clean to wash it with kind of um, detergent, but then you can keep the citrine to one side. Isn't that fantastic? That's wonderful. Fourteen ninety nine for you today. Well done, Sheila, Caroline, Florence, Pauline. Well done to Maureen and Denise. I love it. Isn't that fantastic? Look at this. There we go just love the quality you're going to be getting here love the idea as well what a fantastic gift idea to give to somebody don't you think um uh, um monica it is it's great for men's gifts for one thing yes but also for you know um if you know somebody that's kind of got everything it's yes. perfect for them because my, my dad for example is really difficult to buy for because he's pretty much got everything he yes. wants <laughs> so, yes um i bet you he doesn't have one of these <laughs> see that and that's exactly it so whether it's going to be for father's day whether it's yeah. going to be uh, for, yeah, the guy who's got absolutely everything. Yeah. Fantastic. I like the fact it's got a little handle on here as well. So if you wanted to maybe put uh, your water bottle back in its little sleeve and then attach the water bottle holder itself, the little kind of thermalated um, uh, water bottle holder here, onto maybe your bag, onto a book bag. And of course, that's brilliant, isn't it? Because of course, you can just take it with you. Because of course, with a glass water bottle as well, you do run the risk of, you know, having to kind of stack it in, in a particular way so it, doesn't, um, so it doesn't break or get scratched. Emma, well done to you as well. Patricia, Christine, well done to you. Debbie and Cheshire, well done to you. Fantastic deals for you today. And anything which can even, you know, even the thought, even the thought behind behind it of it of it possibly um, uh, transferring some of the positive good energies uh, to you and when, and, when, and when you consider as well that we are made up of you know over kind of 70 80 percent water as human beings this is this is just this is brilliant isn't it here we go rose quartz one here we go it's gonna yes I think it is this or is it the nine o'clock hour the joy met this <laughs> It's not really a bread maker. Somebody message in <laughs> so that they like the look of the bread maker next to me. <laughs> I love it. Water bottle with rose quartz. Here we go. So I love this. This is so nice. I'm going to move you out of the way, my lovely. Right, so rose quartz. Look at this. 
This is your rose quartz. Now that is a good piece of rose quartz. Rose quartz, what's this a gemstone of? It's a gemstone of love, partnership, self-love, self-empowerment, self, um, self kind of appreciation. Absolutely gorgeous. There's your rose quartz in the center there. Um, and I suppose that there is that thinking that, yeah, um, uh, water can uh, water hope well, um, it's been researched but there's no kind of there's no kind of factual evidence to back it up but there's a lot of people who believe that 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 if you if you uh if you play uh, a, a lovely piece of music to a bowl of water uh and then you get another bowl of water and you play really aggressive music then it does something to the molecules in the water so a lot of people believe that uh, that water can react to its uh to its uh, to its surroundings and then it can even keep some of its trace elements so if you believe in the crystal uh, healing properties of genuine gemstones such as rose quartz and when you consider that we are made up of you know a majority of water then surely by ingesting that water, you know, you're bypassing actually wearing the jewellery and arguably, you know, you, you're going to reap the benefits. That's what a lot of people believe. I just think it's a really nice, a really nice water bottle to own. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Philippus, well done to you, maker in Nottinghamshire. Maker coming through, well done. Shall we match the price point? Come on, here we go. Let's match that price point. 0800 644 655. I just love the quality of it as well. It's such a lovely, lovely... Uh, quality that you're going to be getting here as well. Love the uh, kind of the inside of the lid, loving the top as well with that lovely kind of rubber seal on there. So the chance of this leaking is massively, massively reduced um, and just really, really beautiful. You can unscrew the bottom as well so you can get inside the water bottle and really give it a good clean as well. Because of course that's really important when you are um, uh, going to be using your water bottles every day. Well done everyone. Jalanta, well done to Anna, well done to you. Lots and lots of people coming through. What a lovely thing to be able to have. And yeah, the gift for somebody who, 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 who has absolutely everything. And it's also going to encourage you to drink more water, hopefully. And it looks so expensive. I mean, if you put a ribbon it around it does, yeah. a gift, nobody would guess that it was less than 15 pounds. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It looks it looks so, so, so expensive. You're absolutely right. Yeah, even the the kind of, yeah, look, the little sleeve it comes in as well. It's really, really lovely. And being able to buy these kind of sleeves separately as well. I mean, they're wonderful, but yeah, the sleeves themselves. Sleeves themselves should be kind of, what, yeah, five, six pounds. Got the little handle on here as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Really great to be able to um, hang this maybe on your bag uh, to kind of keep it close to you in the car as well. And just, and just, to, kind of, and just to kind of make sure that, um, uh, that it's nice and protected as well. 14 99 Patricia, well done to you as well. Sheila, gorgeous, well done. Check out your baskets. And like I say, it comes to you in this really, really fantastic tube as well. I love that, don't you? Super duper. Awesome. With fresh, I tell you, it's a darn sight nicer than my water bottle, because there's been kind of evidence, hasn't there, that drinking water out of plastic water bottles, um, some water, uh, sorry, some plastics, um, uh, can be can be damaging to your health. So actually, to make it out of a glass uh, material is fantastic, isn't it? Here's your deal of the day, jewellery. This is such a lovely piece of jewellery. Ha ha ha. Sapphire, ruby, neon apatite, hessonite garnet, all of these coming up at 10 a.m. as your deals of the day. Love that. What? Oh, oh yeah, that looks gorgeous, Ollie. That looks really, really nice. Do you know something? We have not seen a strand like this one for ages and ages and ages. What is it? Orange carnelian faceted rondelles. Oh, now I'm going to put it. Yes, I'm just, yes, 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 yes. There you go. It's Ollie said, put it with the tech. Oh, she's gone and done it. There we go. Look. Ah, yes. All of that. All of it. All of it. App Neon Appetite coming up at 10. Terra Jasper, there may be like literally two or three of this left. We took it down to four. Don't you know we shouldn't have done that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Carnelian. Carnelian 
of such a high quality. This is a real favorite of jewelry maker viewers at the minute. It, it, it's, it's funny, Monica, gemstones go through kind of, not necessarily popularity, but we go through kind of having a gemstone, not having a gemstone, having a gemstone, not having it. And Carnelian at the minute, we're very, very lucky. We've had some brilliant strands. Nothing like this though. It is such a popular stone on Jewelry Maker, and I can totally see why the fiery colour you get here is amazing, isn't it? It would go fabulously with the Masterclass kits, actually. Oh, yes, with uh, the gorgeous. Yes, oh, definitely. When you look at the gorgeous Egyptian style kit yeah. that Monica's got in the 12 o'clock hour with the gorgeous turquoises, with the oranges, yeah, definitely, 100%. That would work so, so, so well. Uh, Janet, maker in London, Beatrice, Helen, Paul has got two. Well done to you. 12, 12 99 for you today. Well done. Guess what? It's not your prize. No, no. We're going to go low. We're going to go low, low, buffalo, because we can. Well done, Joe, Helen and Dumbantia. Well done to you, my lovely. multi bidders coming through to get this. That's absolutely wonderful. Well done, Maker in Fife now. That's great. Super duper. All the way down. 6 99 Yeah. I kid you not. 6 99 Yours today. Maureen, Gabrielle, well done to you, my lovelies. That is so good for Carnelian. For any, even for Carnelian chips and nuggets, that's amazing. But for individually hand-faceted rondelles, that is superb. It really genuinely is, isn't it? And if you wanted to kind of put it with today's amazing deal of the day, if I just kind of shimmy it up to the necklace, it just fits in so... Oh, that looks so good. It fits in so well with those poppy colours. Pop, pop, pop. Section of blue, section of orange. I like that, Neary. Yes. Well done. Janet's got two. Sheila's got two. Beatrice has got two. Well done. Anna Marie. Well done to you. Maker in Stirlingshire. Deirdre. Karen. Northumberland. Fife. Lynn. Maker. Donna. Yvette. Tracy. Maker. Well done. There's loads of people coming through. Hazel. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. And then we've got the gorgeous Hessonite as well, which has got more of that kind of cognac -y tone to it. I'll, I'll show you the Hessonite alongside it, actually. Because it's kind of more of an autumnal theme, I, I think, anyway, with the Hessonite. The Hessonite is really, really pretty. Carnelian's much more orange, and the Hessonite's got more of those kind of, um, uh, kind of, kind of brownie tones in there. Really, it's just horses for courses in kind of what you want to go with. But, um, Neary, you were saying before the show today, actually, you are absolutely loving everything ombre at the minute. Um, and you've got those wonderful ombre tones between these two, haven't you? So if you do want to go down that ombre quality, um, then absolutely fantastic. Well done to you, Linda. You've just taken two, my darling. Well done. Fife's got two. That's great. Well done. Stirlingshire. Wiltshire's got three. Well done. Kent's got two. Somerset, well done to you. You've now taken two. Jennifer Jacqueline, well done. Six pounds and 99 pence. Such a, a popular gemstone. A gemstone of the moment. Here it is as a bracelet. Look. So, so simple and easy to wear this just as a bracelet. That is lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous colours there. Well done, everyone. OK, we're going to leave that live during the break. Don't go anywhere. Gorgeous kits coming up after the bit. We've got four kits, all completely different. Gorgeous jewellery and a fantastic demo. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. 
Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create, wear, share. Oh, now I tell you what, I've not seen kits like this for ages. It's, it's, do you know what, an hour when we've got four kits is always brilliant. And they're all so different, aren't they, Monica? They are, yes. But they're really versatile because there's so many different things that you can do with these kits. And Absolutely. I mean, the idea behind them was uh, Kumihimo. So you, obviously you can do Kumihimo with them, which is what I'm going to show you in the demo. Mm -hmm. But um, there's so many other things you can do with them. I mean, you've got the Super Joes there. So, and then the pearls, of course, I had to do a little bit of pearl knotting because of the pearls. But <laughs> you see, and this is it. And there's loads of different colorways. You've got shell pearls. It's just a really, really nice um a kind of um amount of amount of versatility you've got here as you say monica yeah. we've got four kits we've got a pearl kit which has got super duos and seed beads in we've got a jet kit as well which has got the most beautiful strand of spinel super duos and seed beads they've all got gorgeous cord we've got two shell pearl kits as well we're going to start off with this gorgeous pearl kit now i have to say i love what you've done with this pearl kit i love the marla you've made here and they're using the super duos at the bottom as well to make this gorgeous guru bead. It's, you've, it's just so lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, when you look at the guru bead here, it, it, I, I, I don't know why I haven't seen more guru beads like this because the, the, the super duos work so well in this design, don't they? It does. And it's actually, it's basically a bead cap with a tassel going into the middle of it. Okay. It looks like a guru bead, uh, as you say, but I actually didn't realise that until just now when oh, you said it. But there it you does, go. Yeah. But it is, it's just a really, really clever, clever little design, isn't it? Yeah. And the way that the, the shape of the beads really lend themselves to kind of all tessellating together like that. It just, it just works so well. Now, with this kit, this is the kit we're going to be starting off with. You're going to be getting this gorgeous turquoise um, um, S-long cord, which 
it, it does look like little kind of seed beads in between the pearls. Um, it is actually a beautiful Eslon cord that you're going to be getting here. And being able to use them and, and, and use them with these pearls is amazing because those pearls must have got quite... Though they must have quite a, a significant drill hole going well, through them. I was going to say that with, normally with pearls we get the silk thread or the nylon thread that's got the mm. needle attached to it because um, those are the only ones you can get through the pearls because you, you won't be able to get a needle through the pearls with a thread through yes. the needle. Yes. Obviously then you need to get the eye of the needle and two layers of the thread through at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but normally you wouldn't be able to get the s line thread through your, your pearls either and this one I didn't have particularly much trouble. I mean you'll see in the demo going through the pearls with just the s line cord on its own. So that's that's really good. That's brilliant, isn't it? It's just, it's just gorgeous. Those pearls are so big as well. Let me show you around this kit because they are really, really big, big pearls you're going to be getting here. So you've got three strands of pearls. Got these gorgeous ringed, uh, these beautiful ringed pearls here, which are absolutely beautiful. That gorgeous kind of almost, uh, kind of almost rounded shape to these ones here. They're beautiful, aren't they? You've then got these, which are, it's, it's one of my favorite shapes of pearls. Beautiful rice pearls, slightly more elongated. Got that really gorgeous size and that really beautiful um, uh, kind of blemish-free surface as well, which works really well alongside the ring pearls, I think. And then you get these absolute beauties. Look at the size of these. Nine to 10 mil. They're absolutely huge. Seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to 10 mil. They are absolutely gorgeous. So that's three strands of genuine freshwater culture pearls here. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? In this hour, we're kind of focusing on beaded kumahimo. We're looking at kind of knotting. Uh, we're kind of talking very much about using your cords and knotting and creating kumahimo in various different weaves. Let's not get away from the fact that this is a three strand pearl kit. And it's very, very easy to kind of uh, to kind of become kind of slightly distracted with the demos that we're going to be seeing. But because to be able to bring you three strands of pearls for this price point is amazing. Now, have a look at this. We're at forty nine ninety nine. Now, that's just your start price for three magnificent strands of pearls. But then, of course, you've also got your Eslon. You've also got your beautiful Montana blue seed beads in 11 O's, which is one of our most popular colors here on Jane. It's like a really lovely, dark kind of inky um, navy blue almost. And then you get your beautiful super duos in this gorgeous um, emerald capri gold uh, color, which has got almost like a jadeite kind of feel to it, yeah. doesn't it? Just the most gorgeous kind of and that does, I mean, it does have a jadeite look to it, doesn't it? That calming, serene kind of um, uh, jade green quality to it. I just love it. Let's not forget this is a three strand pearl kit. You've got here big, big, big amounts of genuine freshwater culture pearls here. One crash, one price. This is a big crash, okay? I love the quality you're getting here. And I know that these uh, kits and, you know, the demo is all about kind of kumahimo and looking at knotting and looking at kind of focusing on, you know, whether it's pearl knotting or whether it's going to be uh, doing kumahimo designs, which, of course, is all a variation of, of kind of applying different knots to your cord. But let's not forget what we're getting here, a three pearl kit. These are three strands of enormous quality pearls. You've got your two ringed pearls either side, and then the center, you've got the most beautiful rice pearls as well. Absolutely gorgeous quality. We're taking the price point down. Already people with this in baskets, already people checking out, which is great to see. Well done. Yeah, that is a strand of pendants. You're absolutely right. A strand of earrings, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Such amazing quality. Price point coming in. You're going to absolutely love this. 0800 644 The jewellery you'll be able to make with this is going to be such high quality. You can see there with the necklace that, um, uh, that Monica's made. It's just incredible, incredible quality. 0800 644 655 24.99. Do you know what, Monica? That is literally less than a tenner per strand 
and you've got all of your chord and your super duos and your seed beads included as well. Vivian, Glenda, Sheehan, Helen, Elaine, Maker's got two in their basket. Well done. Sam in Buckinghamshire, you've got two there. Well done to you. Maker in Carmarthenshire, well done to you as well. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through to get this. I mean, just for, let's take away, let's take away, I don't know, let's take away all of that and just look at this one strand here. I don't know about you, Monica. I can imagine this being twenty-four ninety-nine just on its yep. ju just by itself. I mean, if you if you imagine the necklace I made, I mean, if you if you were to try and sell that for twenty-four ninety-nine, you wouldn't because people wouldn't believe it was genuine pearls. Uh, you probably have to put a, a one in front of it and say one hundred and twenty-five. Definitely. Pounds. And I've only used two two of the three pearl strands there, and oh. I still have enough. So you've still got another one left. I've got the one left and enough for a bracelet here. So oh. less than two strands I've used there. It's not strictly a mala because I didn't count that there were a hundred and... I think we'll forgive you. Uh, I just made a sort of a wearable size. Um, but, you know, it doesn't it's have just to be... amazing. ...a mala. It can just be a, a knotted necklace. And, I mean, that would easily be a hundred pounds. So only that. using two of the strands of pearls, using minimal amounts of the super duos. And, yeah, yeah a hundred and twenty-four ninety-nine. That would yeah. be absolutely amazing. And Monica's got enough left to make a bracelet. She's got an entire strand of pearls yeah. remaining and the and pretty much all of them, well, almost all of the Montanas and, yeah. and the majority of the Super Duos as well. It's such a great deal. Even if we break this down as just the deal for the pearls by themselves, it's amazing. You can imagine, can't you? Five pounds for this strand of pearls. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. This is way, way, way lower than what they would sell for, even on Joy Maker. Five pounds for each one of these strands of pearls. You would easily expect to pay at least another 10 pounds for your cord, your super duos and your Montana blue. So that's really the equivalent of, yeah, five pounds a strand. That's absolutely amazing. And if you forget about all these ingredients here, it's working out at just over eight pounds per strand. Teresa, Maureen Ann, Maria, Maker, Glenda, Maker's got four there, Vivian, well unto you, County Antrim, Grace, well unto you as well, Donna, Carmarthen, she's now got three, well done to you, absolutely superb, gorgeous, I love that, that is just amazing, love it, love it, love it, right, okay, next kit, this one's going to go crazy, now as, I think it was Norma who said during the Wall of Fame, this is a gem we couldn't get at, um, at Tucson, <laughs> and the guys filmed a really, really funny clip about the fact they couldn't find this gem anywhere, it's Jet. Um, we love this uh, so, so, so much. To start off with, you've got your gorgeous cord. Now, this cord's a little bit thinner, isn't it, um, Monica? It is, yes. Brilliant. So that will go through um, uh, even your slightly smaller seed beads, presumably, as, um, 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 as well. You've got your go galvanised gold 11 O's. I love this colour. Yes. Hematite coloured super duos, which are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you've then got, you've then got, oh no, you've then got mystic coated gunmetal um, spinel. This is absolutely, ha, look at that. Yeah, it's so sparkly. Oh, mystic gunmetal coated spinel, absolutely superb. These are all four mil inside. That is such a glorious strand of gemstones. And, it, and it's funny, isn't it? Just when you imagine, um, you know, the simplest jewellery, just that in a bracelet, just looking like that. I mean, that's just so classy. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? But then you've got another strand. Now, what would you put with a strand like this to really kind of show a different kind of, a different way of seeing a black stone? I'd put Jet with it because Jet has got the most wonderful, sultry kind of matte satin finish. Uh, to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. You've got here the most beautiful black jet, eight millimeter rounds. It's one of the only strands of jet we've got in the entire business. It's almost impossible to get this gemstone anywhere at the minute. I love the fact that we've got it here. I love the um, the bracelet that you've made here as well on the end. Yeah. It's such a lovely piece. Can you see the end bracelet? Actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll bring it over. So we can look at it right next to the kit. Look at this. I mean, it's really simple, oh, but it's um, it. it's really effective, I think, with the gold and the... Yeah. The gold and the black look so nice. And I, I have, I've seen lots and lots of bracelets um, uh, for sale, not with this kind of um, addition on there, but just with kind of gold-coloured spacer beads and the gorgeous cord. It's such a popular design, isn't it? Yeah. 
And I mean, you, I hardly used any of the gemstones or even the seed beads in there. It's mostly just the cord. And actually, the cord in the description it says it's seven meters on the cord. But I used about eight meters for that bracelet, and I still had a couple of meters left. So I think it's ten meters. Oh, for the cord, actually, we're underselling ourselves here. Amazing. So close to kind of uh, ten meters of your cord. Straight away under thirty pounds. If I tell you today, you are going to be able to get this kit. Oh my gosh, you are going to be able to get this incredible kit today for a price point which I've got Neary to try. And uh, well, I've tried to, uh, he's checked the price on this kit three or four times, okay? We should not be going a penny lower than where we are today. Karen, Teresa, Maker, loads of you there. You're gonna love this. This is my favorite kit of all four of them. I love this. And the price of this kit is absolutely superb. Yes, it's for Kumahimo, but yeah, it's also for doing your macrame with it. I mean, there's so much you can do with this. 19 pounds, 99 pence. Yours today, you've got your mystic gun, uh, gun metal coated spinel. You've got the incredible jet. You've got the beautiful super duos. You've got your 11 OC beads and you've got your uh, roughly 10 meters of your Jet Black Cord as well. Denise, Karen, Maker, Christina, Maker, Sheila, Maker, Pauline, Teresa, all for £19.99. So lovely. And it's almost, I mean, it is lovely to see the jewellery that um, uh, Monica's made, but do bear in mind, as she says, you know, she hardly use any of the stones here. I don't think, yeah. You haven't even touched the jet, have you? I haven't, no. And I mean, you don't have to use every component in the kit together. No, of course Obviously, you don't. If you don't like the gold with the black, you can put some silver with it. Or you can just, I mean, you can... Forget about the cord. If you don't want to use the cord, you can use the uh -huh. little, uh, sort of beading wire and just space the jet out with the spinel on a, a simple black necklace, you know, anything. Um, you can make a two-stranded necklace using the super duos as kind of like spacer bars. Oh, gosh, that's a nice idea. So yes. You've got so many options with these kits. And as you say, and as I think it was Ollie who said in my ear, £19.99 £99 is a ridiculous price for the jet alone. Yeah. You know, when we, when we do, we've just bought you that three strand, we put, we've just bought you that incredible three strand kit for under 25 pounds. The three strands of pearls with everything else for 24.99. And now we're bringing you a kit that's got jet in. I think it's one of the very first kits I've ever done with jet, actually. I don't think I've, I've, I've ever seen a kit with jet in for under 20 pounds. It's amazing. Jean, Maker, Audrey, well done. Josephine, loads of people still coming through for this. You're doing such a phenomenal job. Well done, go, go, go. Amazing. Two more kits. Two more kits. Mookite kit. Neary's just sneezed in my ear. I have to say, he has, he's got such a, such a feminine sneeze. <laughs> Not like me. Literally like an elephant. It's just embarrassing. Um, right. This next kit, you get a lot. Do you get that with it as well? What's that? A chain. Do you get the chain with it or not? Is that, I don't know. I didn't get the chain. No, I don't. I think that might have just that might just be there. Anyway, right, here we go. <laughs> you get your gorgeous green Eslon cord. Beautiful shell pearl. Now, what's this shell pearl described as? Just described as silver. I don't... Ah, oh, there's something about... I don't think... It's got a slight green tone to it. it like a greeny silver. Don't you think? But also, okay, it's yeah. a little bit, it's almost like it's, um, like it's frosted a little bit. Yes! Not completely. Do you know what I mean? If it looks like it's velvet. Yeah, it does look like it's got a certain texture to it, yeah. doesn't it? You're absolutely right, Monica. You've got beautiful mookite with this as well. You've got your Montana Blue Silver Line Seed Beads, 11 O's. Okay, and then you've got your Shine Rose Super Duos as well. I love this colour. It's a gorgeous kind of almost like a watermelon colour. Yeah. Those two, that, that's watermelon. Yep. That is watermelon right there. Make me a watermelon, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of had the same idea. That's why I, for this bracelet, I used everything in the kit because I just thought it, it reminded me of summer with, this, with the green... Uh, and then the, the yeah. sort of the flowery colours. Fruity, fruity, yeah. look at the braid. You're so good, Well, that's Monica. the braid I'm going to show you how to do in a minute. So this has, got, this has got the cord in it. Obviously, you can see they're right in the centre there. Isn't that beautiful? And then you've got a uh, beautiful fire line as well, which you've used on the outside yeah. of the bracelet as well. I can't wait to see this, but uh, I mean, just stunning, isn't it? OK, twenty nine ninety nine for you today. Is that your price, Neary Nunu? No. All the way down. Let's take this one. Should we take this one even lower? Yes. Here we go. 
That is a gorgeous kit. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. Can I just say as well? This is just this is just me thinking. Well, I told you about thinking, but this is me just thinking. I would take personally the shell pearl from this kit, and I'd put it with the jet and the spinel from the last kit. And the seed that seed beads as well. Yeah, and I think seed beads too. Oh, guess the Montana. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got your watermelon fruit bowl kit here. Yeah. Yeah. And look, you've got your uh, you've got your watermelony fruit bowly yummy kit here at the front. Yeah. Sheila, I don't know what. Just, just ignore the details. It says magnesite and all sorts in there. I, I've got absolutely no idea. But look at isn't that just the most beautiful piece? Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Oh eight hundred. Six triple four, six double five. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. Okay. Next kit. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, it's this one here. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, now this is where we see lots and lots of lovely beaded kumahimo. Yes. I love these seed beads. They're so bright and vivid. Loving the cord we've gone for here as well, which is this stunning kind of cobalt blue as well. You can just see it kind of peeking out, can't you? In between these bright red silver lined seed beads. Are these, no, they're not matte, are they? Silver lined it's ruby. Yep. Are we thinking maybe Jubilee jewelry? Oh yes. Are we thinking maybe Jubilee jewelry? You've got here your super duos in Labrador. Yeah. Look at that. Jubilee jewellery. There you go. Then you've got one. <gasps> Look. Two. I love all these shell pearls. Three strands of shell pearls. Now, these shell pearls range in size from four to six to eight men in size. This is a lovely kit. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Um, loving the size of the shell pearls in there as well. Choose to use it with the, with the um, seed beads and the super duos and the braid or completely separately. It's entirely up to you. $29.99, Neary. Oh, no. I love how you've done this as well. Put the shell pearls on top of the um, sea beads as well to make that lovely kind of standout piece. So nice. I mean, this one I've actually done with uh, Fireline, that one. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. $14.99. Let's, let's take a look at this one, actually. You've got here um, such a lovely... Bra Again, this is kind of that bracelet you're seeing. I'm seeing a lot. You know, whether you go on the internet and look at really kind of high-end websites like Outnet or Netta Porter or, or whether you go, you know, on holiday uh, uh, to, to anywhere kind of touristy and you go to little jewellery shops where, you know, kids can spend their pocket money and things like that. And it's, and it's jewellery like this. It's lots of beads yeah. and uh, kind of braids and things like that. They look wonderful stacked up. But if I just pop one on top of the other, oh, you can just yes. see. I mean, they just look so... I mean, that just... It, oh, just, nice. it just looks so nice. That would work on memory wire as well, wouldn't it? It would. Um... How would you do that? You, well, for memory wire, you'd have to do uh, sort of a hollow tube because obviously with the cord, this doesn't make a hollow tube. Ah, right, okay. So you, you, but you could do uh, peyote, you could do um, all sorts of other tube, oh you gosh, know, nice. uh, herringbone stitch, any of those. Yeah, that would work really well, wouldn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. Wendy, Denise, Sue, Maker, Jean, Sam, and you know, yeah, yeah, just just off the top of my head, you've got your lovely jubilee colours there as well, uh, which of course we're going to be celebrating at the beginning of June. Fantastic, right, Monica. What are you going to show us? Right, so I'm going to do the demo in two parts, if that's okay, because I need a little bit of time in between two. Of sort course, of love it. So I thought I'd show you how to do a flat braid with the Kumihimo disc, uh -huh. because um, I've, I've seen, obviously, Mark's done a few um, demos with the round Kumihimo, so I thought yes. I'd show you how to do the flat one. I haven't seen one yet. Flat one, I could be wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop talking about that now. <laughs> I love it. Because I'm going to use a format demo type. So... For the, with a flat, with a, with a square disc is what you use to make a flat braid. Uh, the round disc you would use to make um, a round braid. Now there are lots and lots of different braids that you can make. If you go onto YouTube, you'll find probably hundreds of different braids that you can do. So I'm just going to show you one of the flat braids. So I'm going to use my square disc. I'm going to use a few of my 110 seed beads, and then I'm going to use the pearls, and I'm going to use the Eslon cord. So for a bracelet, you need about 60 centimeters length of cord for each um, for each piece of cord that you're using. Um, 
So what I've done is I've cut seven strands, which are one meter 20 long each. Okay, so I just cut a one meter 20 and I've done that seven times. So I've got my, my bundle of thread there and I'm going to fold it in half. So I've got all my 14 ends here in one and then I've got it folded in half just like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take the end, which is folded, and I'm going to tie it into a knot. Just a normal overhand knot. Don't tie it too tightly because you're going to, well, it depends on the length of the bracelet that you make. You might just cut this knot off the end, but you might have to undo it if you want a little bit of extra length. So just put a knot sort of close to the end. Oh, I've made a right mess of it, and it's just a knot. <laughs> Don't worry about it. As I say, this isn't going to be <laughs> part of your bracelet. It's just for the mechanics of it Perfect. all. Perfect. And then you're going to put this through your, the, the hole in the middle of your, of your square uh -huh. disc, and then you want to attach your weight. Now, normally this weight would just hang on the bottom, just like that. But for this particular design, you're going to be putting it down and picking it up a few times, so the weight um, is likely to fall off. So I've oh, done a little right. hack here with an elastic band. Oh. So just get a normal little elastic like that. Take your weight, put it at the end of your cord where your fold is. That's why mm -hmm. you need the thrace to be folded. It doesn't matter if it's not on all of the thrace, it doesn't matter. Just like that. Okay, hold it against your weight like that. And then take your rubber band, put it over the top, cross it over, and then put it over the bottom. That's a good hack. So that will keep your weight on there. Whatever you do, it's not going to fall off. Yeah, okay? brilliant. So now you're going to turn your board over. So now you've got 14 cords coming through there because I had seven length of lengths of 120 and I folded it in half. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your cords and you're going to attach them to your disc. Now, don't worry too much about the numbers or anything like that. Just make sure you've got eight of your cords attached to the top of your disc. The disc is on screen, actually, the square disc for $2.99. This is such a great little, great little gift to get for somebody. Lovely little holiday projects. It is, and it's a really mm. easy um, type of jewellery to make, so kids can really get involved in this. So, uh, you know, once you sort of done the first centimetre, you'll be able to get on with it. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at the top, uh -huh. which leaves you with six at the bottom. As I say, don't worry too much about the, the numbers, just try to sort of centre it on your disc if you can, but it doesn't really matter which, um, which grooves it goes into. Okay, so you've got six at the bottom and you've got eight at the top. Now you'll notice I haven't added any beads onto my, my cords yet. If you're doing um, a round braid, kind of like this one on a round disc, you would normally, you thread your beads on first before you started your, your cord work. But with this design, I'll show you in a second, if you change anything in the design, it'll change the combination of beads that you need to have on your ah. threads. So, uh, plus also you're not adding a lot of beads. I mean, if you, if you could pass me the black bracelet. Please. Yes, I can. Because this oh, is essentially lovely. the design that I'm showing you here. So you see, I haven't got a huge amount of beads on there. So you can just add on the beads one at a time as you're going along. Um, it doesn't take that long to put them on one by one as you're working. Okay, so I've got my eight threads at the top. I've got my six threads at the bottom and I've got my weight on there. Okay, uh, and, and my knot is kind of where the hole is in the middle. Like ah, that. okay. Okay. So now I'm going to start doing the braiding. Now, first you want to do some uh, empty braiding without adding any of the beads on. Yeah. Just so that you have a little length at the, at the end, which you can use to attach your clasp. Ah. So what you're going to do, so these two cords here are your two middle cords at the top, right? Uh, which happen to be on five and six. As I say, don't worry too much about the numbers. I'm just going to use them to reference them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take number six, which is the right hand one of my two middle cords. So I'm going to take that cord and I'm going to put it on the left hand side on the left, okay? Doesn't matter which groove you put it in, just more or less on the side. I'm gonna take the left hand one of the middle bra bra middle cords and I'm gonna put that on the right hand side, okay? And then I'm going to swap my bottom cords over to the top and the top cords over to the bottom. So I'm gonna do one half at a time. So I'm gonna start with the left half and I'm gonna take the middle one first on the left, so that one there, and I'm gonna move it over to the left hand side gap at the top. Then I'm going to take the next one along. I'm going to bring that down to the bottom. Then I'm going to take the next one along at the bottom, put it in the top, the next one from the top, down to the bottom, next one from the bottom, up to the top, and then the last one down to the bottom. Okay? I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to start with the middle 
um, one of the right hand three. I'm gonna bring that up to the top. Then I'm gonna take the next one, bring it down, take the next one up to the top, next one. So you can see it's a really simple technique really. So we've got the round braiding uh, kumihimo board as well, which is kind of more of a traditional one. Yeah. And you get more of a cylindrical shaped braid, don't you? Yes, rather than exactly. the flat braid. Exactly. Gorgeous. That's two ninety nine as well. Well done. Okay. So I've moved all my top and bottom cords across. Now all I need to do is take these ones from the side. Remember, we took them from the middle. Now we're going to put them on the end. Okay. So that's one round. Uh, I say round is flat, really, but it's one yeah. round of all your cords. Uh huh. Okay. Then you're going to repeat the same thing. So the things you need to watch out for, first of all, is to make sure that you cross over those two middle threads. If you don't cross them over, if you put the left one on the left and the right on the right, you're going to end up with two separate um, braids happening next to each other. Ah, They're going to be joined okay. together. Yeah. So you need to make sure that you cross them over. Also, it helps. It's not essential, but it helps if you always do the same one first. So I'm always starting with the right one to go left. Okay. Um, it's not going to make a huge difference if you do it the other way around every now and then, but it just looks a little bit more even and neat. Okay. Do it the same. The rest of the cord moving doesn't really matter what order you do it in. So whatever order that you're happy with, obviously you've got to start at the bottom because you've got your uh, gap at the top. Yeah. But any order that you're happy with that makes you comfortable, uh, just do that. And if you, the first few, if you do it the same way every time, then it's kind of like muscle memory, so you're going to remember what to do yeah. without having to concentrate. We've got um, on the screen at the minute the Beadsmith Kumihimo starter kit, which has got bobbins with it as well, which is something which you're not actually using there, but, you, but it's good if you're using, if you're going to be adding beads onto your braid, isn't it? Exactly. Um, Monica? Because the bobbins are great because obviously I'm just doing a bracelet here, but you can do a necklace, you can do longer sections um, with your Kumihimo. Uh -huh. And because, I mean, I've only got 50 centimeters or so of thread here, so that doesn't get too tangled at the yes. bottom. But even with this, you can see it's quite, it's quite a lot of thread. Yeah. Uh, so if you can imagine if you're doing a necklace and you've got sort of a meter, a meter and a half of each of your threads. And I mean, I've only got the 14 threads here or with the round disc, you might have um, six or eight threads okay, or, yeah. or something like that, but you can go up to sort of 24 threads even. Um, then your threads can get tangled at the bottom. So it really helps if you, if you if you wind your, your lengths of thread onto your bobbins because then it kind of becomes less tangled because you've got a shorter thread mm -hmm. and you've got the weights on the bobbins as well. And also if you threaded your beads onto your thread and then you wind it onto your bobbin, it kind of holds everything nicely um, yeah. Gorgeous. together. Okay, Brilliant. Okay, so now this is my second round, so don't forget to put the edge ones up to the side again. Okay, so now before I start adding beads, I'm gonna do a few rounds of that just to get my cord started. So. Do you have anything else to bring yeah. at the moment? We've got some gorgeous spacers. Where have they gone? Yes, beautiful space. Where have they gone? I have, ah, there they are. Got them. I got them. I got them. I got them. Gorgeous, gorgeous spacers. These, um, we were looking at these before the show. I think they're described as floral spacers, but in actual fact, they're four leaf clovers, exactly. Um, these are made up of gorgeous, gorgeous um, hearts, which have all got their points um, together. They're so sweet. Love these. You've got um, uh, such a gorgeous uh, quality. But all of it is double sided. And you've got a really, really, really large. Here we go. Really, really large drill hole going through these as well. Look at that. So you'll be able to fit almost all of the cords that we bought you today. You can even incorporate them into your, um, into your uh, macrame pieces as well. Many, many, many different kind of anchor points um, uh, which, you can, which you can use to... Um, do you want it to be a star by? Yes, let's make it into a star by. Star by. Now, I first thought, my immediate thought is, I want to put these with the gorgeous pearl kit that we bought you earlier on, because the quality of these gorgeous pearls, it commands that kind of precious metal quality, doesn't it? They're just got, yeah, the pearls are huge. Still got some of the pearls, uh, pearl kits available if you want to add it to your order for $24.99. Suzanne's already bought four loads of these. Now, you're going to be getting, you're going to be getting here, four of your sterling silver floral heart detail four leaf clover spaces whatever you want them to be 
But we did look at them and think, yeah, they are. They look like four-leaf clovers, which is a symbol, obviously, of 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 luck, of faith, of hope, and um, really, really pretty. Because they've got so many apertures going through them, you've got holes literally on all on all four corners, and then on the kind of on all four sides, and then the corners as well. If you wanted to use it as a centerpiece, maybe to a bracelet, to have multiple passes going through it of beading thread, that would work really well as almost like a connector, wouldn't it, in the middle oh, of a necklace or bracelet? Oh, they're really beautiful, aren't they? They're so sweet. Oh. If I turn them like that, then look, you can see how, just how many holes it looks. It's got three on either side. It's so impressive, isn't it? They're gorgeous. Beautiful quality. All 925 sterling silver. Just love the look of these. And there are lots of different companies out there where, where, where you can get your kind of four-leaf clover charms from. It's, it's kind of synonymous with, with, with luck. It's kind of one of those auspicious kind of charms, isn't it? Like a, like a rabbit's foot. And look, you've got your 925 stamp on there. You can see on the photograph there, actually, you've, you've got your 925 stamp there. Now, here's a price comparison for you. I've found these ones here. These are 925 sterling silver. Um, you uh, get three of these gorgeous beads. They're all sterling silver. 20 pounds and 29 pence for three. Well, you've got four and we're at 19.99. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Nicolette, well done to you. Maria, maker in Surrey. Margaret, Charmaine, maker in Greater London. Well done. 19.99, not your price point today. You're getting all four of these today. And it is one of those international symbols, not just like a symbol which, you know, some people associate with luck. It is... You know, a good, you know, if you go to uh, a card shop and you buy a good luck card, chances are is it's going to have a four-leaf clover on the front of it, yeah? Christine, well unto you. Sandra, Amanda, well unto you. And it could just be that little kind of good luck symbol. So, by the way, if you wanted to put one of these, maybe if I... Hang on, if I do this, put it on here. There we go, pop it there. If you pop one, I don't know, just in between, just on, on, on one of these little sections here, that looks so sweet, doesn't it? Aww. It's just a little charm that you can make rings out of these if you wanted to. Wouldn't that just be nice? Yeah, we, did we, it'd just be good. Yeah, rings, earrings, pendants, got that proper, proper size, doesn't it? You could even make an entire ring just using like a lovely stretchy ring. <gasps> oh, Ooh! Yeah. And it would be solid sterling silver. How nice would that be? Elaine, A, Christine... Yeah, they're kind of, they've got more, they're more than double and triple drill. They're kind of almost kind of, they've got six drill holes on them, which is so impressive, isn't it? Yeah, amazing. $9.99 for all four of these. Today. They're so good, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Well done. Jean, Maker, Anna, Nicolette, well done to you. Angela, well done to Rosemary, well done to A, well done to Maker and Jackie, well done to you. Anna in Derbyshire, you've got two in your baskets there. Well done. Loads and loads and loads of people with these in their baskets. They're just stunning, aren't they? I'm, I'm just trying to think, can you think of any press beads or particular size seed beads that might work with these, Monica? Well, any of your seed beads will work. Um, yeah. You know, even the, the shaped beads with the multiple holes, because there's so many places you can go into these. Exactly. So That's it's going to line thinking. up with most of your multi-hole um, seed beads. Do, do they remind you a little bit uh, of some of the symbols that we've had as well? I think kind of size-wise and shape-wise, they, they do remind me a little bit of some of the symbols that we've yeah. had. Not necessarily, you know, using them kind of uh, to create that kind of invisible, invisible kind of, um, uh, uh, kind of um, uh, design uh, that symbols are so good at doing. But you've got here real opportunity, I think. If you wanted to put these in the middle of a seed bead weave, you absolutely could do. Or indeed in the middle of a lovely... Um, uh, a, a lovely uh, macrame weave, maybe. Yep. Um, I think they'd work really, really well. Nine ninety nine. Maker and Five's got two. Should we carry on? Okay, we're going to leave the graphics on screen, but let's go back to the demo. Let's go back to see what Monica's doing. Okay, so I'm just finishing. Oh, gosh, this you've made progress. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> round that I'm busy with here. So one thing yeah. I would say is, if you're going to put this down and come back to it later, um, the best way to do that is to keep going until you've moved your side cords up to the top. Okay because then you'll know you finish one round and then you start with the next one when you come back to it again. And you'll see, now I've done a few here, so you can see the cord starting to happen there. Uh -huh. Okay. Now it's, it's still split open at the top, but that comes together later on. Yeah. So I've got my cord happening there. So now we're going to start adding the beads. So for the beads, you're going to do exactly the same thing as what you've been doing. Uh, so you're going to start off your next round, the same as before. So take the right hand side to the left, left hand side to the right, and then you're going to start moving up your bottom cords and your top cords. Same as before. Keep going until you get to the very last one. So move that to the top. 
Now this last chord here is the one that you're going to add your beads onto. Okay, so you're going to take your chord. I'm going to start with a seed bead here. And it'll go through your size 11 seed beads just fine. So put on a size 11 bead. Okay, bring it down. Now this is where I said you need to put your, your uh, disc down occasionally, so it's good to have your, ah, your yeah. weight attached. Okay. Now you're going to bring your, your seed bead down, hold your disc up so that the weight is pulling down. And then I've got my bead here. What you want to do is you want to get that bead. You see this cord that's coming from the top here? It's yeah. coming under the side cord. So you want your bead to kind of pop underneath that side cord. Lovely. Okay. And then you pull it a bit closer to the inside. I'm trying not to hide what I'm doing with my hand. I know, it's almost impossible for you. But... <laughs> so I've got my bead underneath the side cord and then you're going to attach it here. Now you see it's popped over the top there. Uh -huh. So just make sure the first one is always harder because you haven't got enough space at the moment there yes. for your bead to stay underneath. So you, you kind of want to push it into the hole in the middle of your disc. I promise you the next round gets easier. <laughs> okay, and then you pull it down. Okay, now you can see, so that's caught underneath my side cord there. Okay, so then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So keep going until you get to the very last one. So bottom up to the top. And then this is the last one again coming down. So put your bead on. Now the reason I say that you don't want to pre-thread your beads is because I'm going to use, sometimes I'm going to use a size 11 bead and sometimes I'm going to use a pearl. And sometimes I'm not going to add anything. So you can play around with that depending on the size of your bead. So again, you want this ah. bead to sit under that side cord and then bring your cord down like that. Okay, so your beads are caught there. They're not sliding down these cords here. Okay, and then same as before, put these cords up to the top. Okay, uh -huh. now if you look at the bracelet, which I did here, so I've now added one mm -hmm. of those little seed beads there, but I've yeah. got little gaps in between. You don't have to, you can add a bead at every round. But what I've done is I've made an empty round after each seed bead to yeah. kind of space them out a little bit. So then now I'm just going to do a plain round without adding any beads. So bring those out to the side as before and keep going. And then what I also did was when I put my work down to come back to it later, I always stopped just before a beaded uh, round. So I knew that when I came back to it, the first round that I started with was always the one where I needed to add a bead because um, it's quite hard to tell what comes next if you don't, uh, um, if you don't make a note of it. Yeah. yeah. So I always try to stop at the same place. Okay, so finish that round. So there I didn't add any beads. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to do the next round again, just with adding a seed bead. Okay, so I'll show you again. So bring that to the, le to the left, bring that one to the right, mm -hmm. and then do all of your cords without any beads. Obviously there are other ways you can add beads. You can add beads onto your side cords, you can add beads okay. onto the middle cords. So it, they all have a different look. Uh, as I say, there are so many different um, uh, sort of techniques that you can do with these. Now, now I'm adding on another seed bead, and this is a different chord to the one I had earlier, because the one I had earlier is obviously moving along. So that's why it's difficult to work out beforehand which chord ah, is going to need okay. which bead. Yeah. It's a different chord every time, and then your beads change as well. So again, bring your seed bead down to your inside chord, put it underneath. Yeah. It's also, I find it more difficult with my left hand. <laughs> the right hand, it always just pops in place. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So now it's caught in there. Yeah. And then you do the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, after I've done this one, I'll, I'll give Carol a chance to do the bread bin. <laughs> uh, thank you, Monica. <laughs> so I'm just putting this on. Okay. And then... You can guess what I'm going to do with the pearls. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the pearls in a minute. Yes! Um, the only thing I did extra for the larger beads... Mm -hmm. Okay, and this one's not behaving, so just do the standard licky bit. <laughs> just lick the end of your cords. <laughs> <laughs> that helps them go through. Or you can cut them off at an angle if you really can't get it through, because some of them just don't want to behave, do they? So when I'm adding larger beads, like the pearls, or I added the spinel to the black bracelet, um, what I did was 
on either side, I did two empty rounds. Okay, so if you remember, between my 11 O's, I did one empty round. So bring this down now, put it underneath the side cord, yeah. and then bring it down. And then don't forget to put your side cords up to the top. Okay, so then I'm going to do a blank one, and then I'm going to do another seed bead and another blank one. And then before I add my pearls, I'm going to do another blank one so that I have two, because you can imagine then that leaves a bit more space <coughs> for your yeah. larger beads. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So I'll carry on with that while you carry on. With Can it. I introduce you to <laughs> one of the most amazing star buys I've ever seen? This is the Swiss Army knife of Jewelry Maker. I'll be honest with you, when I saw this this morning, I hadn't got a clue what it did. I didn't, I didn't have a clue what the potential of this is, um, um, was. This is, it doesn't, there's no change there. I do wake up most mornings and not have a clue what's going on. But anyway, this is absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing. Neri and I spent about kind of uh, about five, 10 minutes looking at this and every, around every corner, there's another, there's another drawer. There's another little compartment, it's brilliant. It's a really gorgeous little kind of carry case to have all of your jewellery. I don't know about you, I've got lots of different pieces of jewellery. I've got everything from earrings to necklaces to bracelets to chains uh, to kind of pieces which I, which I don't really wear anymore. But, you know, they were gifted to me by my mum or by my or by my grandma. And, uh, you know, things that you just want to be able to keep in, in, in a place, in a safe, secure place. This does that. It's got a little handle here, so if you do want to move it around, if you do want to take it with you, uh, wherever you're going to be going, absolutely perfect. Great to be able to take this to places like craft fairs because honestly, this stores so many pieces of jewelry. Simply slide the handle down on the back, open the front, look at this, absolutely phenomenal, I love it. So you slide that um slide the handle down at the back and then this and then this kind of cover here rests on the um on the handle oh. you've got here um oh i love this this is so cool you've got here room and it's got this lovely kind of flock finish to it this lovely kind of velvety flock finish where you've got your ring uh, um, um, uh, places to store your rings, your bracelets. The fact that it's got that nice flock quality, don't underestimate that. It, it, what it does is it can remove kind of slight oils that maybe you've got on your skin from kind of um, uh, hand cream. And also it gives your jewellery a little bit of, of, of a much, much, much lesser chance of getting scratched. So you've now got. So you've now got this lovely big open tray here to be able to put your jewellery in. It's also, oh no, you've also got your trays. You've got your trays here to put your other pieces in. Now look at this. Tray number one, tray number two. Do you know what? I'm going to take them out because I want to show you the inside of these as well. So two full trays there. And look at this one. This is so cool. Look at this. How cool is that? I love it. I love it. Now, the inside of all of these trays, let me see whether I can show this to you. The inside of all these trays have got this lovely kind of flock uh, finish again. So it's nice and soft uh, for your jewellery. It's nice and soft to be able to put all your pieces in there. So it's not just kind of a, um, a plastic tray that your jewellery is going to be rattling around in. You've got your, uh, you've got your kind of, in, uh, you, you've got your insert there. But guess what? That is nowhere near finished. I'm going to put these back in here. Look at this. Here we go. Put you back in there, my little lovely. Put you back in there as well. You've got another tray at the bottom. Another tray at the bottom, which is a full-size tray at the bottom here to be able to put um, uh, necklaces in there, maybe watches. And you might be thinking, oh, well, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it then. No, 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 no. That's not it. Because look at this. The sides open. Now, in the, in the side, inside these side little compartments here, You've got earring um, uh, storage uh, boards which come out. These are absolutely awesome. So whether you've got little um, uh, dangly earrings, whether you've got stud earrings, you've got room here to be able to store all of your earrings in there. Now, of course, the great thing that you've got here is the fact that because it's got this lovely kind of clear, but not too kind of clear, so gemstones, which are quite sensitive to light, this is wonderful for. It's got more of a smoked finish, which is really a really lovely feature, I think. 
you can see all the pieces of jewellery in there. One of the things, uh, one of the things sometimes about jewellery boxes is that you can't really see into them until you start opening them. So the great thing about this, obviously, is that you can see all your jewellery in there already. There's your little flap here just to open. Uh, you can even store more jewellery behind it if you want to. No problem whatsoever. Or put different kind of inserts or backgrounds in there as well. Um, it is an absolutely ingenious jewellery box in the fact that you've got so many different compartments in here. It's a real kind of Swiss Army knife piece, isn't it, Monica? It's it really futuristic, doesn't it? It's, it's exactly what we were thinking this morning. It does have kind of the look of the future about it, doesn't it? Um, so you've got your main tray up here, which you can take the insert out, yeah? You've got your two uh, smaller trays here. You've got your pull-down train here, okay? And you've got your larger tray here, your two really big pull-out um, uh, um, earring storage um, compartments here as well, which are absolutely fantastic and an amazing price point. We are at 49.99, and I tell you something, it is not your price point today. We're going to be taking this down to the lowest possible price we can. Absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I want to get this one down as well because I love this. Where is it? It's down here. Hang on. There you go. Love it. There you go. So giving you a little idea about how you can use it, how much jewellery you can put in this. We've had um, a whole range of jewellery boxes over, over the years um, here at Jewellery Maker. And I think what's so nice is when I hear of people who are making jewellery for maybe their nieces, their nephews, their granddaughters, their daughters, um, you know, whoever it may be, you're, you're filling this up full of jewellery and then on their 21st birthday, uh, you give them the jewellery box full of jewellery, which is just so lovely, isn't it? Your deal today, 29 99 for the lot. It's just so fantastic, isn't it? Um, another thing as well, a lot of jewellery boxes that you get uh, can be quite classic. They can be quite kind of, um, some, some I suppose uh, people might seem to be a little bit old fashioned. What's so nice about this is something which you picked up on, um, uh, pick, uh, picked up on earlier it is the fact that it is just so futuristic, isn't it, Monica? It's got a really lovely look to it, hasn't it? It is. And, and I like that, especially on the side, you can actually see your jewellery. Yes. That. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Being able to see your jewellery, knowing where all of your jewellery is. It's going to be great for things like, yes, definitely your craft fairs as well, being able to see all your earrings in there. Anna Marie, well done to Metler, well done to Shirley, well done to Rosemary, well done to Brenda, well done to Maker in Gloucestershire, Maker Janice, um, Irene, Maker in Merseyside, Barbara, Maker in Wales, Lorraine, Lynette, you've got three in your baskets there. Well done, everyone. This is superb, isn't it? Do check out as soon as you can. And just such a lovely, lovely way to keep your jewellery nice and all together you know whether it's going to be in your because I, I don't know about you a lot of a lot of the pieces of jewelry that i wear i take them off and then i just literally chuck them in my jewelry box i don't give them that kind of that treatment which i should do i'm terrible i'm my own worst enemy with things like that so for you to be able to get something like this and to be able to really utilize it and to be able to really um, make the most of it is just is just fantastic well done everybody coming through to get this it's just brilliant isn't it absolutely superb well done i'm just looking as well at the kind of build of it as well you've got such a great such a great quality uh to this as well if i just open that you can see at the bottom here it's got like a little stand that it goes on as well so that's going to help hopefully to protect your uh, table is that another is that another no hang on have i got this wrong no that's not another one is it? i was going to say is that another is that a hidden drawer i was about to go absolutely nuts then gee whiz uh, but yeah yours today well done 29.99 lots and lots of people coming through for that well done gorgeous how are you doing monica i'm okay you can carry on if you like so i'll show you when i've made a little so we've got your dinner of the day coming up in about 10 minutes time we're going to put some kumihimo weights on the screen for you as well um uh, which are you know, doing doing something like this are yes. just so useful, aren't they, Monica? It is because if you don't have a weight at the bottom, it kind of keeps coming up through your um, your disc. So yeah. you need to have the weight on the bottom to yeah to help it sort of develop, I suppose. Yes, and to keep that consistent um, tension on your cord as well, it's yeah. so important. There you go, brilliant. So that's three ninety nine for you today for your fifty gram uh, Kumihimo uh, weight. Use it. You can use it for knitting as well, by the look of it. That's that's interesting. Oh. Ah, okay. Is, is it for one of those, um, you know, you have like a round tube and then you knit around the top? Oh, like, like French cord. knitting? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, brilliant. Gorgeous. Yeah, brilliant. Three ninety nine for your uh, for your Kumihimo weight. Well done. Right, okay, fantastic. Oh, you've got your pearls loaded on there. That's great. 
Fantastic. I'll show you them when they've come out the bottom. <laughs> ah, yes, why not? So we've got deal of the day coming up literally in a few seconds. Look at these. We've got these beautiful, beautiful three mil micro faceted rounds of Hessonite Garnet, Neon Appetite, and a strand of Natural Ruby and Sapphire. All of that is going to be coming your way uh, uh, as your deal of the day at 10 o'clock. Hi, both. Any bobbins today? What a funny word, bobbins. I know, I find that word funny too, Maria. Um, there's some bobbins in there. Oh, we've got the large bobbins. Yeah. We all love a large bobbin. There you go. <laughs> The bobbins on the screen, you get four of your large bobbins. There you are, my lovely. Yeah. There you go. Yours today for just three ninety nine, And it just really helps keep all your cords and your, and your, and your, um, your strands nice and organized, doesn't it? it Especially does, if really. you've got beads on and there. And even if you don't want to use it for kumihima, if you have any cords, sometimes you get cords that are not on a, a spool or even these kind of cords, if they're if they because when you first get them they're kind of stuck together a little bit so they'll yes. stay like that but if you've pulled it off and you wind it back again then um it kind of runs loose if you know what you ah, mean ah yeah so okay it's really nice to re-thread them onto your bobbins and then you can sort of keep them more contained nice one if you need to do that as okay well. brilliant how are you getting on there monica well i can show you at the bottom you can, you can oh see. look so you can see the bits with the oh. um, with the seed beads there on the side obviously you can put another seed bead in between if you want to, to put it on every round and then you've got your pearls starting to come through there as well uh-huh so i'll finish this bracelet uh, and then put a picture of it on facebook it's website. so it's so so pretty i just love the um, i love the addition of the seed beads on there it just it just it breaks up that weave a little bit doesn't it It really does yeah and uh, as i say you can add more beads to the side you can add beads to the middle if you wanted to yeah and um, there's all sorts of different vari variations oh and then uh, quickly i want to show you how i did the end i mean i could show you oh yeah one. definitely so i okay. use some of these uh cord endings that i have uh which we used to have in kits so uh i don't know if there are any on the website oh they're right sort of okay the, the yeah. ribbon ribbon ends they mm -hmm. kind of look like that so they have a loop at the top yeah right and then all you do is you just put it around your cord, put your cord inside of it like so. Mm -hmm. Make sure, you want to make sure that the, the loop end is facing towards the end of your bracelet. Okay, so there's my loop there. And then put your cord in there. This is why you need the extra bit at the end, which is just, um, just cord without just any Just cord, beads. yeah. Because obviously you don't want to get any of your beads caught up in there. Okay, just push mm -hmm. that in there. And then just use your flat nose pliers obviously you would finish your bracelet first and then take it off the board you can take it off the board when it's finished it's not going to unravel um well it will eventually but you know while you just do the endings it's not going to unravel mm -hmm. on you so and then just close the ends off like that yeah my board's getting in the way now but basically that's what you do and then uh, I'm not going to cut it off now because I still need the weight on there. But what I did was I used my thread zapper to just cut off the, the cords at the end there. And then you've got a nice little neat finish neat loop yeah. like that on the end. That's gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? A lovely, really, really neat finish there. Um, on screen at the minute, uh, small bobbins. Uh, you get eight of them for two ninety nine. Ah, nice ones. These are nice. These are nice to put things like ribbon on as well. Exactly, exactly. To organise yeah. your ribbon. And then you've at home. got the little grooves in the side of them to catch your um, your thread in, so that it doesn't unravel. Gorgeous. Well done. Thank you. And, and you say you'll pop a picture of that on your face. I will. I'm going to finish this bracelet and Aww. then I'll put a picture of it up. Nice one. When it's done. Thank you, lovely. <laughs> right. Don't go anywhere. We've got the most amazing deal of the day coming up next. It's all about micro faceted rounds. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. 
Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. This is a gorgeous deal of the day today. I have to say, I saw a, um, a beautiful photograph of uh, this necklace on our in-house designers uh, Instagram page last night. And I just, I just love it. I love the colors, the incredible pops of color. It's just great, isn't it? You've got all of that kind of, all of this time of year, those beautiful, vibrant pops of color. That beautiful luster. These are all micro faceted gems that you've got here. Doesn't that look great? Aren't those colors wonderful? They're so bright and vibrant and kind of juicy. We've got three main strands and then we've got um, a load of other things to bring you in this hour. But um, we've got a strand of beautiful natural hessonite garnet. Let me show that to you. So you've got your natural hessonite with those wonderful, we were talking about this in the, uh, in the eight o'clock hour, weren't we? Uh, the really beautiful kind of burning kind of Seville marmalade colors in there. It's just gorgeous. It's got that really wonderful kind of depth of color. Gorgeous. You've then got a strand of neon appetite. This is so bright and vibrant. I just love it. I love the energy this has got. So gorgeous turquoisey tones in there. Really um, uh, pop against that wonderful hessonite garnet, don't they? Gorgeous mix of colours there. What you're looking at here is basically um, opposites on the colour wheel. Opposites on the colour wheel. So you've got here that really, really lovely kind of um, burning hot colour and then a lovely cool refreshing blue opposite each other, uh, which just works so well because opposites do work together. 
You've then got this strand here. Now, this is kind of like your, your big deal of the day strand. Um, I'm amazed at this, by the way. Um, it's a strand of totally 100% natural Mozambique ruby and Mozambique sapphire. This is seriously, seriously, seriously good looking. Oh my word. The contrast of those beautiful, powerful, uh, burning kind of ready pinks against those near kind of midnight blues. Doesn't it? It just works so well. The recording, by the way, is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And of course, you've got that wonderful natural quality as well. When you consider that over 90% really of sapphires and rubies nowadays are treated to some extent or another, whether it's heated or diffused or whether it's uh, or, or, or glass filled. And this is it completely naturally. I just love it. Now, all of these gems together that you're getting here today, so if we put all of them here, they all look absolutely wonderful together. Micro faceting is something that we've been doing really for the last kind of eight, nine years here at Jewelry Maker. And it started off as something which we only really applied to just a few gemstones, like your jaspers and your agates. As soon as we start applying it to gemstones like rubies, sapphires, you know that we are absolutely clear about what the objective is. And it's to give you that punch of colour and to give you that incredible luster that only a micro faceted gemstone can give you. Now, it's such an exciting strand, this one. I love it. It goes, it goes with the deal of the day backdrop as well. Has anyone else noticed that? Or is it just me? Uh, but you've got here the most beautiful rubies, sumptuous, fruity, juicy colours that you're going to be getting there. And then this gorgeous, like I said, near midnight blue as well. But it's still got that intensity. It's not black. It's by, by no means black. Um, already people coming through. Can I just say, first person through has bought three, which is fantastic. Now, we are nowhere near your price point today. Literally nowhere near your price point today. But it is a deal of the day. I'm going to show you the necklace as well. Again, because I think it's really important that you see it all in kind of uh, uh, situ, that you see all these gemstones together. Now, what our in-house designers have done here with the design on this is absolutely gorgeous. What they've done is they've um, uh, put all of the neon appetite on this one strand here. And then they've created what's known as a beaded bead. Um, using these micro faceted beads. Now, bead to bead is something that we talk about a lot. I'm going to refer to, I'm not going to read out all the instructions to this. I'm, I'm not going to read out all the instructions to this because it's actually on our website. If you go to jewelrymaker.com or actually if you go to a search engine on the internet and you type in how to create a bead to bead, then a jewelry maker link will come up. So this is basically our a six step guide uh, on how to create a BDB, which is exactly what this necklace is decorated with. And you've got all of the written instructions and then you've got a selection of, uh, of um, six um, uh, photographs as well on how to guide, sorry, on how to create your beady bead as well. That is how you create your beady bead. So do a just, just literally type into the internet, how do I create a beady bead? And a link to um, the Jewelry Maker website will come up and it's just all very, very simple. Thread on three beads to your chosen thread and the fourth bead, cross the thread th um, uh, through the bead in opposite directions. We're really, really passionate about bringing you these kind of little demos which can help you create the most beautiful jewellery so, so, so simply. Um, beady beads are so effective in jewellery because especially with when applied to a smaller bead like this, they just create... Um, you know, th that much, much larger bead using a smaller bead, you get that kind of look of almost a blackberry or a raspberry. It just instantly has got that gorgeous tactile uh, kind of appeal to it, doesn't it? I just love this necklace, which our in-house designers have made. Now, a lot of people already threw for this. That's great to see. Well done. They've even separated out the ruby and the sapphire, which is another thing which, which would really work beautifully. So we're at 69.99. This is no way near your price point today. Quantity wise, we've got a fairly decent quantity of this today. OK, but we do have another two strands to do as well. So I want you to be able to afford all three of these strands so you can create this piece of jewellery. OK, so we've got to look after you with the price point. Is 29.99 low enough? Natural ruby, natural sapphire, not filled, not coated, not diffused, not anything. 
This is totally natural Mozambique ruby and natural Mozambique sapphire. First person through came to get three. Second person through, that's Beatrice in Essex. You've got two of these. Nicolette's already through, makers in London. Loads and loads of people with twos, threes and fours in, in their baskets. Now, there is no point with a quantity like this. I've got kind of two, three hundred chances available. There is absolutely no point in me taking this down to the kind of price point which is going to suit, oh, I don't know, a hundred or so of you. I want you to be able to not just get this today, but to be able to multi-buy and be able to afford to get both of the other strands as well and everything else in the hour as well. So it's really in our interest to give you the lowest possible price we can. Sheila's just bought three. Maker in London's just bought five. Every single person who's come through so far has got twos, threes, fours and fives. Okay, we're at 29.99. Natural ruby, natural sapphire, not coated, not heated, not filled, not diffused, but 100% natural. Have a look at this price point. 19 pounds, 99 pence. Absolutely phenomenal for your natural, natural, natural gemstones here. What I think is so amazing as well is, even though you've got all that natural ruby, all that natural sapphire, look at how consistently that color is shown to you, how consistent it is, how beautiful it is. London's come through to get six, Margaret, well done to you. Julie, well done to you, you've got two there. That's great, well done, Shirley. We're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. Well done to you, 0800, six, Triple four, six, double five. Go, 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 go. Already more people joining us now. This is great to see. Well done. It is such a fantastic deal of the day, isn't it? It really is. Hi, Carol. Loving the show. I adore making beady beads. They're so addictive, says Sarah. Do you know what? I think you're absolutely right. And do you know what I love about a beady bead, Monica, is it gives you a really interesting looking bead, but it, it's such a simple bead to make, isn't it? It is, it really adds detail, especially if you use uh, like a beady bead for an earring and then you put a larger bead on either, either end. It, it really creates a detail in your jewelry. And as you say, it's really easy to make and you only need 12 beads to make it. So, um, I mean, you've got loads of beads on there so you could make a lot of them from that strand. And you see, that's exactly it. You can get so many beady beads from a strand like this. You really genuinely yeah. can. Jeanette, Maker, Anne Marie. Well done to you, Marion, Margaret, Irene, Christina, Wiltshire. Shirley's got two. Well done to you. Now, we were dead excited about the quantity that we had for you today. And whatever you decide to make with this, whether it's going to be beady beads, I mean, that was just the kind of thing because of our in house designers and what they've created, that's kind of really kind of inspired me. But whether it's going to be rosary linked pieces whether it's going to be uh, your stacker bracelets whatever you make with this i'm going to make you a guarantee today you are going to be able to get this not for 19.99 we are going lower we've got another clock okay get involved now this is like now the only reason why we're taking this as low as we're going today um is purely because we have got two three hundred available yeah it is going to go low. You can tell, yeah, instantly. That's ruby, that's sapphire. You can tell a million miles off. This is exactly what it says it is. There's no kind of, oh, yes, well, it kind of looks like ruby and it kind of looks like sapphire. You've got here that beautiful, genuine natural blue sapphire, beautiful, genuine red ruby, and you've got them in a natural capacity, individually hand faceted, beautiful sizes, that really gorgeous three mil size, and it's gonna be yours today. Price point coming in literally in a couple of seconds. Jeanette just bought another one. Well done to you. Tyne and Weir's now through. Merseyside, Angela, well done. This is your price, racing towards the price point right now, 12 pounds. 99 pence wow. for 25 carats of 100% natural ruby and natural sapphire. Joyce, Annette's got two. Dawn, Maker in Lincolnshire. Well done to you. Merseyside's got two. Well done. 12.99 is your deal today. Well done, everyone. It's absolutely flying out the door and the phone lines have gone completely bonkers. Now that's the kind of price point where should you want to get two or three of these or should you want to come through and get one of the other strands or both of the other strands you absolutely can do well done everybody don't forget your 30 day money back guarantee plus you're only paying 3.95 p per order as well which lasts for the whole day well done 
for your ruby and sapphire strand, all 100% natural, all absolutely gorgeous. Well done, A. Beatrice, Gladys, loads of people coming through to get more. Uh, Sue's just bought four. Maker in London bought five. Now they've got seven. Annette's got two now. That's great to see. Well done. It's absolutely flying out the door. For your agates, for your jaspers, $12.99. Amazing, brilliant, superb. For natural ruby and natural sapphire, you know, some of the most prolific gemstones in the entire world, two of the big four gemstones, and yours today for under £60. It's absolutely amazing. Well done, Maker in Northumberland. Maker in County Antrim's just bought two. Cheshire's got two. Gladys has got two. Well done. Absolutely superb at just £12.99. Well done. Go, 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 everyone. And jewellery and jewellery making wise, whether it's going to be, like I've already said, rosary linking, beady beads, stretchy bracelets, stacker bracelets, or indeed, I reckon you could almost use these as big seed beads, Monica. What do you reckon to kind of bezel around a, a cabochon maybe? What do you think? Oh, absolutely, definitely. They'd be um, lovely, wouldn't they? They're my two favourite colours as well. Do you know what? <laughs> and, and the colours do work so beautifully together, don't they? The colours really work um, uh, beautifully together. They're absolutely fantastic, aren't they? You've got that kind of... Yes, they are kind of warm colours. They're vivid colours together, but my word, they work. Sapphire and Ruby are roughly the same things as well. You've got you know, two members of the Corundum family there as well, which is absolutely fantastic. But look how those colours really work and contrast against each other so beautifully. Well done, everyone. Karen Merrill, well done to you as well. Sharon, Cynthia, Janet, Maker and Carmarthenshire. Gorgeous. Still got tons and tons in baskets. Janet's got two. Well done to you. Go, 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 go. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. 12 99 So keep checking out for that. There's still loads in baskets there. Please do check out as soon as you can. Well done. We've still got another couple of strands to bring you. Oh, my word. From Ruby and Sapphire. Which one are we going to do? The Appetite or the Hessonite? What do you reckon? Oh, they work so well together. They work so well together. Let's do the Hessonite, yeah? OK, yeah, let's do the Hessonite Garnet. Now, Hessonite Garnet is uh, one, of the, one of the rarest garnets that money can buy. Um, it's got a really lovely orangey tone to it. But don't get it mixed up with Specitite Garnet. Specitite Garnet's got a really kind of orangey orange colour to it, whereas this is more of your marmalade colour. This has got more of that kind of, um, uh, kind of candid uh, kind of orange colour to it. Rather than it being really, really bright, it's definitely got more of a natural kind of, um, a natural kind of bronzing to it. It's just gorgeous. Don't you love that? You can almost feel the heat from it, can't you? Again, it's an exceptional gemstone to be able to microfacet because, of course, all of that beautiful luster is released. Again, um, our in-house designers, what they've done with this is just truly, truly gorgeous. They've used it alongside the um, uh, Neon Appetite to really get that contrast. They're definitely opposites on the colour wheel, aren't they? These turquoises and oranges. You've got two very, very different colours there together now we've got to get the price point in as soon as we can for these they are um not as we don't have anywhere near as many in stock of these available so the quicker you can get in um uh, involved the better totally natural again completely natural hessonite garnet gorgeous gorgeous tone in there we're at 48 pounds and 99 pence now granted it's not ruby and it's not sapphire it's still a really rare variety of garnet. It's still absolutely on point, And you've still got that incredible, that incredible luster. It's absolutely stunning. If I just twist the strand as well, you'll be able to see that luster. What the, what the incredible micro faceting does is just give you that wonderful luster, that burning, burning, bright, um, kind of intense, warming colour. £48.99, not a gemstone we've had in stock for, for, for um, ever and a day. You know, relatively new variety of garnet here on Jewelry Maker. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we can match the price point of the ruby and sapphire? No, we're going to beat it. £9.99 is your deal today. Isn't that just amazing? £9.99 for your Hessonite garnet. Now, I'll tell you something else that we've got coming up over the next week here on Jewelry Maker. We've got some gorgeous amber. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be bringing you some amber. I think it's next. Oh, is it Sunday? I've got some. We've got some amber. So we've got some gorgeous amber coming up on Sunday. 
in the 11 o'clock hour. A lot of people get hessonite garnet and amber confused. It's only actually when you pick the gemstone up, you actually realise uh, the difference between the two. You know, this is very much a stone and amber is obviously your kind of organic gem. Uh, but if you, th this looks amazing with amber. And if you want to use it alongside um, uh, or within your amber designs, this is going to work so well. Nicolette's got four Gladys, loads of multi bidders again. $9.99 for you again today. Well done. And again, for a natural gemstone to have this consistency of colour is absolutely incredible. Sue, Maker, Mary's got two. Well done to you. Mary and Jerry, there we go. Tracy, June, Margaret. Well done, everyone. Text in what you're going to be using these with. Silver, gold, rose gold. It's entirely up to you. If you want to go for that traditional kind of amber look, then yeah, definitely use it with um, uh, definitely use it with your uh, silver. But if you want to get the most out of it, that kind of really rich, kind of almost uh, relic-like quality, I would go for gold all the way. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Well done, Christina. Sue's just got two. Well done to you. Loads more people joining us. This is great to see. Well done, everyone. What? We're not done. I am a little bit confused. We are at 9 99 for a level of quality for a rarity, which is... It is rare. It is unusual to find. It isn't something that you see every day on Jewelry Maker. Certainly not in a micro faceted three millimeter strand. Janet's got two. Maker and County Antrim's got two. Irene's got two. There are so many people coming through to get this. 9.99, I honestly thought was absolutely our, our lowest 100%. Can't go any lower than that. We are taking this lower. I can't believe it's happening. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, you better be there now. Oh wow, there's loads of you there. Well done. Sheila's now got two. Well done to you. Lincolnshire's got two. Well done. We're so low. There's actually very little room for how, how much lower we can actually go. We're already so low. In-house designer Anne's come through for this. Well done, darling. Yours today. I can't believe we're about to do this. This is ridiculous. $7.99. $7.99 for micro faceted hessonite garnet. And I'll go back to what I was saying earlier on. But, you know, your micro faceted um, uh, 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 agate or maybe your jasper, you know, gemstones, which are reasonably plentiful. Brilliant, fantastic. For garnet, for natural garnet. This is absolutely crazy, isn't it? Well done at seven pounds and 99 pence. Well done. Carmarthenshire's got two. Uh, Channel Islands, well done to you. Lowther's got two. Well done to you. Yorkshire's got two. Oh, my word. Lincolnshire and Surrey, you've both got four. That's fantastic. Well done at seven pounds and 99 pence. Do you know what I think this would look amazing with as well, Monica? This in between the gorgeous pearls we had in your nine o'clock oh, hits. Oh, yes. That would be amazing, yeah. wouldn't it? Well, because pearls and amber do go really well together, and it does have that kind of amber look to it, doesn't it? That cognac -y look to it. They do, and I think it gives your pearls sort of a warmer look as well. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We've got amber coming up, by the way, on uh, Sunday, which is going to be amazing, in the 11 o'clock hour. So very, very excited about that. Well done. Seven ninety nine for you today. Well done. Margaret's got two. Oh, there's literally so many people coming through to get these. I'm over the moon for you. It looks like the most un-799 strand of gemstone in the entire it does not look right does it no you're absolutely right it just doesn't it looks completely wrong it's yours today well done at seven pounds 99 pence well done lynn in wiltshire's got two well done to you as well oh what a special 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 deal and it's always brilliant isn't it whenever we bring you strands like this which are 7.99 and these could make the jewelry of a lifetime for somebody for you they can make a jewelry of a lifetime for you know which maybe you're going to be selling Garnet, who's got a birthday in January? You know, this isn't your kind of normal kind of uh, red garnet. This is absolutely extraordinary. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful, well done. So, Neon Appetites, these ones are gonna absolutely fly. And I think the reason for that is they go so well, not only with the ruby and the sapphire, but also with the incredible Hessonite garnet that we've just had as well. Look at this, loving this color. Ah, oh, this is kind of your summer holiday kind of, uh, beautiful. I mean, you can almost hear the ocean. <laughs> and whether it's going to be the Bahamas or Bognor Regis, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Be the, the, I mean, they do say that, don't they? Being next to moving water, not just a body of water, but moving water, whether it's a stream or a river or the ocean, the sea, it can be incredibly cleansing uh, for people. I, 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 love, I love being in water and on water. I love being able to 
um, uh, to be able to um, uh, see it as well is such a treat. You've got here a strand of neon appetite. This isn't an ordinary strand of neon appetite. First off, neon appetite, um, it does not form in these kind of sizes. These are giant neon appetites. They are huge, huge, huge. Can we just take a moment to look at this? You've got neon, then ultra neon, then neon, then ultra neon, then neon, then ultra neon. It's almost like it's been stranded that way. In fact, you know what, Neri? I think it probably has. You've got that kind of neon there, and then next to it, you've got like an ultra neon, like an even brighter neon neon, a neon neon. It's absolutely incredible. You look at the kind of um, the slightly the, the slightly brighter ones. They look ever so slightly smaller, don't they? These are two to three mil in size. That that little tiny difference of just literally uh, between half a mil and a millimeter, it really is making all the difference, isn't it? I, look at that. That is such a lovely strand of gemstones. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like looking into an aquarium, isn't it? Those beautiful, gorgeous blues in there. Now let's do a minute clock this is very very popular already just reminding you of the necklace which our in-house designers made as well which i just it's so lovely it's so simple it's so wearable it's so sellable and do you know that is going to suit absolutely everyone whatever your skin tone your hair color your eye color it's going to suit absolutely everyone even a beaded bead even a neon beaded bead on a neon bracelet looks great doesn't it because of all the different kind of sea greens you've got there Lovely mamadial tones in there. Janet's got two, Sue's got two, Gabby. Uh, Maker and Count has got two, Maker and Fife's got two, Middlesex has got two, Northamptonshire's got two, Gloucestershire's got two. Almost every single person buying twos and threes of this already, which is great to see. Now, Neary says he says uh, that in 20 odd seconds, he's going to do something moody, he said. Uh, which, moody. Uh, he wants to match the price point. Of which strand, Neary? The ruby and sapphire. Yeah, the ruby and sapphire? Surely not the Hessenite. Oosh! Yes, look at those two together. They look so good. Matchy, matchy, seven. 99 that's incredible and you know what so often we get to this time of year when people really want things like turquoise where people really want things like neon appetite and and unfortunately you know it is it is it is it is uh, you know this time of year when you see less and less and less of this stone it always sells even kind of the quantities uh, that sell for your and the unappetite uh, are always much, much, much larger this time of year. So strands sell out even quicker because people are making jewellery for their summer holidays. People are making jewellery for summer. Um, so this is the most popular time of year to get this. And yet we are still at $7.99. It's incredible. Well done. It's an added to your order price point, isn't it? It's just incredible. And for $7.99, if you've bought anything today, if you've, had, if you've opened your order today, you may as well just add that on. You may as well just add that on. Well done. Neon Appetite faceted two to three millimeter rounds. Yours today for $7.99. Well done there, Flying Mary and Jerry. Well done to you, Angela. Come off and cheer. Loads of multi bidders, literally more multi bidders than not. That is so lovely. And it's got that wonderful kind of mamadial quality to it, hasn't it? Um, uh, I mean, uh, Monica, do, do you know what I'd love to see this with, actually? Although we haven't seen it for such a long time. I'd love to see this with some, some um, beautiful shibori, uh, shibori ribbon or something like that. I just had a thought. Go on. Um, you know, oh, Monica's had a thought. The boxes that are coming up later. In the 12, yes. Yes. Well, these are done with eight, size 8 o seed beads. But imagine... Oh using your gemstone, your microfaceted two and three millimeter gemstones. Oh my gosh. To embellish the top of your That would, box. oh my word, Monica, that would be incredible. Can you imagine that? Yes, that would be one lush jewelry box. Wouldn't it? Wow. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. Or even because it's got that kind of sea kind of feel to it. Yeah. What you could do is put kind of in the sh um, put in that box the like little seashells and pebbles yes. and things, or bits of sea glass that you find on your holidays. Yes. Oh, yes, Monica. <laughs> I love this idea. Oh, seven ninety nine is your deal today. Well done, everybody. So whether you, whether you are going to be using these um, uh, with the gorgeous cross stitch boxes coming up in the twelfth, we're so excited by those, by the way. Um, or whether you use it um, alongside the. 
the other beads that we bought you uh, in the Hessenite and, of course, in the ruby and the sapphire. Don't forget, you know, we, we kind of showed you earlier on our website as well. So if you want to learn how to make a beaded bead, all I would say to you is type into the internet, type into the internet, how do I make a beady bead? There will be a link to the Jewelry Maker website and we guide you through the six stages of, make it, of how to make a beaded bead what's involved, what you need, how you do it. So have a look at that tutorial. Uh, it comes in six steps, which are written and you get the photographs as well. Uh, and if you want to make the BDBs, just like our in-house designers have done, that's how to do it. So it's really, really simple. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take a photograph of them. I'll put them on my, um, on my, on my, um, on my presenter page, which is Carol Roach, R-O-A-C-H-E. Um, and I'll do that after the show today. So if you do want to learn how to make your BDBs, then I'll uh, take a screenshot and do that for you. No problem. Right. Oh. We've now got the most amazing strand of pearls. We have got oh, some absolutely life-changing pearls coming up now. These are ones which are very, very limited, but we've got to make them into a star buy. So from one amazing kind of collection of gemstones, which, and this is something we didn't even really, well, no, I suppose we did mention it slightly with the Hessenite garnets being used as spaces and to be able to use gems, natural rubies, natural sapphires, Hessenite garnets and, and gorgeous neon appetites as spacer beads in between pearls, amazing. What kind of pearls are we talking about? Bright white pearls, rice pearls, or are we talking potentially about pearls? like these. These are the last few opportunities we have for some of the most special pearls we have ever managed to source, not just on Jewelry Maker, but in the wider Gemporia group. What we have for you today is near on perfection. I've got inside this beautiful little velvet um, uh, bracelet necklace box, some of the highest quality, highest caliber pearls that money can buy. Pearls are valued in a few different ways. They're valued on size, their shape, their nacre, their orient, and their kind of energy, their life, their gemminess. What you have inside this box and what you have on display here are the absolute best quality. Let's open this box and see the treasure that awaits. It is absolutely incredible. You get the box with these pearls. Um, it's a lovely little addition with our compliments. I'm going to take these pearls out of the box. They are absolutely uh, astonishing. Now, we pearls like this are always going to be very, very, very limited in stock. It is not the kind of opportunity where we've got three, four, five hundred. It's not the kind of opportunity where we can kind of almost kind of get these in bulk. You know, this is not the kind of quality that um, members of the public or even um, ju the jewellery industry as a whole would have access to. This is only because of our connections. This is only because of our connections in the pearl world and, of course, the Far Eastern markets as well. What you have got here is a strand, an entire strand of genuine peach, baroque pearls. I don't know about you, Monica, but a baroque pearl is pretty much by far and away my favorite shape of pearl. A baroque pearl is basically anything which isn't around. It's not an oval, it's not a keshi. It's, it's, it's a big organic shape that you've got here. Now, the, the quality you are getting here 
So let's talk about the size. Well, there are magic numbers in the pearl world and the magic sizes tend to be seven and 10. Anything over seven mil is classed as kind of as, as, as very rare. Anything over 10 mil is classed as exceptionally rare. These pearls that you are looking at here are 12 to 18 mil in size. They are giants of the pearl world. Um, when we talk about pearl value, we talk about the shape. Now that really only applies if we're talking about perfect rounds, the like of which we've actually got coming up next. But when we're talking about the shape of a Baroque pearl, it really is the more interesting, the more organic, the better. Let's talk about the color and the nacre of the pearl. The nacre on these pearls is really thick. And you can tell that. You can tell that the mollusk has been left to deposit the, the, the nacre over the pearl over the course of years, not the course of months, but for years. And the nacre that you've got here is thick because that luminosity, that light comes from within the pearl. It's not that it's transparent, but the aragonite on the outside edge of the pearl is able to take in light at, at you know, literally a few millimeters and then bounce that light back out at you. The luster or gemminess of these pearls is what really sets these apart from your other freshwater pearls in the fact that they have got this gemmy life and energy about them, which you only get in the top, top, top tier of pearls. Got my single pearl on Tuesday. It's worth four times what I paid for it. Valued, I uh, had it valued by a friend. Uh, they're just like these, says Hazel in Leicestershire. Now we have bought you uh, these as single pearl, this kind of quality as single pearls before. Let me just count how many you're going to be getting here. On this strand, there are approximately two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 of your near perfect Baroque pearls. The first one has already gone. Fantastic, well done. Now, it's not just the pearl strand you are going to be getting here today. We've actually put this together with the most beautiful collection of rose gold plated sterling silver spacer beads. Oh, look at that. And rose gold plated sterling silver magnetic clasp. To be able to bring you all of these components together so you can make the jewellery of a lifetime is something which, moving forward, I just can't imagine we're going to be able to bring you. And um, the, reason, the reason being, being able to bring you these is very, very special indeed. The Hong Kong Gem Fair has been cancelled for the last two, three years. So, of course, that means that these pearls, which arguably, you know, they really should be sold at the Hong Kong Gem Show. Not for these kind of prices, by the way. But because I haven't, because the Hong Kong Gem Show hasn't happened, we, have the, we are in the very fortunate position of being able to bring you these pearls today on Jewelry Maker, not for £1,999. We are taking the price point down dramatically. How about we take £1,000 off that price? Now, we started with eight. The first one's already gone to a bid it in Greater London. Well done. I've got another maker there and I've got Angela in Surrey as well. It is available on split payments of £249.75. Here's a message through from Caroline in the Channel Islands. Good morning, Carol, Monica and crew. I purchased these papaya pearls on their debut. I considered purchase, but I received them and was speechless. And that's it. And that is a number. Ah, oh, another one. Ah, oh, perfect. Manchester coming through. This is wonderful to see. We've also got Margaret in Merseyside. This is wonderful. Well done. Now, this is a word uh, and this is a way of describing these gorgeous kind of almost papaya fleshy colored uh, pearls. This is something which is very specific. You can draw comparisons to these and, um, and the beautiful kind of natural conch pearls, which you can get as well. That kind of peachy apricot papaya color really emanating such beautiful and of course you've got the beautiful rose gold and um, rose gold plated sterling silver finings as well which really help to bring out the warmth of these pearls another one gone angela well done to you my lovely this is fantastic to see we're at 999 pounds you have got here an 18 pearl necklace you have got here as Hazel said in Leicestershire, 18 pendants, 18 pendants. 
999 pounds not your price they're here if you want them i can't believe what we are about to do these are the last five in the business and then these will be gone and i can imagine the chance of us being able to get these anywhere in any kind of capacity anywhere near in the future is going to be next to none if we can get hold of maybe five strands of these guaranteed almost guaranteed that these will be made into necklaces and sold on our sister channel gems tv yours today not for 999 pounds we're about to take that price point down and it's on four individual split payments interest-free split payments you don't pay any more by by getting these on split payments of 249.99 your deal today caroline from the channel islands you bought these the day that they were launched 499 pounds on individual split payments of 124 pounds and 75 pence well done another one's gone maker in surrey well done it's yours today 0800 644 655 four chances remaining we are way over allocated yours today for under five hundred pounds what a deal three opportunities remaining i've got five people with these in baskets i've got a maker in surrey i've got margaret in merseyside with two in her basket i've got a bidder in carmarthenshire with it in their baskets and i've also got terry in lancashire with it in their basket as well it's yours today for the final three chances in existence yours today for 499 pounds they are absolutely superb well done three final chances remaining that is it once they are gone they are gone they are absolutely superb aren't they gorgeous would you be tempted to split these up or would you leave them as they are monica as a gorgeous oh, i would leave them just as they are i'm tempted to sneak off and buy one of them <laughs> do you know what though monica i can't blame you at all because well, when you look at this you look at that and you think that is just on a, just as a temporary strand that is an heirloom of the future right there isn't it but you know i was recently on holiday end of last year we went to stratford upon avon ah and i saw this little jewelry shop on on the corner i think it was a high street um little tiny independent jewelry yes shop. and they had a necklace like this in the window it was like the the, the main part of the, the window, main piece sort of yes it, you know um and it was pretty similar to this uh, the pearls might have been ever so slightly smaller actually. yes similar color yes. just with a sterling silver clasp and it was 1600 pounds which is a brilliant deal yeah i mean that's a fantastic uh, these are heirlooms of yes. the future i nearly got my husband to buy it for me but then i said to him no because i can get a better price on jewelry way <laughs> that <was, that's> <laughs> there you go that's it well done we literally have two chances remaining well done my lovelies absolutely phenomenal um another one ah oh, we think another one may have gone we're just waiting for confirmation there from the call center at uh just 499 pounds and you've got your four individual split payments of 124 pounds and 75 pence well done okay i have one final strand to bring you this is very very special as well now oh you want your genuine pearls but you want them maybe with a more rounded shape maybe that's your purse maybe that's your personal preference. can i just say i've got another one of those in baskets at the minute another bit of with that in baskets in uh in south yorkshire if you want them you're gonna have to check out now because we're literally down to the last couple of chances okay these are these almost don't look real they're so round and incredible and the, the, just the recording on this I have to say the 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 our experts here at jewelry maker our gemstone experts the look of they all share a desk you've got Dave you've got Toby and you've got Jake all there sharing sharing a desk the buzz in the office when we got these pearls was literally every presenter every one of our gem experts were literally falling over themselves to bring these to air I'm going to show you the clasp first of all because you do get a clasp with this a sterling silver clasp isn't that a thing of beauty isn't that gorgeous really beautiful really simple gorgeous okay check out these pearls these these are another 
level entirely. That gorgeous tricolor color. Oh, so lovely Caroline from the Channel Islands who bought the strand of gorgeous uh, peachy papaya colored pearls when they first launched. She bought herself another strand. Caroline, wow, well done. Huge congratulations. Well done, my love. Maybe she's going to be making jewelry with it and selling it on. I don't know. Ah. So, oh, what is it about these? I think it's everything to do with the, with uh, definitely with that gorgeous near round shape. These are so impressively big, aren't they? 10 to 13 mil. But also, it's the colours. It's that gorgeous, you've got that kind of pap that papaya colour coming through there again, that lovely kind of fleshy papaya colour. But it's the purples for me. I don't know about you, but it's, it's the purples that for me are just incredible. Oh. It's that beautiful purple metallic tone. It's the overview as well, that kind of, um, that veil that you get on the pearls as well, that veil of metallic and bronze and spring greens. Can you see the spring green overtones? Yeah, it is like an aura. It's exactly what it's like. They are exceptional. Now, I have to say, I'm a huge fan of, of, of Baroque pearls, but I have to say, even I looked at these pearls and thought, goodness me, where on earth did we find it? Because they are seriously, seriously uh, big, seriously impressive. And the colors you are getting here, absolutely extraordinary. Can I put them up to my neckline as well? I'll count how many you're gonna be getting as well, because I'm sure a lot of you will want to know. Yeah, look at this, 10 to 13 mil in size. Again, absolutely exceeding that magic number. Oh. <gasps> Oh my word, they're beautiful, aren't they? Glorious pearls. We're gonna, no messing around, we're gonna start off at a silly low price. On the strand, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. 33 pearls on this strand. That is, that is, I'm, I'm trying to not show you the temporary strand there, but that there, that was in a jeweler's window and you saw a, a four or five figure price tag on that, you would not bat an eyelid, would you? We're at 799 pounds on four individual um, uh, split payments of 199 pounds and 75 pence. Favorite pearls on this strand for me, the standout pearl for me is probably that one there, which has got the purple color, but more of a teardrop shape to this one. Isn't that, that beautiful color? Absolutely beautiful. And that color, by the way, is completely natural. It's not, it's not dyed. It's not, it's not, it's not anything. It's not dipped in anything. It's all completely and utterly natural color that you're going to be getting there. Okay, already got bidders through. This is great to see. We're going to give you a clock. Oh my word. These are dreamy. And I have to say, I do love my Baroque pearls, but these had such a huge effect on everybody in the building. Okay, maker in London. Well done, six opportunities remaining. That's it. Once these are gone, they are gone. Look at that range of color, that beautiful satin smooth naked that these have got as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Six opportunities in the world. Once it's gone, it's gone. Margaret and Merseyside interested in their basket. Well done, my lovely. We're at 7.99. We're gonna give you a price crash, which is honestly, yeah, well, well done. First one's gone, that's brilliant, well done. This is properly limited edition, in-house designer Anne through. Well done to you. Oh, in-house designer Anne loves her pearls, makes her pearl jewelry, sells her pearls and just loves it, loves it. Okay, here we go. First person in, in-house designer Anne, Siobhan, well done to you. Can you believe it? 399 pounds, well done to Maker in London. Look at the split payments of 99.75. That is ridiculous, isn't it? Oh my word. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Get this today for under 100 pounds. Make your money back and more 
Before you've even made your second split payment there. Caroline in the Channel Islands, who bought the first strand when it first launched and then bought it again. Hi, me again. Sorry to um, uh, commandeer the show. Not at all, lover. You're a hero. Uh, but I have these as well. I initially bought two for my daughters. Then uh, they arrived and I had to get one more for me. <laughs> Caroline, good for you, darling. They are gorgeous, aren't they? They are beautiful. Uh, Margaret in Merseyside, you've got two in your basket maker in Surrey. Well done to you. Three opportunities in the building. That is it. Once they are gone, they are gone. Well done. It's just off the scale, isn't it? Well done to you at 399.99. Two chances remaining. We are over allocated. That is so, that is just sublime quality you're getting there today, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Well done. 0800 6 555. And these are the ones that I would use. Look, have a look. I would use these as spaces in between these gorgeous pearls. Doesn't that look nice, Monica? It does. Actually, it would also look nice if you alternated these with the um, rock pearls, the papaya ones. Oh, do you think? Yes. Yes. Why not, Monica? Get it all. Get them all out. I think so. Well done, Angela. Fantastic. One chance remaining. Angela in Surrey. Well done to you. I think. Uh, I think Monica's got a little idea there. Um, I think we might still have one left of the gorgeous uh, Baroque pearls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Alternating these two together. I mean, that is going to be the jewelry. The jewelry of your dreams. I know. OK. Now, we've got something that we've saved until the end of this hour. It is an opportunity to get a single papaya pearl. Don't go anywhere. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, I love these boxes, don't you? I'm a real sucker for things like this. Mm. Okay, lovely velvet box. Opens with a little. Whoop. I'm going to open it this way first. I'm going to open it. Oh, look at this. It's so cute. Open it like that. Oh, my word. Ooh. Ah, oh, baby. This is an absolute beauty. Do you know what this reminds me of, actually? This reminds me very much of the world's largest pearl uh, sold at auction. Is a pearl called the Sleeping Lion Pearl. Can we get a picture of that, Neary? The Sleeping Lion Pearl. It's beautiful. Well, no, is it beautiful? Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. It's very, very big. It's a, it, it, it's a good, I mean, it's kind of like over like two inches um, uh, big. It was very, very, very big pearl. It, it's not the prettiest pearl, as you'll see in a sec. This pearl is beautiful, but just the way that this is sitting there, look. There it is. It's called the Sleeping Lion. There he is. He's got the gloves on to hold the base. There he is behind it. And you'll see it's not, it's, not the, it's, not, it's not the prettiest pearl, is it? But can you see how this reminded me of the sleeping lion pearl? This has got the most beautiful silken quality to it, which literally looks like, oh, there's your man. There he is. There he is, still wearing his gloves. I mean, that's lovely and everything, but look at this. Yeah, exactly. It looks like a silk sheet blowing, uh, blowing in the wind, doesn't it? Like it's sitting over the top of a football and it's blowing in the wind. It's just gorgeous. Yes, we need a Kate. We need Kate Bush singing alongside to this, don't we? Out of the wind. It's just, it's so beautiful. <laughs> don't get me started on Kate Bush. You know how much I love. And um, so you've got here the most exquisite nacre. You can see there as well, it's got a drill hole which uh, goes halfway into the pearl. So there's your drill hole there. Doesn't go all the way through the pearl, just goes halfway through the pearl. So if you do want to make this into a ring, into a pendant, if you want to have this kind of um, uh, peg set, then absolutely perfect. That is a big, big pearl though. Beautiful.
beautiful quality, an enormous amount of nacre. And of course, what I find the most exciting thing, and it's, I mean, it's an obvious thing to say with this, but what I find the most exciting about this is every single one is unique. I have two of these, says Anne in Aberdeenshire. Spectacular, one to sell and one to drool over daily. <laughs> well, whatever floats your boat, Anne. No, but quite seriously, a lot of people do get two or three of these just purely because they know that they're going to make something for themselves. And they know that by making something for themselves, other people are going to go, oh, I love that. Can you make me one of those? Yeah. So you need to, you, you're going to need at least another one or two to work with to be able to make jewelry to sell on or then to gift. Yeah, because people are going to want these. We're at 299 pounds, 99 pence comes with the box. Four split payments of 74.99. These split payments and the payment <laughs> The price you're about to see is going to be annihilated. How many of these do we have, Neri? Ooh. So we've got just over a dozen of these available. We've literally got just over a dozen. Okay. You are about to see the most amazing price, the most affordable price for genuine Fresh water pearls of this quality, this gorgeous papaya tone, this gorgeous fleshy, peachy, apricot tone. 13 remaining. 99 pounds. Oh, my word. It's just absolute perfection, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Get it on your split payments today for £24.75. That's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? How can it be? I know. An amazing deal for you today for £99. Well done. Eileen, we've got Angela, Caroline. Well, oh, there she is. She's there again in the Channel Islands. Linda in Northumberland. Well done to you as well, my lovely. At £99, you've got your individual split payments of £24.75. Check out your baskets. Well done, my lovelies. Go, 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 go. Superb. Margaret in Merseyside. Jacqueline in Dorset. Well done. Nine opportunities remaining. Well done, everyone. So many in baskets. Do check out as soon as you can. I would, I would be saying, you know, getting a couple of these, if you can afford to do that, obviously, just purely because making something for yourself and then whoever sees it is going to say, oh, brilliant. Can you make me one of those? I love that. You know, I'll buy, you know, I'll buy it from you. Of course, you're not going to be selling something like that, you know, that you've made for yourself. So you're being able to make something for somebody else. Sam in Buckinghamshire, well done to you, my lovely. Coming through, that's great. Margaret, checking out, that's great. Well done. Six opportunities remaining. 0800 644 655. Well done, everyone. Five opportunities. The fact that each and every one of these is completely unique is such an attractive thing uh, to think about, isn't it, Monica? Because, of course, it means that you are getting something here completely unique. It is, yeah. It's interesting, though, um maybe 20 years ago, uh, it was more popular to get the perfectly round. Of course. Same pearls. And yeah. Now, I think people are realizing that these look much more sort of natural and much more uh, interesting, I think, than, uh, than just the round ones. Yeah. Ab absolutely. You get, more, you get more bang for your buck as well, don't you? Which is just incredible. Well done, Linda in Northumberland. Well done. Check out my lovelies. Yeah, if you're going to be getting a couple of these, make, make yourself a lovely pair of earrings. We are so over-allocated. Well done, everybody. That is just superb. Sam, you've got two in your basket there. Check out my lovely. Well done. We're going to leave the graphics on over the break. Uh, do not go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to be joined by Toby Cavill, who's going to be bringing us some amazing Oregon sunstone and the very first strand of this gemstone we have ever done. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. there welcome back and welcome to toby cavill good morning to you all it's still it's normal morning isn't it i was going to say afternoon and i hesitated for a 1101 second. i can just see carol on screen it was distracting me um and uh, the name carol not you there, that's what i could see so just for the record not not carol that you can see here <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a take, as taken as back to that. Now, what's really key um, is, yes, it's 11 o'clock. It's Friday afternoon. Morning. And it's time to do something. Friday morning. We nearly got it right. Um, oh, totally. and yeah, Monica, enough from you already. Monica's already <laughs> laughing. Monica. You're laughing in your face. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Monica, She's right. Savage. There she is. Savage. Blimey. Hey? <laughs> Blimey. I'm trying to be as professional as possible, Monica. Now, talking <coughs> right. about being professional. We have got some of the most beautiful pieces for you here today. A show oh. I've never done for you here on Gemporia Lifestyle. Uh, some of my pick of the vaults, as we know. <laughs> yes, yeah. jewelry maker. Am I? I'm. I'm. I'm honestly. Do you just want to start again, Toby? Yeah, you want to go we, home? Let's and... cut away. Let's cut away to that for a second, and we'll come back. Okay, ready? Well, <clears> ready? Give Toby a. Let's just count me in if you want. Three, mm, two, two, one. one. Hi, good morning. It's 11 o'clock and here we are on Jewelry Maker. Hi, I've done a great... My name's Toby Cavill. Uh, Monica's over there. It's, it was a... Yeah, it was a long weekend. My bank holiday is still happening. It's still happening to us, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but you'll be very happy to hear today, this morning on Jewelry Maker, um, that we've got a <laughs> lovely show for you. Is that Okay. Now, yeah, don't, yeah, that, that, don't that, that, sums, that does oh. sum it all up, doesn't it? <laughs> now, that does sum it up. Now, 
what we're going to do for you is not only bring you a gemstone I've never been able to do before, but I have Oregon sunstone for you guys. Yes. Now, the reason I bring you this here is because, you know, not only is this a one mine, one location gem, but this is very, very sought after. Mineability of this is becoming very um, scarce because this is obviously a one mine, one location. And I was lucky enough to meet the mine owner at Tucson this year. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, Jake's, this guy knows Jake. He's known Jake for a very, very long time. And it was actually, the reason we can do this show for you here today is because Jake actually bought a, so this mine was sold about three years ago. Okay. Just before it was sold, they came and they offered Jake an amazing deal on some sunstone because they were closing the mine that was going to its next chapter. And Jake basically managed to get a ridiculous parcel from it. And that was the ironic thing about going and chatting with this gent is he knew exactly with our Gemporia lanyards on. He goes, oh, you know, Jake, don't you? And he, then he kind of tuttered and rolled his eyes mm. and I was like, oh gosh, what has Jake done here? And then we found out that actually Jake was one of the biggest purchasers, all right, from the site, previous site holders before this man Ooh. purchased it. And he knew that Jake basically got a deal that is completely and utterly unmanageable in today's marketplace. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is I want to show you this guy. I want to show you the, the mine owner, the current site holder of the mine. I want, I want you to listen to exactly what he has to hear. I was with RL, which you all know very, oh, very well. Yeah. Yeah. which is very, very apt because she was talking about it from a jewellery making perspective. And you'll notice here that there is actually some beads in front of him in this shot. Yes. Now those strands were going at $500 <laughs> trade a strand. And that's also why I want to show you this VT. So without, without further ado this morning on Jewellery Maker, my name's Toby Cavill, and this is the Oregon Sunstone mine owner at Tucson in 2022 with beautiful $500 strands in front of him. Have a mooch at this. Is there a big demand for it at the moment? Is it sunstone? We're it's hearing growing, a lot about sunstone. It's growing, growing. It's, yeah. it's an extremely rare gemstone. Yeah, we're fine. It, it's only found one place in the world. Sure. In South Central Oregon, and it's actually all the gemstone artists, any top line artist that worked with it loves it. Wow. And it's expensive. It can be a very expensive stone. It can be much more expensive than Tanzanite. Sure. 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 But no big company has picked up and spent one million dollars branding it or doing that. Yeah. yeah. You think if that yeah. happens, if you think if someone does oh, that, it would it would be crazy. I mean, yeah. we would be sold out all the time. Yeah. Because, because there's right? only so much. So much produced. Of course. So, how do you, do you source this yourself? Do you mine it yourself, or? Well, I mine. We mine. There's two different mining companies in this place. Okay. And then we send it, depending on on the material. Some of it we send overseas for cutting. Some of it we have cut. Okay. We don't cut beads here because it's just you can't do it. Sure. I mean, it'd be two thousand dollars a strand yeah, of yeah. The labor. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So. In terms of. Um, Wait, how much do you get from the ground then approximately per year, say, or...? Oh, it's, it's highly... We have a saying in mining, it's sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. <laughs> so you never know when you start how you're going to do. Sure. Okay. And to mine for a season, it cost me about $60,000 wow. okay. for four months. Wow. Yeah. So people don't realize how expensive it is to mine stuff. Sure. So this is medium to intense. Sure. And there's some very intense beads, but they're they're harder to come by. Yeah. It's just amazing yeah, it's how they pick up the light. And we haven't even got any special lights, really. This is just not the light. Yeah. What are you talking about? Five hundred dollars a strand? Is that Let's what you're see, doing? pretty close. Four forty-eight. Four forty-eight is yeah. the yeah. strand. Yeah. Yes, stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely so so chatting to you. We uh, wish you a great show. <laughs> well, there you go. Oregon. That's fascinating. Isn't it? Yeah. Oregon Sunstone, mine owner there right now. You can see him talking about the beads. You can see some beads there at $847 there, $448 as well. Exactly. And, and what's really, really key is we have got beads of that caliber here today. But do you know what's beautiful, Carol, is we haven't just got kind of your standard uh, Oregon Sunstone beads. Like, they get right there. You can see the price right there, $847. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful yeah. beads, right? <laughs> the formation of these are beautiful. Remember, though, what's amazing is it too? Tucson, there was only one individual booth I could go to to look for and find sun, uh, you know, sunstone, uh, Oregon sunstone. And that's really, really key because it's unlike any other gemstone you'll find at Tucson where you can go for, you know, five booths for rubies and 20 booths for emeralds mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, these for diamonds and whatever it may be. There was one individual booth. So this morning I thought I'd bring you a strand like that that was $847, but intertwine some of the rarest colors that you can also find in Oregon sunstone. Sorry. 
some of the beautiful watermelon greens, some of the beautiful serenite diamond yellows that you get coming through, as well as some of the beautiful Oregon oranges. Now look at this. I love this. Isn't this stunning? You get a whole array of colors here. And what's, oh, look. Aren't they amazing? This is the first strand we have ever bought to wear. Never have you seen anything like this, Karen? No, ever. Never, ever. Now, you guys know, I, of all people, I love to try and bring you guys something different. Mm. I like to bring you guys something that it may, allows your jewellery making to be different. And this strand is the definition mm. of that, Carol. Oh, yeah, definitely. Look at that recording. The, and and it's, it's got those classic, it's got those classic sunstone colours in there, which are kind of burning and you get all that gorgeous kind of copper content, giving you that wonderful glow. But then you get, as you say, canary yellows, kind of mystic kind of greens mm, and silvers in and there. It's gorgeous. It, it's such a, it's such a beautiful strand. Um, and I would never have, I would never have guessed that this was a strand of Oregon sunstone because I'm just not familiar with it. I don't feel, I, I haven't been lucky enough to see this well, you've never seen anything whole like it. variety of colour that we're seeing here today. It's amazing. And remember as well, Carol, for anyone out there who's thinking, oh gosh, well, how have they got those to go green? And how have they got those to go, yeah, you yeah. know, those serenite yellows? <clears throat> right, these are all, let me make this clear to you, these are all 100% natural. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. All 100% natural. There's copper in there that's giving you those yeah. beautiful oranges, but also you've got elements of chromium in here giving you those teal greens. Yes. Some of those beautiful yellows. And this is the reason why we've never been to do something like this before carol is normally when it comes to affordability if that strand that we showed you a minute ago 847 dollars yes, which yes. we've got colors of reminiscent of that <laughs> on screen right now right if that had had as many greens and yeah, yellows yeah, and that yeah. that would have gone up to a close to a thousand dollars oh wow that's what we're talking about here so what i wanted to do is show you guys just how good jake's deal was before this mine was passed over to that specific owner what we get to do this morning carol is completely and utterly unprecedented. Now, Tom, let's open the graphics because what's beautiful about this as well, Carol, mm. is we've got a hundred, well, it's a good quantity, but I don't think it's going to be good enough, to be honest with you. Oh. We've got 157 of these available here today. Oh, okay, right. Now, when you see what we can do in terms of price of this here Lots. today, a lot of people are going to go absolutely wild on the phone lines. Here today, what this allows you to do, again, is not only get one of the rarest forms of sunstone that you can find on this planet, not only some of the most beautiful colours, you're almost getting periberi kind of blues That's coming exactly through here. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is, because it's got that glow from the from the kind of the, of the copper, hasn't it? Yeah. But it's got that soft kind of tealy, greeny blue. Look at that. I mean, that that, that could be Pareba, couldn't it? It that, could be. Yeah. And this is what I love about this. Some of the rarest tones. Now, this is only possible because Jake didn't buy everything cut. He bought a lot of material rough. Yeah. And because a lot okay. of the material is rough, it, no, that's also why the deal was so good. Because we're buying it off them without doing any kind of <clears throat> preforming or slicing mm. or, or, or any kind of, um, you know, uh, cutting or any kind of lapidary work, any kind yes. of polishing. It's not done. By taking it off them in the raw form, we take all the risk because we don't know what colors we're going to get consistency of we don't know if we're going to get any of the greens yeah. much of these deep oranges but yes. as you can see we got a load of some of the most beautiful saturations out there now the formation process of this gemstone as well is similar to that of a diamond that's why a lot of the serenite jewelry you see is selling on our other channels as well you might have had a bit of serenite here mm. has such a beautiful gleam to it mm. has a high level of lithium in it what's what we call an alkali metal now alkali that lithium Lithium allows this gemstone to light up yes. naturally. So you not only have you got that copper bearing, not, but you've also got lithium working its way into these stones, mm. which gives it this brilliance and this beauty. Absolutely. Now look, Carol. Oh, we've got a message I'm hearing. Oh. Oh no, this is the only. Oh, Angela, I'm so sorry. This is the only. I am right in saying that, aren't I? This is the. Uh, this is the only strand. This is. This right here is the only strand I've got for you of Oregon sandstone. We've never done a strand before. We, this, ever. how long have we been running here at Jewelry Maker now, Carol? Uh, almost 12 years. Almost 12 years. Yep. So this is the first time in close to 4,000 individual days here at Jewelry Maker that you've ever had the chance to see this. 
in 4,000 days, 4,000 shows, you think about how many pieces of jewellery or gemstones you have seen in those... I mean, you've probably been... I'd say Carol's probably been involved with 3,897 <laughs> of those 4,000 shows over the 12 years, right? What a few. So it's fair to, be, fair to say, Carol, you've been around the block. Yeah. Oh, Toby. You know what I mean. Don't. No, don't if, it's, if, if, if it's worth seeing on this planet... Okay, yes, yes, you're right. We're still talking about gemstones and jewellery, Carol. Let's not get carried away here. If it's worth seeing, you've pretty much seen it. Yes, absolutely, 100%. And this is exactly my kind of strand. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's got loads of interest. There's so much going on here. You've got wonderful tonal uh, colours that work so beautifully together, but I, I, I would love to pick out those gorgeous glowing silvery teals as well. I'd love to use those separately. Love the peach and mint green tones. Oh, it is. Yes, Angela, it is that's a it. Have, it. It's absolutely exquisite. And I would never have guessed that this was Oregon sunstone because of that variety of colour, that, that kind of that whole whole kind of spectrum of colour that you're getting here today. It's amazing. Now what's really cool about this, Carol, is um, there are prices and what we can do here today. Now I haven't just got a deal for you here today. Okay. We have literally got a full promotional auction. I think <laughs> this is gonna be the easiest and most affordable way of getting your hands on Oregon sunstone right now on this planet. I've been okay. super, super excited about this for about to be specific, about 13 days now on screen. <laughs> and do you know why? This is the cool thing. So right now, uh, Temptress Tom, who's producing today, yeah. what I'd like you to do, Temptress Tom, is I'd like you to give our customers the most tempting price point that you physically can do on screen right now, that you are physically allowed to do, Tom. Bearing in mind that that's $847. $847. And we've got we've got unbelievable colours here. We've got more, more colour than in those strands there. Your blues. We've we've got some of the rarest colours that you will find on this planet. Now, yeah. Tom, I know the deal you can do is pretty sterling, to say the least. Ah, okay. Check this what's out. He, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's he doing? What's he doing? We're going. <clears throat> that is your opening price, Carol. Carol R. Right, so this is the first time we have ever had a strand of Oregon sunstone. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying Oregon sunstone with this amount of colour in or this caraway. No, no, no. Oregon sunstone, full stop. Yeah. This is the first time we've ever done a strand of Oregon sunstone. And we're at $47.99 and it's not your price. Kathleen's bought four. Kath has bought three. Sam's bought two. The phone lines and the web have gone absolutely nuts. Um, there's been a buzz about this this morning, Toby. They're really, really oh, has. Oh, and Carol, if you, I can, I mean, I can feel the buzz already <laughs> in the studio. I can it's feel incredible. it. It's incredible. I can feel it and could have felt it. But this is where things get really amazing. Because I want to talk to you just about how unique, you know how I was saying about finding these blues, these greens yes, are extremely rare. Yes. Have a look at this right here. Right, this is an example of some of the greens you oh can my find. Oh gosh. Now, as you can see here, Mike, exactly if you just come up, colors. if you just work your way up a little bit, Mike, yeah, that's it, towards, towards colour here. Ah. This is really key. So they talk about here being with most, most sunstones having yellow, orange or brown body colour, with green being extremely rare. Hmm. It's small inclusions that create reddish or golden sheen on the top of any colour, while larger inclusions create attractive, <laughs> glittery reflections. Oh. Sunstone inclusions can be hematite, copper, or sometimes other mineral. Guys and girls at home, that, that rare that you can see there, quoted by the GIEA, <laughs> they do not use the word rare lightly. Those greens are what we've got for you here today. Our opening price... It's forty-seven ninety-nine, and we're not talking about just one or two of these that have got greens in there. We're oh, talking no. about kind of what at least fifty percent of the strand that you've got these incredible tones in. This is an opportunity unlike anything else we've ever offered you, and we can say that because, of course, we've never bought you a strand of Oregon sunstone. This is so so special. We bought you a few of the loose gemstones; they're absolutely wonderful. But the, uh, being able to bring this to you in a ready-made strand ready to go ready to make into jewelry ready to um, use the spaces in between pearls but however you want to use them it's so so special isn't it it's now, just gorgeous well done carol get ready for <laughs> get ready to be ready for the buzz to get even buzzier Whoa! okay yeah me and you are gonna be like some queen bees by the end of this i minute. can't wait because right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a clock on screen <laughs> ollie now, oh there it look is look at that for timing he just he whipped that out didn't he there he, we go not the, Six. not the first not the last now what's really really key 
Talking about whipping it out, you're going to need to get that phone line out very, very quickly at home because when you see what we can do at the end of that clock, Carol Roach, you are going to be blown away. I can't wait. To blown see. away. I've got genuinely, I've got no idea. It's a good job you're not wearing a hat today because you're not going to get your hat on are at these kind of prices. Of, I, think, I think Toby's oh, lots. lots of paracetamol at the minute, isn't he? Lots. Running a temperature. I'll tell you what, day nurse, fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. I only recommend you taking it a thousand milligrams at a time though, but it makes you feel great. Now, what they advise is not to have caffeinated tea with it. That went out the window a very long time ago, ladies and gents, because this buzz, I'm telling you, Carol, the buzz, you can feel it, can't I you? Absolutely. Can you feel the vibration? I can, Toby. You this know? It's going to be amazing. Now, you've got four seconds. You've got four seconds. No, you don't. We've run out of time. Look, forty-seven pounds ninety-nine pence. How? Oh, don't do this. <clears throat> well, no, just do whatever you need to. Look at that face. That face. Uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a warning now. What we're going to do is we are going to take this now under forty pounds. We're going to go to 39.99 and then, Ollie, you're going to have to whip it out again for the second time in the last three Whoa. minutes. And then, ladies and gents, just because I've got 150 of these, I can see how many of you are on the phone There's lines. so many people there. I'm buying myself a little bit of time here. I'm going yep, to be honest yep. with you. And at less than £40, pounds, that's already spectacular. You're already now at 5% of the 459 you know, <laughs> strand that we had. You're now at 5% of that. We're not close. Oh we are not gosh. close, Carol. The amount of multi bidders that we've got here is absolutely. Oh, super. hold on to your hats. Very first strand of Oregon Sun Soap. Hold on to something. On Jewelry Maker. Just hold on. Hold on yeah. to the sofa. Whatever Anything. it is. Just hold on. If you've got Janet. a canine near you, just hold on to oh, it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Give your dog a cuddle. Yeah, Margaret's got horse. two already. Well done. Marion's got three. Beatrice has got two. Nicolette's got two. Valerie's got two. Sheila's got two. There's so many multi bidders. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, Honestly, honestly, looking at this, the very first, and this is for something to be the very first strand that we have ever done of a gemstone. I suppose it kind of gives us oh, license to almost bring this to you for a, you know, for an inflated price oh, point, not a, not a ridiculous a price. Very like good this. point. That's a yeah. very good point. And Tom, no, no, Tom, we're going lower than that, mate. Uh, when there's no point in inflation <laughs> here today because this is where, again, with Jake, I've got to doff my, uh, tuck my forelock and doff my cap to Jake Thompson here today because he has done, an, uh, it's only through Jake that we can do this for you. It's Absolutely. only through Jake. I, he is an unbelievable gemstone buyer. Some, sometimes, honestly, he, he, he scares me with some of the things he brings and the prizes he brings because I've worked in the marketplace. I know how tough negotiations can be. I know how hard it is with a single source gem like this it, it is to do this kind of deal. Absolutely. Now, so many have already gone. Have, has that clock already ticked? Is it it's done? already ticked, Toby. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, it's time to rock and roll, ladies and gents. Oh, don't do it. Because look, at $49.99, that was amazing. You know what? Ollie, just give me another 30. I'm going to oh. need it. I'm going to need it. And this gem deal, which was, Monica, done, yeah. which was completed by Jake Thompson all those years ago, this is a legendary gem deal. This is a gem deal which has been spoken about and documented because of its because of what we achieved, the price per carat, and, and, what, we've, and what we've got here, as, as the mine owner was saying, is something where you may find loads, you may find nothing. It's one of those ridiculous um, uh, professions where you just don't know what you're gonna find. And we just so happen to be in the right place at the right time. Oh gosh. Okay, Cl clock's ticked. There was some sign language going on there. I've got no idea. All okay. under that recording right. and me waffling so away. So this next price is not going to be your final price, Carol R. What, what is it? Hey, I'll, take, I'll take this, Carol R. We are going, we are going under £30 now. £29.99p, Carol R. And we are not... Stop it! We are not stopping there. We are not stopping there. Kaz. Oh, gosh. Look at that for a prize, Kaz. Wayne, Wayne Del Paso, at the minute, is upstairs doing his little rumple stilt skin dance. He is not happy. He's going to appear at that window, I can almost guarantee, within the next few moments. He is, he is not... Tope. The good thing is... He's on is I've known, I've known well, Wayne Del Paso for a very long time. Mm. Very long time. So, Tom, I think, it's fair, I think it's fair for us to say that we know how to handle the beast, don't we? 
And, it, and you know what he is? I mean, he might be small in size, but he packs a punch. I'll oh tell you that. Oh, my word. Free, I would not say that to his face. Oh, I wouldn't. No, but he's not here. I'm not yet, anyway. <laughs> now, this is really cool because, look, for all of you, and by the way, so many of you multi buying, oh, we are not done at $29.99. I'll, I'll be frank with you guys, I should be done and dusted there. Well done and dusted there, right? And I can almost hear Jake now talking, saying to me, why did, you, why did you go that low? Yeah. And I'll tell him, Jake, it's because of the buzz. Did you feel the buzz in the studio, Jake? No, because you weren't here. But what's really, really key, what's really, really key is because I've managed to get this round for you here today, we get to do some amazing things. At $29.99, I'm happy as Larry. But I'm taking every pound and penny as low as I can physically go before Tom's screen... Before Tom's screen heads towards the red, as it were. The only strand we've ever had of Oregon Sunstone. And I can't imagine after this deal that there's going to be many more strands coming our way, Toby, because this is a big investment for us. Look at him. It's Friday morning still here still on the Jewelry morning. Maker. Jewelry and Maker. what we're going to be doing to you is not just bringing you the first ever strand, but we're going to be taking it to the lowest price point I think you're ever going to see on a TV screen. Cancel your $29.99 here today, Tomothy, because we are taking this to £27.99. Oh, right in the wallet. Every pound and penny, Carola, has go. been taken out. <laughs> Nicolette's got four, Sheila's got three, Margaret's got two. The amount of multi bit. This is absolutely ridiculous. An amazing opportunity, a sensational price point. That's not. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, let's remind ourselves yeah. of this price point that we saw at the Tucson Gem Show. And you know, I love that. That's really, really beautiful. But give me this strand any day. It's got so much variety. It's got so much interest. It's got so much going for it. Kath in Kentucky's got two. Well done to you, my lovely. Well done to Tessa, Helen, Paula, Make It. Loads of people with Anna in Derbyshire. You've got three in your basket. Check out my lovely. Well done. At £27.99. That is absolutely tremendous. You've literally got four seasons in one strand here. You really genuinely do. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. I love this. The Carol, this is where <laughs> and what Jewelry Maker is about. Do you know the hardest thing about working for a gemstone company that has, you know, Jewelry Maker and Gemporia and all the, everything under, the, under this umbrella is, is actually bringing you something unique, bringing you something mm, different. Bringing, definitely. You've had 4,000 individual days of seeing Jewelry Maker here on screen. Never, ever have you had this opportunity. Angela, it is my absolute pleasure. Aww. Can you see why I was so excited? Absolutely. Thank you, Toby. Oh, it's my says. very pleasure, Angela. Aww. Thank you, Toby. Right, OK. We have got... Um, oh, gosh. I am... <clears throat> do you... Are we going to do these? Yeah. If you thought you were buzzing then, Kaz. <laughs> right. I'm shuffling oh. forward for this. How are you feeling about these? I love these. These I are these. stunning, aren't they? Aren't we they? Oh my, oh, my word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like a natural tanzanite almost. Yes! You know what I mean? It's absolutely and utterly stunning. Now, <laughs> what's key now is we're going to go to... I've got... Oh. Carol. Go on. I've got a bit of a quantity of four carat solitaire stones for you now. Now, again, this is only possible oh. because of the way we purchased, because of the way we, were, we, we put ourselves oh. in charge of every bit of this process. The cutting, the quality grading, the clarity grading, the, the slicing of this material, the preforming, and obviously then the overall lapidary work. This is absolutely spectacular. Wow. I, I do this gemstone in my 18 karat gold collections very often. Do you? Very oh, often. I can totally imagine because that. Because these just, in terms of when you can get them in size, they offer such a unique beauty to them. Now, once again, within, within this stone, you're getting those beautiful kind of natural canary. That's it, that's it, yeah. These natural kind of canary-like colours here. Beautiful... Um, Beautiful, kind of almost like a yellow kunzite colour, beautiful, bright, lemony tones. I can't believe this is a 14 by 10 millimetre Oregon sunstone that you're going to be getting. I don't think I've ever come across one this big before. It's stunning. Well, normally when you're working around these kind of sizes, and also what's key <coughs> about this, Carol, what we will see at home is you'll see flashes of red there. You see you've got your, sure. your reds, you've got your greens, you've got yeah. your yellows, you've got brilliance, you've got beauty, you've got clarity. 
Now, normally when you're looking at sizes like this, right, I want to show you how much you can pay, right? Here, I've got an example of like, uh, here you can see two pieces in your green, oh, six wow. carats and seven carats. Now, yeah. again, well over, right? Well over, you know, um, in terms of the 6.52 carat piece, right? Let's have a look at that. You're looking at probably $600 a carat for that material. Right, six hundred dollars a carat with yeah. that seven point eight six. Again, it's slightly lower than that. But with this material, you are probably looking at two sort of around five hundred dollars trade, something like that. Mm -hmm. Five hundred dollars trade per carat. Okay. That is reality of what's going on right now. You heard the gentleman, <clears throat> the mine owner, talking about this. You know, he he has to pay around seventy thousand pounds a year to be able to get this kind of uh, to get to mine there. Absolutely. Then have to cover all the costs to go alongside it and price per carat in a single source then is of course very very high now have a look at this because not all, all, all sunstones grow in this way sunstone normally grows very blotchy with like flashes of your copper yeah, yeah, yeah. look at the clarity and the purity of these stones oh wow it's stunning now look guys and girls i'm not going to beat around the bush here Love today this. At, 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 at four carats here today, this could easily, even here at Jewelry Maker, be, you know, uh, 2,000 pounds, 1,500 pounds. Oh, yeah. If I could take this under 1,000 pounds, it shows you we're doing already amazing things and we are pretty much at half of trade price. What I'm gonna do for you, Carol, is go straight down to price on this. Oh. I've got a quantity here today that allows me to go to the price point I am. And again, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is here today. Look at the refraction, look at the brilliance, look at the beauty, the way this works with the light. The size of this stone is amazing. I want to show you what Jake Thompson is capable of here today. Now, let's do a first price on this, Tom. Wow. Let's show everyone a price point they're not going to pay on this. Let's start with this, not just under £1,000, not just under £500, right. Tom. Let's open this up at £299. Wow. Yeah. This right here. Oh, my here, gosh. When I walk around our jewellery maker oh, vault, wow. and I think to myself, where can I make the biggest savings for our customers? This single stone right here is an exact <laughs> reminiscence of how I can save you oh my gosh, I love hundreds, that. if not thousands of pounds here today. Look at those greens once again. Yes. Look at those flashes of gold, like those imperial colors. Yes, ab that, that's exactly it. Yes, your imperial colors in there. It's absolutely stunning. Every time we come back to it, and this is something Ollie's just said, actually, every time we come back to this shot, you know, uh, it, 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 you pick out a different colour, you see something different. It's, it's just spectacular. Vera and Janine, there's so many people interested in this. It, it, it is... Go on. Tom, take me another £100 off the price point. Take this now, under £200. There is affordability, and there's what we can do for wow. you here this morning. This is where it gets super exciting. Oh my gosh. Now again, you set that into an 18 karat gold uh, design. You put diamonds around it, a piece of jewelry like that can be selling for thousands of pounds. Absolutely, 100%. Look at the quality, the, the, as you say, that refractive index, that inner brilliance, that incredible, that incredible plethora of colors that you get inside the gemstone itself. It's, it's your greens, it's your yellows, it's your lovely, almost kind of cinnamon colors as well. It's mm. absolutely tremendous. It's just such a crisp gemstone you're going to be getting here today. There's so much interest in this already, Toby. This is wonderful. It is absolutely beautiful, yes! isn't it? And again, Love you're getting it. some of the beautiful colors. You're getting that beautiful natural pleochroism across the gem. Yes. Now, let me show you this. Let me show you an example. This is, this is where I'm thinking about you guys. Okay? okay, so I'm thinking for everyone out there who ma who's making their jewellery, oh, right, who's doing pretty. something different. Right, you can get your hands on a standard peach sunstone. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, set lovely. into 18 karat white gold, like I was saying. Mm -hmm. Right, that stone right there is £1,279. Gosh, okay. Now, of that, when you think about the value of what's, what is the value mm -hmm. of that sunstone from that price point, is probably about £1,000, something mm -hmm. like that. Maybe mm -hmm. £950. We have started at less than 200 pounds. We have got four carats in size. Let me just clarify the size of that stone for you guys as well, just so we can do a comparative. That's an eight millimeter stone of approximately two carats. Whoa. You've got double the carat weight here and we are at less than, a, than, a, than an eighth of that price point. Absolutely. 199.99 and you've got your um, individual split uh payments of 49.99. Absolutely incredible quality. Look at that, isn't that beautiful, beautiful gemstone? One shot, one deal. Uh, Ollie, clock on screen. Give me 60 seconds. 
I am going to take off an absolute fortune here for you guys. Right. Put it this way. You're not going to be paying £179 here today, mm. Carol R. You are not going to be paying £149.99p here today, Carol. I am going to give you the best price per carat of this kind of carat weight that we have ever done here at Jewelry Maker. Right. You know Christmas normally comes in December? Yes. Well, this year it happens in this month. <laughs> it's happening in April. It's happening right now? It's happening right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, Christmas with Carol R and Toby C here this <laughs> afternoon, this morning on Jewelry Maker. How low are you planning on going to? We're going it? low. Mm -mm. Okay, all right. There's more people with this in their baskets. Check out as soon as you can. You get your 30-day money-back guarantee. You're not going to need it at all. The quality of what you're getting here is absolutely off the scale. Go on, Tony. I'm not even waiting for the clock. £129.99, please, Oliver Twist. We're going straight down there to a price point you've never seen before. A hundred and twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine. Oh, look at that split payment. Right. Thirty-two forty-nine. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh my word! Janine's got two in her basket now. Check out my lovely. Well done. This is absolutely superb. What an opportunity! The deal of the century. That really is a Christmas. And this is in what April. I'm talking about. This is what we allow you to do here yes. at Jewelry Maker. This is what you can get. I showed you a stone a minute ago at over £1,100 more than this for two carats set into gold. You set this into gold. You know what? You set this into gold. So you've paid £129 today. You then get, a, let's say, a 9K mount. You then pay another oh no, £150, say, for the 9K mount. Your total cost is still, ladies and gentlemen, less than £300. It's about £270, uh, £270. Pounds. You then go to Etsy and say, you know what, you can have this for under £1,000 for a Whoa. four carat natural Gosh. sunstone. And also setting it with something like your uh, setting it with something like your gallery yeah. wire, so doable, so, so, so doable. Single figures left. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely superb. Ooh. Ooh. Now we've got next, am I right in thinking it's the octagonal cut one? 2.25 carat octagon radiant cut. This is Stunning! Isn't it? I love this stone. Oh! Lemon. Yes! Lemons. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful price. Beautiful faceting. Look at that facet. And now that is so special. The radiant cut just, it suits this gemstone down to the ground, doesn't it? Oh, it certainly does. Now, remember, not only because of the formation process of this, do you get that diamond-like fire? Not only is this, again, oh, yeah. cut in one of the finest oh. ways that you can find this stone. Look at Woo! the reflection. It looks like a sarite, doesn't it? You're absolutely right. Look and, at and, the reds. Look at the reds. I'm seeing reds. I'm seeing greens. I'm seeing yellows. I'm seeing gold. This is absolutely tremendous isn't that gorgeous look at the reds on you you're, you're getting all the way down these sides here it's absolutely beautiful and it does look like um it's um it, it it's kind of changing changing color the more you move it the more you kind of move the gemstone it's absolutely superb it does work with it you get those blues you get those flashes of reds you can see just how beautiful this is now tom do we want to go straight down on this I can see we're limited for time. I can see yeah. a lot of you are on the phone lines. Tom, let's not be around the bush here this morning. Remember I showed you that two carat stone that was at £1,200? Mm -hmm. Today, you don't need to pay £100 for this. Today, you don't even need to have triple figures. Today, oh we're gosh. taking this to £99 and 99p. Oh, Carol, yes. You can pay more than that just for the cutting. I'm just for someone to cut the stone for yes. you, you pay yes. more than that. Oh, my word, I can't believe this. Double figures. What a treat for you. So you get your authenticity certificate as well uh, with our compliments as well because it is a gorgeous calibrated size for insurance purposes. You may want to get this off for your valuation. £99.99. pence. Well done. An absolutely tremendous stone. That is just gorgeous. I love that. Have a look at it as a ring. Beautiful size for an engagement ring. Absolutely incredible size, maybe for a pendant as well. So many different colours in here. It's absolutely tremendous, isn't it? Well done. 0800 644 655. I'm loving all these gorgeous oranges and greens and yellows. It's absolutely superb, isn't it? Under £100 
for the most incredible 10 by 8 millimeter natural Oregon sunscreen. And again, it's another gorgeous. example of a two carat stone here. Another example Beautiful. of yeah, it, right? Yeah, lovely. You've got a two carat stone here, 746 pounds set into, we just, you just cost, that just cost you, right? For an octagon radiant, it costs you less than 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. Similar kind of color tones. Better cutting. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming a bigger caraway looking at that size, ladies and gents. Yeah, for sure. Jake Thompson, I commend you. Absolutely. Isn't that incredible? Well done, everybody. Yours today for under, well I can't done. believe that, under 100 pounds. Well done. Right, okay. Oh, this, this oval is, hang on. I've got the right, yes. Look, look at the color on that. <laughs> this is incredible, this stone. Um, I've never seen an Oregon sunstone like this before. It is unbelievable. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at the colours. Wow, 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 wow. That right. is amazing. Wow, 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 wow. Absolutely. Now, this is what we're talking about, guys. Yes. This is what it's all about. When you, when you start to see, you know, these kind of colour tones, oh. when you're looking at sunstone, this is where you start to see that increase in price. So I, I can show you, I can show you, right, a stone of this kind of caliber, right, of this kind of color. Oh. Uh, now have a mooch at this. That's right, that's fine, Carol, that's fine. Now what's really, really key, let me just find out the, the size of this. Right, so this now, this stone right here. Mm. <gasps> More of your oranges coming through. Look at the price point of that, £2,280. Now that's again with more of that kind of depth of orange. Now, ladies and gents, this is really what's exciting about what we can do for you here today. Oh my gosh. Really, really exciting what we can do for so this you. This is SGC179. Yeah. Oh my word. Now. Remember, let's go back to this slide right here. Let's go back to this slide right here. And let's remember that sunstone, that sunstone does not grow with purity of color. It is that copper bearing inclusion mm -hmm. that allows us to get these beautiful tones. And you can start to see just how beautiful those oranges are all the way throughout this individual stone. Absolutely. Now, absolutely beautiful. We're leaving that. We're going to tempt you a little bit. That'll be coming up a little bit of time. Yeah. Okay. That'll be coming up in a little bit of time. Okay. Now, okay. Okay. Just oh, while we're waiting oh, for that, and by the way, for all of you that have already tuned in for that, congratulations in advance. Oh you are wow. In, and what's beautiful about what we can do here today is the pricing across the board is all completely <laughs> utterly exceptional. Completely exceptional. So, the one we've got coming up for you next. King is just lovely. Uh, I know. Yeah. She's amazing. Now, what's this code, Tom, just so we know? Uh, uh, what's the code on this one, Tom? Okay. 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 Yeah, so this is the two character on the nose. The 10 by 8 two character. So mm. let's just have a look. Have you got an oval there? No. I oh, that one. There it is. There she is. That's not it. That's not it. No. no. That's not it. No. You know what? Hmm. So many different colours here. We have. We want to make sure that we're that showing one. you guys the right one. Mm. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, it's there, there, there we go. Is. Sorry, uh, Carol. It was right different. Sorry, Kinga. <laughs> Kinga's working her socks off. I know. There. She we really is working her socks off. Look at this. Look at these colours. Right. Oh, my word. That is a stunning stone. Oh it's my like tourmaline word. tourmaline green, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly it. Mint green tourmaline. Yep, 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 definitely. Stunning. Now look guys, for the remainder of the show, I'm unfortunately, I mean, Monica being the selfish person she has actually got a show at midday <laughs> today, and I'm not allowed to overlap because you, you know she might seem quite smiley in front of the camera, oh, but behind the camera, I'm telling you, if you thought Wayne Del Paso was bad, Monica is an absolutely no level. Oh, of course, I'm joking, <laughs> she's lovely. Um, but because of that, I have to unfortunately leave or vacate your screen today at midday, oh. Tom. We're just going to go absolutely crazy. Okay, go on. Right, we've got two carat stone here, 100% natural Oregon sandstone. I told you these are affordable. I told you Jake had got the best deal. That had been done. Sorry, Carol, just That's hit right. you there. Uh, we're going to take this under £80, £79.99p oh for a two carat solitaire yes! stone. 
Absolutely amazing. Genuinely one of the most beautiful stones. It's, it's got such a chameleon quality to it. And in here, yes, it looks like that. Beautiful almost. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Split payments of $19.99. That's ridiculous. I can't believe it's 79.90. Sorry, let me just move it out of the way. 79.99 for you today. Well done with your individual split payments of under 20 pounds. That is absolutely incredible. Look at the light. And that's the beauty of it, Carol, is you can get this home for 20 pounds today. Check it out. See oh, if it works yeah. with the amounts that you've got. Speak to your local jeweler about it. Inquire as to how they're selling in other sales channels as well, if that's what you do. Add it to your gemstone collection. That's exactly what I'd be doing with a gemstone of this kind of caliber. You want rarity, you want natural beauty they're right uh, there or there congratulations to all of you on the phone lines i'm sorry i'm gonna have to move on and i've never seen this gemstone anywhere else just to just to kind of just to kind no. of um just to kind of say that as well this is absolutely no. tremendous isn't it you know we really don't we don't necessarily have exclusivity but we've got but we've got we really have got some of the best in the uh the, well the best available just now gorgeous. we're going round oh this is stunning right this is a beautiful round. Beautiful. Now, <gasps> this right here is a 55 pointer. Gorgeous. Okay, BQ oh, UP94, a 55 pointer. Now, do you want the opportunity to multi buy today? Oh, wow. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah? Uh huh. Peachy okay. colours in here. <gasps> Tom, we're about to do a promotional auction. We're about to go full promotional, Carol. Mm -hmm. We're about to go below the threshold of where we're going to go for you guys. Okay? So if you want to get some rat matching round brilliance to go with the strand that we had earlier. Yes, you of like course. a pair of earrings, a pair of stud earrings with this <gasps> diamond like formation, brilliance like that. Yeah. Then we're yep, going to yep, give yep. you the ultimate opportunity. Tom, we're going big here. Okay. I can see we've got quantity available. I can see we've got quantity available. If you want to own this beautiful stone, you're going to have the ultimate opportunity. Okay. I'd be getting on the phone line. To Ollie, quick you. clock. Quick clock. There we go. That's a quick oh, clock. Oh, gosh, that was quick. That was Dude, a quick clock. From 60 down Ollie to knows. Oh, let me tell you right now. When it comes to a cheeky 30 seconds, Ollie knows what he's working with. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, Goodness he does. Me. Okay, already people coming through and joining us. Already uh, people with these in their baskets. This is so good to see. But I totally, totally agree with everything Toby's just said about making stud earrings to go with that incredible, uh, you know, the premier strand that we've uh, uh, bought you here. Carol, we're doing a giveaway. This has just turned into a promotional auction. This is just, we've just gone full promotional. Go on. If you want to own Oregon Sunstone, I'm going to give you the ultimate opportunity right now. Mm -hmm. £19.99p. £19.99p. Do not worry about the cost price, Tom. What? Do not worry about the cost price. If they want an option, if you want the best deal that you're going to find anywhere on the planet right now for 50 points, it's just happened. Oh, my gosh. It's just happened. It's on split payments of 666. What are you doing, Toby? What the devil am I doing? Exactly. Yeah. I know you were thinking it. Nicolette, Paula, Virginia's got three. Well, aren't you? Elaine's got two. Yeah, one of the general rules, if it's if it's split payments, it's it's 50 pounds minimum. What is the it's... rule when you're selling Oregon Sunstone? Nobody gets half a carrot for six pounds 66 at home. Home. That's ridiculous. Rules have gone out the window. Oh, my word. Everyone is multi-buying. Beatrice, Elaine's got two. Well done to you. Elaine in Merseyside and in County Down as well. Well done to you. Absolutely amazing. Under £20. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <coughs> Toby's. Oh, Toby. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Mind those shelves. I will. Those shelves have been... They, they, people have fallen foul of those shelves. Almost got the... Almost, you know, got the, got the old... Um, what, what's that? It's a temple, Knock isn't in. it? You're nogging. Yeah. Exactly. Be careful. This is uh, the temple, well, Carol. This is Janet. This is the temple, right? Ah, oh, the body is a Sorry, temple. there we go. No. <laughs> no, sorry, guys. It's getting a little bit out of hand. But you know what, Carol? This is what I love about these kind of shows. Right, I want to do one more giveaway. One more giveaway. So, I don't you can, like here's, here's what I'm thinking, jewelry makers. You, get your pet, you can get two matching, you can get stud earrings there mm -hmm. that I've just done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so, what's the, so you can get two of those for a total cost of less than £13. Oh, yeah, forget about the shelves, right? <laughs> now, what we're going to do for you, you want a pendant? Yep. Oh, just, sorry, would you like a pendant to go alongside <laughs> it? you got an opportunity right now. This is a stunning stone. Oh, my gosh, the blue's in here. Yeah. Woo! You got it. Very. You got it. Hang on. Oh, gosh, can't, oh, I'm having all fingers and thumbs. Don't worry. Come on, Take love. Time. I know it's a little bit nerve-wracking <laughs> knowing these prices we're doing, Carol. Just hold yourself together. You've only got 13 minutes. 
<laughs> 13 minutes, Carol, talking about a long bank holiday weekend, eh? <laughs> eh? OK, I'm ready. You hold up, you ready? Here we go. Look at the recording! Look at the steady hand, lovely. <laughs> Look at that right there, cognacs. Sorry, Tom? Now we're going lower than 1999, Tom. We're now going to go to £14.99. <laughs> you want deals? You want deals? Wherever Jake Thompson is right now, I bet he's, I bet he's gonna, um, he's, uh, hey? I know, the good news about Jake Thompson is I'm, I'm quite sure he's not on this continent, which is where the news is gonna be spreading very fast uh -oh. and wide. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well done, Nicolette. Virginia's coming through, well done. And it's that beautiful princess cut, isn't it? Which really just elevates all that inner glow oh. and that beautiful, um, that beautiful That's what he's gonna be cut. calling me, isn't it? <laughs> he is, That's what he's it? gonna be calling me. Oh, don't look at that mug. Don't yeah, look at yeah, the mug. Yeah, 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 don't look at the mug. 1499, Nicolette's got two. Well done to you, Janet and Marie. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous, loving these colours today. Loving the, um, the, the the beautiful tones you've got running through here and such an incredible price point. Well done at £14 and 99 pence. Well done. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. I'll tell you what we're going to do as well, Kaz, is we are going to finish off with a big bang. With a big bang here. I've got one more strand for you. Uh, by the way, well done for everyone who's pounced on those. I know they were unexpected. But we're not, we know, expect the unexpected when Carol Roach is on screen, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, me? That's what I say. Me? That's what, if anything I've learned you, over the last two Toby. years here at Jewelry Maker is you never know quite what's coming here <laughs> when you've got Carol on screen. <laughs> you're the only person who ever calls me Kaz. I, like, I think you're a Kaz. <laughs> you know. It's like my dad is not a Dave. He is a David. Is he? Mm. So I call him, I call him Big D. Big D. Good, <laughs> good shout. Good shout. Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Janet, are you, uh, well, uh, thank you very much for your lovely messages. They are stunning. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I don't like to big myself up much, uh, Janet, but you're right. I mean, today with these prices, we've gone, we've gone out of space, haven't we? Now, if you want more sunstone, mm -hmm. here's the final strand I've got for you. And you know what? 35 carats. Again, you've got these beautiful blush pinks. Mm. Like very, they're like Morganite sunstone. Yes. Natural, 100% natural sunstones once mm -hmm. again. Gorgeous. Beautiful African material. Mm -hmm. Temptress. What's the lowest <laughs> price point I can do on this? Sorry, that's not Carol. That's our producer. No, Tom. it's Tom Neary. That's producer Tom. Sorry. It's a temptress, though, isn't it? It is, definitely. Oh, definitely. You know what I mean? <laughs> now. Here's the temperatures price. Here's what you could have won. Here's what you could have had. <laughs> Sounds like a ride Speed at the Speedboat. No, it's like full bullseye, isn't it? <laughs> Bit of kitchen. £17.99. <laughs> <laughs> right? £17.99. That's amazing, isn't it? Four mil stones. One yeah. of the most popular sizes you can find. Absolutely. But guys, look, forget about your speedboat, because today... Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. don't that's do why, that. That's why they call him the temptress. You can't say no to that. Really? That's naughty. I'll tell you, the deal that I, I've just been offered from our producer, I'm telling you now, there's not a lot of people that are saying no to that, are they? Uh -uh. No way. Uh -uh. She's having to gulp back there. Now, what's key is we're not just going to take this under £10. We are going to take this to a very, very tempting... Seven pounds and ninety-nine p. Just get it. Just get it. Just get it. Add it to your order. Sheila, Nicholas got this. Well done to Malcolm and Karen, Tessa Pot. Well done to you, Maria Rosa, um, and uh, Makers. Well done to you as well. This is absolutely superb. It's gone completely nuts. Phone lines yeah. are gone completely nuts. Well done, everybody. And it's the absolute opportune moment to get this. Um, right. It's that right time of year, isn't it? The kind of, uh, as, as we're starting to warm up a little bit. Well, we're starting to see the sun, aren't we? Mm. That's always a good thing out in the UK. It is, isn't it? Certainly is. But absolutely. More, more importantly, Carol, look at the price point you can see. That's not a split payment. That's all you're paying. Exactly. That's all you're paying. <gasps> look at the gorgeous shillers you're getting on there as well. That is so... So impressive, isn't Honestly, it? Susan, Janet, Angela, Denise, Gabrielle. I paid more. I, pa I think I paid more for Blimmin' Heat magazine when I flew off to Dubai the other week. You probably would, actually. At the yeah. airport. I mean, it's astronomical. Mm, astronomical. You know, I didn't realise the price of paper had gone through the roof as well, Carol. I thought it was just fuel. But I'll tell you one thing that hasn't increased in price here today. This sunstone you see it on screen, Absolutely. Carol. Heat magazine. Yeah. Gee whiz, Toby. Uh, as a, uh, they have really good sections on jewellery. 
do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of all of all of the jewelry trends, the hot trends. I've got to be, you know, I've got to not only be in, you know, in the jewelry trends, but I've got to know what's going on in the world. Do you know what I mean? He's right. I've got to learn about, you know, J Lou's J Lou J Lou J Lo's new green diamond, haven't I? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Valerie, Julie's got, got two. What's Ben Affleck been up to? And you know, uh, what has what's he been going up on to? in Geordie Shaw? The you know, Geordie I Shaw. Don't know, I don't know what goes yeah, on in the world. Geordie Mortal. Well me, done, yeah. Angela's got three. Linda's got two. Got to keep in touch with the with the you know with that with the with everyone. With, with the kids. With the trends, yeah. Yeah, with the, kids, with the gang. Glenda, Eileen, Maker in Cambridgeshire. Well done to you. That's gone absolutely nuts. Well done. At seven ninety nine. That does not surprise me whatsoever. A tremendous deal for you today. Well done. You know? Oh eight hundred. Six triple four Am six I? double five. Absolutely amazing. Well Are you not done. getting rid of me at this point? No, I've got eight minutes left on screen. Just because Monica was putting her foot down just before the start of the she show here well. today, I'm not leaving. She said, I know we've run out. I'm staying for these. Is it okay if I stay for your, your star buy? Of course it is, Lovey. Yep. Yeah. You can stay for the star buy. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I, 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 I might need to distance myself from him, though. Okay. Chains, star buy. I've got absolutely no idea what's about to happen. Neither do I. Star buy. Enough for us. Is it? <laughs> Is it? I would have paid £15 for that one. Right, OK. Stop it. Right. Star by with Toby. Oh, gosh. Right, OK. Here we go. So we've got a collection of chains here. Beautiful quality chains. Here. I'm just, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking forward to just almost just seeing what's going on here. A collectiono. I, I, I've literally invited myself to, you the, have, to the party you? here today. <laughs> it is Friday though, isn't it? It is Friday. You it's know. a party, party, party. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a collection here of, uh, is it five chains we're going to be getting here, Neri? Or is it six? Are these six auctions I've just committed myself to here? Because if these needs to be monarchs, it's going to be Ten fuming. chains. Hang on. So you're getting ten chains, no not way. five. Two Ten. chains is enough. Ten. Okay, so we... Oh, my gosh, yes, you're getting ten. Ten! Silver-plated base metal chain bundle. Yeah, okay, so ten chains. King... King... King, I thought it was such a good deal. She took it upon herself to only put half She's... of them out. Kinga. Oh, I Kinga, anyway, you know what, that. Kinga, though, you're right. You're, you're best to oh always my... be cautious. You're always best to be cautious, Kinga, than just, <laughs> you know... Either that or she snaffled them for herself. I don't well, know. Which, which could... I've yeah. heard, you know... So, Frivolous. ten, even the graphics don't know what it is. Ten pieces? I'm ten glad. Ten pieces? See? No one knows. Well, come on. It says 32 grams of base metal there. Okay, yeah, right, okay. So, yeah, there we go. It's ten chains, isn't it? Gosh, my hands aren't even big enough for this. So, you've got here your um, two... There we go. Can I offer you a hand? There we go. I've got, yeah, there you go. There we, go. there we go. Beautiful. So you... There we go, ladies and gents. <laughs> I'll spread these out for you here. Yeah, please do. See, it's a good job I stayed. Look at you. Where would you be without me now? See, there you go. You know go. what I mean? Right, so you've got here <laughs> your two, your two Rollo <laughs> oh, chains here. Stay. Oh, sorry, guys. Gorgeous. There we go. There we go. Two Rollo chains here. You've got your beautiful paper clip inspired chain, very Monica Veneda, beautiful. Um, you've got here your hammer twisted, <laughs> your twisted hammer chain. That sounds like a Friday night, doesn't it? So you've got here your twisted hammer chain um, here. Beautiful quality. I'm loving this diamond cut quality. Stop it, Toby. I'm, and then you've got this gorgeous Figaro chain I'm as just well. Modeling. Beautiful Figaro chain on my glamorous assistant's hand as well. Four. So you get. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I got two left hands. This some, is so. It's <laughs> really putting me off. You are just too. I'm much. sorry. It's I'm, gorgeous. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm being really professional now. Okay, so you get five. You get five of these Figaro chains, I think, and then you get five of these chains here. I think silver-plated base metal. Joe, just get the minutes clock in, Neary. This is just crazy. It doesn't like I have two left hands. And you've been sunbathing with one of them out. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's it, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Here's the clock. Right now, Neary, what are you kind of thinking on price points here? Because of course. 
When we're talking about pendants, how many pendants you own, how many chains you own, how many, if you own, say, 10, uh, 10 pendants, maybe you've only got one chain, maybe you've only got a couple of chains. What's so great about this is, of course, is that you can uh, just have one of your chains for each one, for each one of your pendants. Mm. If you want it, oh, Toby's got his hand up. Just ignore him, Neri, ignore him. Don't bring him in. Can I say one thing? Mm. Did you say 32 grams of silver in here? 32 grams of base metal, silver plated base metal. Ah, okay. okay. So, okay, so just, so just base, but it's still plated, right? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I've got, I've, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've got no idea where you're going to take these here today. Okay. But I would, I would assume on some, I, I'm just guesstimating. Just be careful. Might put could... my foot in it. Mm -hmm. Can we get 10 pieces? If they were, a, if they were at, let's say, a tenner each, £99.99, yep. right? At a trade deal is pretty excellent. Yep, yep, yep. That is, okay, that's all I'm going to say. Right, so this is silver plated base metal. You're getting 10 chains. Let's say, let's for argument's sake say you've got a craft fair that you're going to be doing yeah. and you are selling pendants and you want to be able to sell chains to your customers as well. At what kind of price point would you sell them a silver plated base metal chain? Would it be at £10 a chain? I mean, that's, that's brilliant, isn't it? Right. But we don't know what price point we're going to. I've got no idea. Toby, can I just advise that you don't call the price? Out I, um, you... I've, I've got the hint. I will not be... I will not be... I've got the hint, Carol. I'm just modelling here. I'm just here for modelling purposes. <laughs> just here to try and make... Exactly, yeah, trying to make... You these are making them look good, amazing. Even better than they do look on your hand. Oh, say, oh, OK. You know? Right, there we go. That's it. There we go. You know, I've never been a model before. A pound a chain. A pound a chain. Nine ninety nine for all <laughs> oh. ten chains. Sorry, I missed that. A tenner. <laughs> That's a pound per chain. No. Silver plated base metal chain. Hold on, <laughs> hold on a minute. If you were to buy like a big pick, a big pack of paper clips, you can spend more than a tenner. You know what I mean? He's right. He's absolutely right. He's absolutely you know I'm, right. I'm not, I'm not here to compare this <laughs> okay. with paper clips, but you know what I'm saying, Carol? Big bag of paper clips you or know? ten silver plated base metal chairs. And they're not going to be silver plated, are they? Are they they're nine ninety nine each. I nailed it, right? They're nine ninety nine per No, it's for a, all no, of them. It's a pound per, per chain. One pound per chain. This is why I didn't want him to stay on for this last oh, star bike. Well, no, next time. <laughs> next time. I've been waiting for me a moment to model. I've always been told. I've always been told I had nice it's the hands. Way you're fanning your hand as well. It's Sorry. just kind of no. It's I don't know what I'm panicking. They've got a little bit of stage. <laughs> they've got a little bit of stage fright, and they don't quite know what to do with themselves. Here we go. There we go, guys. Look at this. Call me Edward. <laughs> don't know what to do with my hands. Nine ninety nine. Well done, everybody. This is quite a moment. I I believe this is a a career defining this is what the moment. Do, isn't it? This is what they do. It's a career-defining moment for both of us, Toby. Mm. I think let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Any well, agencies out there, <clears throat> give me a shout if you need a lovely pair of hands. Toby, thank you so much for joining us for the last hour. That is an hour of my life. I'm sorry for disturbing your uh, <laughs> final chain <laughs> It's amazing. OK, we've got our masterclass coming up next with Monica. We don't want to run stunning. into Monica's masterclass. And, uh, we don't want to run over into it. So no. thank you, Toby. Lots of love. My, uh, I'll, this same time next week. We'll see you in a sec. <laughs>Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. I'd like to apologise for the last um, 10 minutes of that hour. Out of control. He was totally out of control, I'm very sorry. I had to wrestle him for the mic and the talk back. On. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> right, masterclass. Oh, we've been so excited about these boxes, haven't we? We have, well, I have. <laughs> these are gorgeous, aren't they? Hang on a minute, I'll get a bit close. I, oh, oh, move Ooh. the entire table then. <laughs> Uh, hang on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Do you want me to bring them closer? Cross-stitch, cross-stitch boxes. These are so sweet. Um, I only saw the, a photograph of them, I think it was yesterday. I just love it. You do love kind of reinventing the wheel, don't you, Monica? <laughs> Look at this! Outside the box. <laughs> Quite literally, <laughs> outside the box, yes. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? You've done such a great job with these. I just, I, I just, yeah, they are, they are such great fun. They're beautiful. This one here, which is the Egyptian inspired kit. Look at this. I've got the strap to go around that one as well, but I'll show you how oh, to. Oh, wow. How to yeah, have it. you done that throughout the show today? I have, yes. Oh, you are so clever. Here we go. Here's the strap. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, you don't have to put a strap around it. Though. Oh, but I think it looks so nice though, doesn't it? It does. It really brings it together with the lid, I think. Mm. It, uh... <clears throat> it really does, doesn't it? That's so, so, so sweet. <gasps> well done, Monica. It was probably a bit upside down there. Anyway, right. So these kits um, come with a pattern as well, which we'll talk about as well. I'll just move that over to you because I don't want to unravel your seed beading. Um, are we going to do the kits first, Neary? Okay. Then we can bring the kits. Okay, here's your pattern that you get with the kit. Presumably, this will be on your. Um, this will be a link on your delivery notes. Is that right, yeah. Monica? It is. It's, it's on the invoice. So um, the easiest way I found to, um, to to find it is to go into your uh -huh. into your account online, 
and then go to your where it says your orders, and then mm -hmm. next to it you'll have a download for your invoice. If you download your invoice, then the link is actually on your invoice under the kit. Uh, so then you just click uh, on it, thanks. and then it takes you to the website because you can just follow the um, the URL that's printed on your printed invoice, uh -huh. but you have to be logged in. So sometimes it you might not be logged in and then you can't see the patterns. So it's easy to okay. go into your account. Yeah, okay, brilliant. So these are the yeah, patterns which you're going to be getting. Really lovely little patterns. You've got a heart shape one there. You've got your Egyptian style ones as well. Um, just some really, really lovely patterns which will fit perfectly onto your gorgeous cross-stitch box. What are you going to be showing us, Monica? Well, I'll, I'll talk you through how to make the whole, whole box because actually Ooh. it's really simple. So, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I can tell you about the whole thing really. Oh Yes, please. Right. So first of all, the way these come packaged, I really love how it's packaged. So I had to bring mine actually in the box. Yes, yeah, I like box. that. So I would keep the box and then keep it in the box. Um, I mean, unless it's on your table. You know, if you're giving somebody as a gift, it's really nice to put mm. it in that box. And then it's wrapped in paper as well. Oh, how lovely. So it's really, nice it's really nice to package. Yeah. Right. Then you have your little box. A little box is made, I think it's made, of, it looks like it's made of MDF, which it is does, really great yeah. because it's strong, but you can also uh, put all sorts of finishes onto it. So you can use your pyrography tool to uh, put patterns on the side of it. You can, uh, you can paint on it. I've just used an ordinary permanent marker to color it in. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, you can use other colors. This one has got some orange on the side, on one side. Mm. My orange marker ran out. Orange. So. <laughs> the orange is so nice. That that It's amazing how well it takes that orange it pen, does. isn't it? It does. I mean, the black as well is so solid. So th that's why I switched to the black. And then mm. the other one was all black because that was the only <laughs> marker I had that hadn't run out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you can do any color that you like. And you can color the whole thing. You can or you can just leave it a natural color. Or you can use things like your mica powders. Or, yes, uh, nice. Your you gem know, art maybe as well. Exactly. All sorts of things. Okay, real. Or you can actually bead around the whole box. So just like I've done the, the strip. You can, you can cover the whole outside of the box with beading. Oh, nice. Okay. You want to. Now, so put the base aside for now because obviously you're only going to bead the top. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I did was obviously <clears throat> first I, I just colored in the section with the holes on it because I didn't know in the beginning what I was going to do with the rest of it. So I just you just go over that just like that with your permanent marker and then leave it for a couple of minutes just to dry so it doesn't rub off on your fingers. But that's what I did really. And obviously you need to do that before your beading. Now, you do have the beading on top, so it covers up a lot of it, but the background color still shows through a little bit. Yeah. So um, if you're going to color it in, um, it'll have a slightly different effect. I mean, if I mm. show you this lid here, you can kind of see uh, the gaps in between the beads. So if I hadn't okay, colored it yeah. in, it, would, it wouldn't be as, as black. Okay. Okay. And then it's just a case of, if you can pass me the pattern, mm. Yeah, lovely. So to attach the beads on the top, so I'm using the kit here with the metallic colours, the gold and the silver. Yes, nice. So this is this this colourway is quite nice because I've done a couple of patterns for the gold and silver, and then a couple for the the black and the gold and the and the white, and then a couple for the Egyptian. Obviously, you can do whatever design you want, and you can swap the colours around as well. But especially with the gold and silver one, it's going to make a big difference what colour background you have. Yeah. So you can put it on a red background, you can put it on a blue background, and it will change the look of it uh, quite significantly. Right. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your little file, uh, your fire line. So use as much as you're comfortable working with. Mm -hmm. And any of your fire lines, because you're working with 8O beads uh, and the box has got quite large holes as well, yeah. you can use any of your fire line or wildfire. You can even use uh, some Ceylon thread or any of the beading threads that oh, we have, brilliant. to be honest okay. with you. Uh, and I've just used a size 10 beading needle. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your thread. And the easiest way I've found to do it is to come up from the bottom through one of the <coughs> holes near a corner. In fact, sorry, go down from the top first, go down from the top. And then I used black thread for the black uh, boxes. If you were using, uh, let's say, this kit here, you might want to use white thread, depending on the background colour. Obviously, you can use colour thread, but you don't see a lot of the thread. So mm -hmm. it's not essential what colour thread you're using. So I've come down through one of the holes. I'm going to go up through the next hole along. Okay. Now, this means that my knot in the thread is going to be at the top. And the reason for that is because if you're at the bottom underneath, it's quite hard to get into the corner there to put a knot in your thread. Uh, so I've put the knot at the top, 
Okay, so just go through two holes sort of adjacent to each other. Don't worry too much about which holes it is, just sort of near one of the corners. And then just tie your thread into sort of a triple knot. And I've yeah. just left enough of a tail that um, I can just tie the knot with really. You're not going to do anything with that tail. Okay, so in fact, I've done three knots. And then all I did was I took the tail <coughs> thread and I took it back through one of the holes that had come up through, put it uh, out the bottom. Okay, it doesn't matter if your knot stays at the top because you can have a bead on top anyway, so you won't be yeah. able to see it. But your tail thread is at the bottom. And then I didn't cut the tail off. I just left it there as I was beading because as you're beading, it's going to sort of get caught up on the back of your little box. And then whatever's left at the end, you can just cut it off. So it kind of holds it a bit more securely that way. Okay, and then you've got your other thread coming out of this hole at the top here. Now, you can do your beads. So let's say we're following this pattern here. Okay, so you can see in the corners I've got a gold, a silver, gold, and then some silvers. Um, so my thread happens to be coming out. Let me just turn it the same way as I've got the pattern there. So I've got my thread coming out sort of next to the second hole here. Okay, so I'm going to start with that one. You can go in rows. It doesn't really matter what order you, you go in you, because you can move around afterwards. So I kind of want to start at the top here, but since my thread is already coming out of the second hole here, I'm going to put a silver one there, and then I'm going to put a gold one up in the corner there. Right? So just pick up your bead, okay, and then you go down, in this case, that second hole from the top. I hope you can still see what I'm doing, even though I've colored it black. <coughs> and then I'm going to come up through the next hole next to it, which is the next one where I want to add a bead. Okay. Now the tail threads come up from the bottom. Try to hold it at the back with your, with your free hand if you can so that that doesn't happen. But if it does, you can just pull it back down. So I'm going to put a gold in the corner. So pick up my gold bead, go back down through the same hole I'm coming up through, just like that. And then I'm going to come up through the next hole along. OK, then I'm going to have a look at my pattern again. So the way I did it at home is I had my board pushed a little bit further away. And then I put my pattern under my board. So I have a, a board with a straight edge. Obviously, I've got a macrame board here. And then I just had my pattern along my board like that. And then each time I finished a row, I pushed it further in. So the top row was always the row that I was working on. So that's an easy way to, do, uh, to follow your pattern. So in this case, then, I've got a gold, a silver, a gold. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six silvers. Right, so I've got my gold here. Next one is silver, so just pick up your silver, go back down to the bottom again, come back up through the next hole. I mean, it's really, really simple. I mean, this is definitely something that children can get involved in because it's Isn't just, it you just know, you do, it's not a beading technique, it's not anything fancy like that. It's just simply adding beads. I remember beads I remember learning kind of very basic cross stitch um, yeah. uh, gosh when I was I must have been about seven or eight and just being totally engrossed with it it's it, it's so lovely isn't it, it is kind of like cross stitch except I think it's even easier than cross stitch because you don't have to be neat about how you put your stitches exactly and like that you just add a bead and your beads although mm. when you're actually working on it it looks like your beads are all kind of wonky and all over the place um, if you have a look at that I don't know if we can zoom really close in oh, I don't know we'll have a um, it look. looks like your beads are sort of wonky, but once you once you look at the overall effect, you don't see that. Um, yeah. It kind of looks like a, you know, that's how they're supposed to be. Yes. And if you wanted to, you could make sure that all your beads were facing the same way, but that's that was a little bit too finicky for mm -hmm. me. So, <laughs> and I think it looks great yes. just like that. It does. It's lovely. Okay, so that's all I did um, for the top, uh, and then you just carry on until you finish the entire top section, um, and then what I did was. Um, the side of it, so if I put the lid on, uh, let me get, oh, I need yeah, that lid. <laughs> Sorry. So once you finish the whole lot, okay, so I just went along in rows and rows until it was all finished. And then on the sides, what I thought was, it would be nice to put a bit of extra embellishment on the side as well. So <coughs> I measured the lid, so I coloured in the side of the lid, just with my black um, uh, permanent marker, as I, said. Yeah. as I said, you can paint it, you can do whatever you like with it. Uh, and then I, I measured this, uh, line here and I measured out the same line at the bottom so I colored that in in black as well yeah and then what I did was I made a strap so this is my strap for the other box which I just did uh, double drop peyote now it doesn't matter what <coughs> stitch you use you can do double drop peyote 
so on the other box I drew some of some of these uh, Egyptian Ankh symbols as well. <coughs> it kind of goes with the with the top as well. So I've got the Egyptian. These are meant to be lotus flowers. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but oh yes, yeah, something like that. Sweet. Um, so I just drew those on the side. I just measured out uh, the spacing evenly, and then I just drew them freehand with a pencil, and then went over it again with my permanent marker. But you could do some really nice pyrography on here. You could use stencils. You could put stamping on there. You could do whatever you like. You could put glitter on there. <coughs> Actually, with the Egyptian one, with this one, it would be really nice if I if I painted the whole box gold. Uh, so that would look oh, really nice as well. that would be nice, yeah. Okay, and then the strap, I made a little bit narrower than the stripe underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay, So in this case, I've done eight beads across, but I've done double drop peyote. So if you look at the end where I was working here. So it's the same as your single drop peyote. It's just uh, two beads at a time, but you can do single drop peyote. You can do... Um, uh, your loom work on there, you can do anything, oh, yes, of course. anything you like um, as far as your, your beading. All you need to do is make <coughs> a strip which is long enough to go all the way around. Okay, which in this case will be 40 centimeters because your box is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to stick that on there, I just used some ordinary double sided tape, which I know we've had on Hobby, Hobby Maker. Yeah, we have. Um, so you can get it from there. Um, and then all it's I did... essential for card making. Oh yeah, definitely. And I saw these little handy sort of... Um, Foam. Machines that, that they use for the uh, for putting on the double-sided tape. Oh really? Yeah, so you don't have to bother with sort of opening it up off the roll. It just it works like a pen. Oh yes, I've seen them. Yeah. Yes, and they do that with it. Oh I need yeah. To get one of those. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> and then you just stick your double-sided tape on here. So while I do this all the way around, I didn't do, I didn't go all the way up to the corners. You want to leave a bit of gap. What have I done with my scissors? I don't know. Are so you want to leave a little bit of a gap on the ends when you put your tape on, mm. uh, because you want there to be a little bit of space for movement on your beads, especially when you get to the point where you're joining yeah. uh, your, your beads mm. at the end. Because obviously, if you're doing peyote stitch, you want to uh, finish your rows. Can you see on this end, I've got my sticking out beads yes. there and there. On the other end, I've got my in beads at the top so that they kind of slot together mm -hmm. like that, mm. okay? Um, so I'm just going to put the tape all around, if Carol wants to show you one of the kits while I do that. Yes, definitely. Right, so we've got four gorgeous kits to do. Um, they've all got kind of different themes to them, but they really are stunning. We're going to start off with this kit here, which has got not one or two, but three loads of galvanized seed beads. Um, <clears throat> this really is incredible. Now, whenever we bring you a seed bead which is galvanized, i.e. it's had a metallic um, effect added to it, it massively increases the price point, um, uh, uh, the manufacturing costs of the seed beads. So to be able to bring you uh, three tubes of these galvanized seed beads. And of course, you've got your, um, you've got your gorgeous cross stitch uh, trinket box as well, which comes to, I love the fact it comes wrapped in paper as well as in the box. Yeah. I think that's just adorable. Um, it, it's, just, it's just absolutely awesome. So all of your seed beads will be size eight O's. Um, it's a really, really lovely way, I think, to get into seed beading and get used to using seed beads. But as Monica has said, it's not strictly a seed bead technique that, that, that you're going to be doing kind of over the over the kind of the um, uh, the lid on this. This is just very, very simple kind of stitching your beads onto this kind of gauze like top. Um, <clears throat> and it's the kind of thing, as Monica quite rightly says, that if you're a beginner or if you want to give this to someone younger to make their own trinket boxes with, it's a great little project to do maybe over the summer holidays or something like that to be able to put little um, little memories in, little trinkets of maybe the, uh, of, a, of, of a family holiday or a trip away somewhere. Um, it's just, it's gorgeous. And, it's, and it is such a well-made box as well. £24.99 for the whole kit. So you've got your three loads of galvanized seed beads wow. and you've got your trinket box as well for £24.99. <clears throat> Maker and Wrexham, Nikki, Pauline, Yvonne, Angela, Donna, well done to you, my lovelies. Lots and lots of people coming through to get this. It's gorgeous. And it is, you know, when you've got such a great quality um, uh, box like you've got here, you, you know, you feel that you can start to upcycle it yourself and make it really bespoke and make it really lovely and personalized exactly. and use your pyrography tool. Um, here's the gold, um, it's got the gold and the, no, it doesn't even have the silver. It's, um, this comes from one of the other kits, but you can see the gold in there. 
But of course, what you'll be able to make with this will be kind of really, really, really embellished. It'll be absolutely gorgeous. And I can imagine with the gold and the silver, you're going to make um, something which looks really beautifully. Um, I mean, it's going to look so indulgent, isn't it? I mean, the black and the gold and silver look great, but this is going to look so, so, so indulgent. OK, we've got a 60 second clock. We're not done at this price point. We're going to give you a lower price point. Using gold and silver coloured uh, kind of galvanised sea beads is a real indulgence, isn't it, um, oh, it Monica? Is. It is. <clears throat> You've got as well your pattern, your free pattern with this kit as well. Of course, you get the details of that on your uh, dispatch um, uh, invoice, and you've got your eye of Ra. You've got your um, you've got your Egyptian symbols here. I really, really like these as well. I think these are lovely symbols to you, um, uh, lovely patterns uh, to follow. Um, interesting as well what Monica said about utilising the loom maybe to create a, a smaller band to go around the bottom of the uh, box as well. 19 seconds and the price point is going to go down. We're doing these for as low a price as, 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 we, as we possibly can. So nice to have something so different on Jewelry Maker as it well. Is, yes, and, and you can use your seed beading techniques, as I said before, or you can just <clears> do <throat> the lid and then you, you don't have to know anything about seed beading, really. Yes. Uh, any of your stitches, oh, wow. so you can use your right angle weave stitches on the bottom as well. Uh, it doesn't matter what stitch you use to make this band at the bottom, so anything that you would use uh, to make a bracelet or anything like that. If you use the same beads as you have on the lid, Amazing. it's all going to tie in together. Yeah, definitely. Fourteen ninety nine for your kit today. Janice, Maker, Mary, Julie, Denise, Shirley, Pauline, Maker. Well done to you. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence for the lot. So that is what you know, a fiver per tube of seed beads, and then you get the, the box, box for free, free, basically, wow. which is amazing. <laughs> it's so well made. It's so nice and sturdy. And as yeah. you say, the uh, the MDF which it's made out of is super super hard wearing. But of course, it's so easy to use with your permanent markers, with your chalk paints, with your um, various other paints, with your gem art with your glitters it's absolutely fantastic even if you want to kind of um, um stick um photographs or pictures on here as well and then maybe put a lovely varnish over the yeah. top of it as well It'd be yeah. so 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 nice yeah. lovely idea i think to make something like this for someone's birthday present you know it's a really lovely personalized gift well done 14.99 well done put somebody's initials in the top as well oh you know, that's a lovely idea if you want to do make your own pattern it's just a, a set of squares so if you have um square paper you know with squares drawn of course on, yeah color in your pattern on there and work out your letters or initials yes. or, or maybe like a crest or anything like that, that oh yeah it's a lovely idea or someone's yeah. football um uh, team colors yeah. um yeah definitely you know with father's day coming up as well if any kind of sporting um, any kind of um, sporting memorabilia or, 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 or indeed flags maybe or yep, you know yes. whatever uh, are you going through the same hole that you come out that uh, you come up through does yes. the bead not fall through the hole it doesn't because the holes um, are much smaller than the bead I mean if I try ah. to put a, a bead on top of a hole there yeah see the bead is larger than the hole yeah yeah so you do you come up through a hole you add a bead you go back down through the same hole uh -huh. uh, and it won't go through because the bead is larger than the hole. It, and it'll sit on its side, in fact, so you don't see the hole at the top through the bead. You see the side of your bead. Um, ah. Ms. So, Janice says, yeah. fab kits and beautiful work, Monica. So you, you could also use the technique for brooches, etc. Fab fun show, just what I needed today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Janet. It's a really lovely message to send in. Yep. Just to let you know as well, the silver and the gold coloured um, um, sea beads are all exactly the same size. Yep. They're all ATOs that you're going to be getting here. But I, I like the idea of using them for the brooch tops. Uh, yes. You know, like uh, the sieve ones we've done before. The tags that we have in the other kits. Ah, in the other kits, yes. You can make those into brooches quite easily. So the next kits that we've got have got tags with them as well. Um, so that's fourteen ninety nine for that. Well done, everybody. Should we do the next kit? As well. Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. And then we can really focus on the demo as well. Which one should we do? The black and silver and gold kit? Brilliant. OK. So this comes with... All the kits come with the box. All the kits come with um, Ato seed beads. And all of the kits come with your pattern as well. Um, this kit has not only got the boxes, but it's also got these beautiful little tags. I love these. Yeah. My kids are at an art club today. And this is exactly the kind of thing which I'm expecting them to come home with today. You know, something which they've sat down and they've stitched, they've made themselves. They're going to be doing some tie dye and stuff like that. Yeah. And being able to kind of just have loads of fun. And, uh, and, 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 it, and it's easy to do. It's manageable. Um, and, you know, Christmas decorations, um, little door hangers. I love little hangers like this for kind of draw knobs and things like exactly. that. They're so sweet, aren't they? 
and you were saying about the tie dyeing. I mean, the, the tags or even the bro box probably you could put into your tie dye dye. Yes, that's a good idea. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not the box because it might absorb too much liquid. But I think the tags. The might tags work. might work. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So with this kit, you've got your Atos in black, in silver lined crystal, and you've got it in. Um, you've got it in uh, gold as well. The really, really lovely colours here. You have got the box. You have got the free pattern, and you've got the tags as well. Now I don't know how we can do this. Because this is crazy. This really is crazy. Um, but we can do this. Just do it, Neary. Because th 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 this makes no sense whatsoever. I've got no idea how we can do this. Just, just go for it. Enjoy. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Matchy, matchy, 14 99 wow. And you're getting the three tags as well. I think maybe it's because, you know, you've got two galvanised... Well, no, you've got one galvanised tube of sea bead. You know, and the whole galvanisation process, you know, does, it, does, it does add on. Um, uh, kind of um, uh, money to how much it costs to create these, you know, a, a, a cost of some description onto the um, uh, creating the seed beads. But, you know, amazing that we're able to do this. And here's your free pattern as well, which is just lovely. And of course, the free patterns, um, those, the heart, the square, and the, uh, and the circular one at the bottom fit perfectly onto your tags there, which are just so lovely. Gorgeous, being able to make little Christmas decks maybe for these. Oh, yeah. They're so pretty. And it's amazing how, how you, just using a permanent marker, how that really does colour that MDF. It's amazing, isn't it? it? It's still so bright. Yeah. Yeah. For 15 pounds, we're just giving stuff away for free now, aren't we? Because Basically, honestly, yeah. Honestly, I challenge anybody to find a galvanised gold tube of size 8 in my Yuki seed beads for less than five pounds. Yeah. Um, um, it's, you know, it's, just, so it's just brilliant, isn't it? But, yeah. Right. Monica, why don't, you, um, why don't you get going again with your demo and then we'll do the last two kits towards the end of the hour. Okay, so then to attach the band, so I made the band long enough to go all the way around and then I've, as I said before, I've put my uh, double-sided tape on there mm -hmm. and then all I did was I just pulled off the paper from one side of my double-sided tape mm -hmm. and then the way I've done this pattern here, you could do whatever pattern you wanted on the side like here, that, to be honest yeah. with you. Um, is I've sort of changed the, the angle of the slant in the middle here. So I want that bit to be in the middle. And the patterns I've drawn on there, I've got a middle, middle point here. So I can just align it with that. So just stick it on there with your double-sided tape, just like that. Then go around to the next side. Oh, and then, okay. And then take off your next double-sided tape. Attach that again. You want to stretch it a little bit so that this lines up with the middle in this case. Depending on how long you made your band, you might have to stretch it a little bit, you might not have to stretch it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And then back to the other side. So take off my next piece of tape. Oh, I did start them earlier, so that, there we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. That's some Somebody We've had some suggestions covering the uh, covering the box with small gemstones. I mean, even the peyote strip, you can do that with the, your three millimeter gemstones as well. Well, I'm just thinking you could do it with the deal of the day today, couldn't exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. Very, very nice. Okay, and then I've got my end here. Oh, it's come up too long. Maybe I counted something wrong. I think I might have done an extra couple of rows here. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you test it out before you fit yes. it on there. I like what I've done. But never, <laughs> nevertheless, you need to finish, as I said, uh, so that it lines up at the end, and then you just stitch it closed. So my thread is coming out of my in beads on that side, and then you just zip it up like I've shown a few other things before where you zip up the ends of your peyote stitching. So you just go through the sticking out beads on both sides, just like that. And if you've measured your strip correctly, which it looks like I haven't done, but I'll double check that in a minute. That looks close enough to me, Monica. <laughs> Gee whiz. I think we're splitting beading thread here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bad, bad, bad. Sorry. Bad. Right, so that zips it up. And then what I like to do is I take the stopper bead off my start, uh -huh. of my beading, and then I've got my tail thread and my working thread here, and I just tie them into um, a double knot. Uh huh. And then I work my threads, both my threads in. Obviously, you would have taken the double-sided tape off, I just haven't taken it off here because I need to shorten this side a little yeah. bit. So I don't want to stick okay. it on just yet. But uh, so that's how you would add on your, your strap. So you can see on the other side, it looks good. Okay. And then one other thing that I did, if I show you the tags. Oh, so I did horrible. exactly the same thing on the tags. 
right? So I colored in, obviously the tag, I colored in the back as well mm. because it's, you're gonna, it's gonna flip around so you might see the back as well. Uh, so all I did on the tag, I did exactly the same thing, except when I was finished, because I used white thread on the tag. And so what it did was after I finished, I took my permanent marker and I colored in the threads as well. Mm. So I went over the threads because the, the crystal and the white wildfire and fire line can be colored with your permanent markers. Oh, brilliant. So I went over it so you can't see the thread on the back. Cool. Um, another thing that you could do, um, but you'd have to have a thread color that matches your, your base color. So if you colored it in black and then you use black thread, what you could mm. do is you could bead onto the back of it as well. Oh, so then you'd have a double sided double one. Double sided. Yeah, the only reason that, uh, that you have to have a matching thread in that case, because if you imagine, if you've got your beads on there, there are gaps between your beads. So you'll yeah. be able to see the thread on this side and you'll see the thread on, on the other side. side. I mean, yeah. you could, uh, I suppose what you could do is, is come up, go through a bead, go back again, and then go through the bead on the other side, but you still have to travel along to the next hole. Uh, so you would see, at least on one side, you would see some of the thread in between your beads. So in that case, you'd have to use a, a matching color thread. Or you could just do it the way I've done it and finish one side and then do the other side in the same way. Perfect. Okay. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, the only other thing I did on this box was I drew lines um, just with a pencil and a ruler. I measured out uh, one centimeter gaps in between the lines and then I drew lines with a ruler. You could color these in if you have a gold pen or a silver pen or something like that, you could have I could have colored those in. Um, as well, so whatever pattern you want to put on the side, but I mean it looks nice just as it is if you if all you did was just bead onto the top You know even that looks really good. And I've well. got gold and silver pens at home that I write my Christmas cards with yeah. That'd be perfect. You could paint the inside of the box as well. That yes. would be nice yes. Oh, you could get some uh, some felt and stick it inside the box. Oh cute. What yeah. a lovely idea So beautiful such a such a gorgeous um, such a gorgeous gift to give to somebody. And again, it's one of those things, again, a bit like the water bottle, you know, the kind of gift you give to somebody who's got everything, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you could colour the thread yeah. with marker before you start. Yeah, I suppose you, you could. could. Yes. Would you need yes. to leave it to I've dry actually shown how to do that before with a, oh, with a permanent marker, yes. Oh, well done. So you can, your white thread, you can colour it beforehand. Yes, that's true. Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Aren't they sweet? They're gorgeous, aren't yeah. they? Um, We've got um, two more kits. So we're going to do, the, is it the pinky one next? Oh, this is the Egyptian one. This is what like an Egyptian. I love so this kit. Here, yeah. I love, I love, 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 love these colours. So you've got the box. You've got the three tags. Okay. You've then got your free pattern as well, uh, which is this one here. And then you've got all your... I'll put those down there. Otherwise, I'll have to end up holding them. And then you've got your seed beads. All eight O's again. And these are so Egyptian inspired. I love them. You've got your silver lined orange, which is gorgeous. Look at that. That is so fiery. Beautiful. You've then got that wonderful opaque turquoise. Look at that. Lovely. And then you've got your gorgeous kind of almost lapis lazuli. It's called transparent cobalt uh, blue. Gorgeous, like Bristol glass. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful colours there. It's so exotic, isn't it? This it colour combination. Is. I, I mean, really orange, love it. The orange really stands out, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Just, yeah. I just love it. Lots of people coming through. Fourteen ninety nine, matchy matchy the price. Oh, that way up. There we go. Perfect. I mean, you do have enough beads there in the in the in the kit. The three tubes will be enough to do the top, the band around the edge, and you'll still be able to do your three tags with it as well. Oh, really? Mm. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of beads. I mean, it, it, it's incredible, isn't it? You look at these tubes of beads, and it's very difficult to quantify actually how many of the beads you actually get. But that's yeah. wonderful to know that you've got enough beads in these three tubes here to be able to do the lid, yeah. the bottom band and the three tags as well. That's I mean, been so you, well thought out. I had out. that much left over after doing the box. Oh, so oh gosh, you've got loads so left over. Plenty to do the um, yeah, that's tags. brilliant. See, that's brilliant, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Uh, Angela, Tracy, Maker, Wendy, Jeanette, Maker, Jane, Angela, Michelle, Nikki, Debbie, Elaine, Donna, Maureen, Shalini, Maker, Angela. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous opportunities for you today for £14.99. Well done, everyone. That's just brilliant. Love that. I think that's absolutely brill. Well done, everybody. More people coming through. That's great. Well done. Just think a lovely little project maybe to do. Um, over the course of maybe a weekend. It's not going to take hours and hours and hours to do, and I think that's what's so nice about these, it isn't is, it? Yeah. Um, if I have a couple more minutes, 
Yes. There's one more thing that I can show you how to do quickly. Of course, Lovey. Obviously, one thread isn't going to be enough to do all of the beading on the lid. Right. Um, but because you're using big beads and you've got big holes, it's really easy to join the thread uh, if you run out, or, well, when you run out of thread, because you're definitely going to run out of thread. So I'm just going to cut my thread here. Oh, Julie, that's such a lovely message. I'm not a seed beater, but I'm going to give this a go. Thank you, oh. says Julian warmly. Thank you, I'd love lovely. To see, I'd love to Gorgeous. see everybody's pictures of these when they've done them. So when you've run out of thread, I think you can see it probably best on top of the box. So there's my thread. Here's my new thread. Okay, so all you're going to do is you're going to tie it into an overhand knot and then another one. Okay, so you've got two knots on top of each other. And then just pull it until your knot goes tight, okay? Now, at this point, your knot slides around. If you pull this, it's going to slide. So that's exactly what you want. So now you're going to take your thread zapper. I'll do it above the black because then you can see it. And you're going to melt the end of your fire line or wildfire. It works with fire line or wildfire. It doesn't work with um, your seal on nylon Hot type threads. Yeah. So it works with your wildfire and your fire line. So just make a little blob at the end. So just big enough that you can feel it. Um, in this case, you can make it a little bit bigger even because you're not going to have an issue with the, the blobs going through the, the beads because you're using size 8 beads. But this method works even if you're using size 11 beads as well. So I'm doing the same on the other end. Uh, you can't use this method for 15 o beads because you're not going to get it through the 15 o beads. Ah, right, okay. But for 11s and 8s or 6s, it's perfect. So I've got blobs on both of my little short ends of my thread. <laughs> Technical term there. Technical term, yes. <laughs> and then you just pull your thread until those little blobs <coughs> go into the knot. Okay, so you've got one tiny little knot there that is super strong. Oh, fantastic. And then in this case, you can just carry on with your beading like this because you can see, I mean, compared to the, the size of the, the hole in the bead. Yeah. Um, that knot is, is very tiny. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. So it'll easily go through the hole in the box and through the bead. Mm. If I was using 11 o beads and I use this method, the only other thing I usually do is if I take my flat nose pliers and I just squish this little knot with my flat nose pliers yeah. just to flatten it a little bit. That makes it ever so slightly smaller. Yeah. Makes it easier for it to go through your 11 o seed beads. Mm. And that's it, really. And then when you're finished, at the back, I just went under one of the existing threads. I tied a half hitch knot, went under another thread, a couple of half hitch knots, and then cut off the thread at the end just to finish it off. So you only need to start and finish once because you can join your thread in um, and do it that way. Clever, Monica. And that's it, really. Ah, <laughs> you're so clever. We've got one final kit to do. Um, not wanting to kind of outdo ourselves, but totally outdoing ourselves here. We've got here... Same kit, as in the fact you're going to be getting the gorgeous box. You've got the three tags. You've got your free pattern. And you've got three loads of 80 seed beads. These are lovely. Okay, so you've got pink lined crystal. Lovely. Opaque turquoise. What is this? Metallic dark blue iris. That's a yes. gorgeous colour, isn't it? So those it? are the colours I used to do the, uh, the tags. The with. tags, yes, you can see. They're really lovely, aren't they? Look at that. Those colours are stunning, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. And you can see them in the tags here, actually. And, and you've used them, uh, you've used them on your, um, in your pattern as well. Yeah. Have a look at them in the tags there. They're gorgeous. There you go. Oh, so we're going to completely outdo ourselves here. Ooh. We shouldn't be doing this, but Neri has said in my shell-like ears, we've got a bigger quantity of this kit. Let's do this. So it's not going to be $14.99 today. We're actually going to be taking it lower because we can, because we love you. Here we go. $12.99. It's <laughs> such a great deal, isn't it? And do you know what, Monica? I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, when I go into shops like the works and things like that, where you get lots of kind of crafting essentials and things like that. And I know that any box that I get, uh, you know, that I'm going to be able to do this with, it's not going to be the same kind of quality. And just for the box alone, yeah. just for the box on its own, you'd be lovely. I'd, I'd, I'd expect to pay between 10 and 12 pounds. Yeah. But you're getting the whole kit today yeah. for 12.99, which is absolutely yeah. brilliant, isn't it? Well done. And it does cross over beautifully, I think, into, into Hobby Maker as well. It really it does. does with all the lovely crafting and all the yeah. gorgeous things you'll be able to do with these. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Well done, everyone. And just a really good, fun thing to be able to do to get your eye in, of course, with your seed beads, but also with things like your, your basic stitching as well, your basic kind of cross stitch. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. But also your gemstones as well. And you can put larger gemstones on mm. them because you don't, have to, you don't have to put a bead on every hole. 
Yeah, Use good call. Use larger yeah. to cover up some of the holes. It doesn't matter. You don't have to put a bead on every hole. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely so like, right. Like, for example, the heart, you could put some larger gemstones around sort of the outer, outer, the very outer edge. You could um, thread some gemstones onto there. Or the outer uh, line of beads you could replace with some larger gemstones. Or you could just do fewer beads on there and put like your six millimeter rounds. Or you could put, you could put your, um, you know, sometimes we have like the wheels in gemstones or we have like the saucer beads. Mm. So you could come up through like a saucer bead and put a little seed bead on top and then go back down Ooh. so that you have them lying flat. What a lovely idea. Yeah, so there's all sorts of things you oh, can do Oh, they look so these. interesting, wouldn't they, like that? That would be absolutely gorgeous. I've got a load of seed beads here, actually. If you have a little look at these. So we've got a big kind of bumper pack of seed beads here. Keep coming through for that. OK, three loads of 80 seed beads and you've got galvanized gold, black and uh, you've got your gorgeous um, white Ceylon, which is like a seed pearl. I mean, it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. It's such a popular color of seed bead, probably the most popular color yeah. that we have, isn't it? Especially for anything bridal. I mean, that one's yeah. one that you, you want to use if you're making any bridal jewelry. Definitely yeah. sewing things onto sewing things onto bridal gowns or shoes or bags, maybe. Um, and on, on, on this incredible um, uh, box as well, on this blank, I just think it's going to look, if you do someone's initials or, or, or something like that, or beautiful silver wedding bells or something, oh, you know, yeah. on top of a box, like this it's just you know using using these kind of colors here that's just gonna look gorgeous or a lucky horseshoe or something you know for uh, for someone's uh, for someone's wedding that's just gonna look stunning isn't it so it's your three pack of um, seed beads that you're going to be getting here not to mention which Monica these are really useful seed bead colors to have aren't they, they? Are, um, definitely that's your basic basic colors isn't it yeah, yeah. absolutely for sure all the way down, Janet Maker, Irene Maker, Maker, seven ninety nine. Gosh, that's really low, Neary. That's the price for one tube. I know. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's amazing. How how can you do these for seven ninety nine, Neary? A bundle bonanza, he's saying. That's absolutely right. sensational. Mary and Jerry Maker, well done to you, Michelle. Pauline, well done to you, Jean, as well. Gabrielle, this is absolutely fantastic. Well done, Gerati, as well. Leanne, Tony. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. And, you know, your, your, your black for definition and creating kind of eyes or outlines of things. Yeah. Your gold, just because it's a lovely kind of almost like a precious metal accent. And then your, and then your white cell on either for, uh, you know, clouds, flowers, backgrounds or anything kind of remotely bridal or christening like. You know, this is absolutely perfect. Isn't and of it? course, especially if you're just starting out with seed beading, um, anything because the size 11 is the size that you use normally for your seed beading. Yes. But all of the designs that you do with the size 11 beads, you can do with size 8 beads. Yes, OK, so you're yeah. Starting out, or even if you're not starting out, but uh, you're having trouble seeing the size 11 seed yeah. beads, or you just don't like the tiny little beads, you can do all the designs. You can do peyote stitch, all the stitches that you, you have, you can do with your size 8 uh, beads as well. I'll show you as well the patterns that come with the kits, because these patterns here, particular, and, and, and uh, well, any of these four actually would work particularly well with the seed beads we're just bringing to you, actually, because yeah. of course you've got that black, you've got that kind of gold, and then you've got the white as well, which would, which would just be absolutely gorgeous. I think that would look really nice with that kind of pearlized finish on it as well. Gorgeous. Well done. Seven ninety nine for you today. Well done. That is a brilliant deal any day of the week, but particularly when you've got such useful colours as well. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Well done. Gorgeous. OK, so next, I've got some more seed beads here. Is that right? Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, black opaque, galvanized gold, and then opaque red. Oh, now that's a proper red. Yes. Now that oh, looks red. kind of like, I don't know, like if I had some really lovely carved jade or something inside a box, oh, that, yeah. that would be the kind of box, you know, that would be the kind of lid that I'd want to put on the box, you know, do some lovely seed beading on there. That would just be gorgeous. Really imperial colours here, aren't they? They look great together, don't they? And red is so hard to find in anything, to be honest with you, proper, so, proper red. So that's it, isn't it? Yeah. So red seed beads, as I understand it, are pretty much the most expensive seed beads to, uh, to make. The, the colour of them is very difficult to achieve. There are lots of different um, uh, ways in which, in which um, well, no, when, when your seed beads are made, there's lots of different processes which they go through. But you tend to start off with, say, white, and then you go slightly yeah. darker into grey, and then all of the other colours 
between that and black, but red is, is, is just a really expensive colour and um, pigment to create. Here we go. Oh, it's called Chinese Lantern. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. 7 99 Vanessa, Susan, Tony, Anne, Janice, Pauline, uh, Maureen. And you would not believe how hard red seed beads are to get yeah. hold of um, uh, around Christmas time. And most of the time, most of the time when you find red seed beads, they're going to be the silver lined red seed beads. Yes. Which, great. which we had earlier on. Yeah, in your kits. Um, in, your, in the red. nine o'clock kits and those two braces oh, yeah, yeah. there. Uh, yeah. So, so the silver lined red, which is, which is lovely. Which is it's, that yeah, it's really there. lovely. But if you want something that's a bit more sort of a solid colour, more yeah. opaque colour, more opaque, then that red is the perfect red for Christmas or for anything else, really. Uh, yeah. And that one is much harder to find than the silver lined red. Yes, exactly. It, isn't that interesting? And, and, and as Monica says, it is opaque red. There's no kind of like, oh, it's a pinky red or it's an orangey no, it's red. A it's a proper, definite proper red. red. <laughs> yeah. And I know we kind of we are kind of really reiterating that a lot, but it is very, very difficult for us to get hold of red sea beads particularly come Christmas time and particularly in this one here. Gorgeous, Seven ninety nine. Well done, everybody. This is absolutely brilliant. Now, I've got something else which I, mm, which you might want to use on top of these boxes, something a little bit different. Um, it's a beautiful shell pearl storage box. It's a little idea just to kind of sow that seed and it's a star buy. idea it, it doesn't we don't have to hello hello we don't have you don't have to do this but um i just we were looking we were looking at these earlier on we we're saying like trinket boxes and yeah. i i love i've got little boxes at home which i've got inside inside the boxes i've got little shells which i've picked up on beaches um, bits of sea glass and things like that. And my, and my daughters have both got, they're six and eight, and they've both got little boxes like this, which are just crammed full of a lovely stone or, you know, something from their holiday or a really dried old monkey flower that they yeah. picked for me or whatever, you know, they made a <laughs> yeah. daisy chain or something. And it's all, you know, it's just, but it's a little collection and little boxes like this mean the world to people. Um, here's an idea for you. I don't know whether this is going to work, Monica, so I don't know. I don't know whether... If, I, 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 I don't know. But you've got here a seashell, a seashell full of shell pearls. Now, let's have a look, shall we? You've got in here a load of findings as well, which I'll, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is a really cute little box. I really like this. You've got your classic white shell pearl, your classic silver shell pearl your classic ivory, and it is definitely an ivory. I'll put it next to the white and you'll see how different they are. You can see the difference between the two there. Your um, beautiful lavender shell pearl and your slightly darker shell pearl as well. Could I use these with this box, Monica? You could, I'm just looking for, I don't want to cut off one of those strands. I yes. I brought some of my shell pearls that we had in the morning. Kit, oh, which is fantastic. That would be so amazing. I can, show, I can show you. That would be absolutely brilliant because I reckon that this would make the most cool. I mean, obviously, you're not going to go through every single every single hole in the box, are you? But it's just an idea. I just thought maybe, maybe, maybe it would work. Now, with these shell pearls, you're also going to be getting a load of these. These are head pins. Now, these are the absolute essential if you're going to be making things like bubble bracelets bubble earrings, bubble rings, things like that. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous. And these are all silver plated base metal. You get 50 of your silver plated base metal head pins. By all means, by all means, use your head pins for another project. Keep this and put your gorgeous findings in here. Um, and use these with these boxes. I just think it's a, I just think it's a nice, a nice idea. Now, Monica, is yeah. it gonna work? So I've come up through one of the holes. I've skipped one hole next to um, my seed beads. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to see, well, I suppose there's two ways you could attach your shell pearls. So you can either go through your shell pearl. Mm. Oh, of course, now the knot I made. Right. There we go. It still goes through your shell pearl. Yes. And then you can either put a bead on top. So you can, you can put a bead on top. Let's try that. Shall yeah, we? let's see, then, how, see if that works. And then go back down. Nine seconds, the price point's going to be coming in. This might work, it might not work, and it's just an idea. And we thought, well, stuff it, why not? Have a go. A shell pearl box. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. I love that. <laughs> price oh, point? 
1999. There you go. 1999 for your five strands. Uh, sorry, yeah, for your, your five strands, your 50 headpins, and your seashell box as well. The other oh, way. Lovely. The other way I thought you could attach it is. You don't have to go back through the same hole that you came up through. Yeah. So if you don't want to put a bead on top, you can come up through a hole and then you can have a look and see how big your pearl is. So this pearl, oh, my knot isn't going through. The knot is. Oh, there we go. The knot is. But you can see how strong the knot is because I really had to pull yes. it to get it through. So this pearl is about the size of two rows of your hole. So you, okay. can, go, you can skip a hole and go down the next one. Yeah, and that's um, it. And so you can attach it. Just like that. I don't know. I quite like it with the bead on top. I think so that looks I, adorable with the bead on top. Yeah. So you could do that. You could. Maybe just one, maybe just one like row one around row around the edge. Uh, yeah. The edge, yeah. Yeah. But I think that would work. I, I think, why not? You know, in for a penny, in for a pound. If you're going to be, if you're going to be doing your seed beading and uh, or using your gemstones on top of on top of boxes like this, why not go? You know, why not go all out and start putting yep. pearls or shell pearls Ooh. on top of them? Yes. Gorgeous. 19.99. You've got your five strands of shell pearl. You've got your 50 silver plated base metal um, headpins. And then, of course, you've got your gorgeous um, seashell box as well, your little storage box as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. Maker, well into you, Susan, Sheila, Maker in Angus and Carmarthenshire, Susan in Warwickshire. That's great to see. Well done, everyone. That's so lovely, isn't it? Lovely little star by there. And of course, you've got so many colours of seed beads in these within these kits to put with to put with these yeah. uh, shell pearls as well, haven't you? That's gorgeous, well done. Or you could even do sort of a little dangle of shell pearls at the bottom of your tag. Oh, like that, you know? nice idea. Now, speaking of the tags, we've actually, we can actually do the tags on the own. We've had a couple of people oh. asking if we can do the box on their own. We can't, unfortunately, we just don't have the stock. But we could do the tags on their own. Ah. So I, um, the kind of parties which are big at the minute and kind of lots of people are, um, uh, throwing these kind of parties to their kids, are kind of parties where you make your own party bag fillers, basically. Uh, so you'll go to a party and you'll sit down and you'll and you'll and you'll colour these, or you might want to use your pyrography tool. You might want to use, get you know get your paints out, get your glitter, um, your metallic pens, whatever you might want to do, and then you make your own. You make your own little tags and then you take them away with you. Really lovely, quite a quick project to do something, just a bit of fun. Now you've got here three different shapes. You've got your square, your, <coughs> excuse me, you've got your square, you've got your round, and you've got your heart shape as well. Um, these are such lovely little things. And also they will pack really flat into an envelope. So if you want to send somebody a card, a birthday card, or a thinking of you card, whatever it might be, uh, and you want to put these inside the card, um, it's not going to, it's hardly going to weigh anything. And it's, and you know, you'll be able to pop it inside your envelope with your card and it's, you'll just be able to put it um, put a normal first class stamp on it and it should be able to go no problem at all. Just a, and a lovely little, a lovely little yep. thought. Oh, you could take off the, um, the thread that it's hanging from mm. and just bead onto it and then use it as a card topper. Oh, that, yeah, that's a lovely oh, idea. Inside a tape, stick it on the front of a card. What a gorgeous idea. Yes, that's so sweet. Two ninety nine. Well done. Whoa, there's millions of you coming through. Well done. At two ninety nine, that's just gorgeous, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Oh, 0800, six triple four, six triple five. Jane's got two loads. Maker and Kamathish has got three. Shirley's got two. Denise has got two. Well done. Maker and Five's got four. Well done. They're about to sell out. Well done at two ninety nine. Gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Well done. Super duper. Still some stock left on the kits if you want to add those onto your order as well. They are just gorgeous. And I just love all the different colours that we've been able to do as well with these. Yeah. They've been really, really sweet. And just so nice. It must have been really nice for you as well to do something which is just so, you know, it builds up it's quite quickly. It's just yeah. a really nice kind of easy thing to be able to yeah. do. A little bit more sort of... Um well, creative in the sense of not bead creative, but, you know, like drawing on the boxes and colouring them. Yeah. And that was a bit different, yeah. Yeah. But as I say, I mean, you can make them really colourful, obviously. I just used the black because that was a pen that I had um, that still worked. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I need yeah. to get new pens. <laughs> yes, well, there you go. And see, that's it, isn't it? And it's kind of trial and error, isn't it? It's kind of trying things out, seeing if it works, yeah. seeing if it does, uh, seeing if it doesn't, you know, and, and, just, and just kind of making a call in that way uh, but absolutely gorgeous well done i really like the fact that people who don't necessarily do seed beading are picking yeah. up these kits and they're gonna have a go with them yeah. that's gonna get you used to working with seed exactly. beads, and then who knows exactly. where it's gonna take you exactly yeah oh but that's so lovely well done everybody coming through to get that now um monica when are you next with us lovey um at the moment the only one i know of is the 7th of may oh sorry monday <laughs> oh there we go monday <laughs> <Nearly forgot. laughs> Says Nikki, yes, well done, my darling. Enjoy those, my lovely. Enjoy. 
Uh, so you'll see Monica on, on Monday, um, Monday yeah. she thinks. Yeah, hopefully I'll be here on Monday. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, you've got an awesome weekend lined up here on, uh, on uh, Jewelry Maker. It's going to be absolutely superb. Uh, we've got Dave joining us tomorrow uh, for an hour. You've got, uh, we've got Amber coming up on uh, Sunday, which is going to be absolutely amazing. You've got uh, presenter John Scott with you tomorrow, which is going to be so much fun. Um, but make sure you tune in this afternoon because uh, Hobby Maker looks like it's about to go crazy. Some absolutely gorgeous pieces. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Monica. You've been brilliant today. Thank oh, you so pleasure. much, darling. Take care, my lovelies. And tune in this afternoon for a brilliant afternoon on Hobby Maker. See you in a second. Jewelry Maker has...